you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you can, you're more than welcome. To I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me to leave? Serious. Get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not possible. I must believe in something, so I'll make myself believe it. It's time All hey, right. what's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. Um, guys, quick announcements before we get into the show. Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit, where you guys can find all the behind-the-scenes content uh, that isn't safe for YouTube, to include the ending part of Five Signs She Belongs to the Streets, which is not safe for YouTube. If you guys watch that video, we will equip you with some knowledge to the street. so yep. that you know that she pretty much... She belongs to the streets. And she's not a good counterpart for you as far as a long-term relationship The show goes. earlier was pretty So you don't get though. finessed. Yeah, the show earlier was hilarious, guys. There's one in there. Out. Yeah. One in there that y'all did not even know was a sign for the streets, man. Absolutely, man. So, uh, yeah, check out that last episode. Not right now, though. Watch this one live first and then go ahead and check out that there other one. Go. And also, as you guys come into the show, don't forget like to like the video, video comment, the hit that red button, subscribe to the channel because, you know, we're always trying to improve for you guys. Also, we do one weekly Zoom call on Sundays, 8 p.m., where we talk about making money, Real estate, starting a business, uh, social media, getting girls, credit dating, uh, credit card improvement, getting in the gym, pretty much making you a better guy all around, guys, because we always tell you, you don't become better to get the girls. You get better so that you don't have to tolerate the BS that comes with the girls so that you can walk away. All right. You got to focus on you and not on women. And then women are a byproduct of it. No offense, ladies at the table. But uh, <laughs> what? Uh, no, wait, wait, what? what? You're fucking it up for us. I'm on uh, Spotify, Google, Apple Podcasts, and yeah. every other screaming pl platform for audio and on Patreon as well. So go follow us on those platforms. And Anchor has them all in one. So just get Anchor, go to all in one, one stop shop. You're good to go. Here us on audio. Truckers, uh, salute to y'all. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, just when you make go sure Anchor, it'll have every single platform that you listen to, even the smaller ones. Go ahead, Chris. I was saying, uh, just make sure you don't listen to it when you're, uh, you know, at work <laughs> and speakers and everything. Hey, Chris, you do realize you have a camera, right? Oh, I do. You really? might get fired. No. Oh! <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Opalock in his true form. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know you guys don't want to see that face every night, but you know, nah, hey, you know, we gotta be on camera. You gotta be on camera too. I know, right? So, um, yeah, guys, so check us out on Spotify or on every single platform. Also, fresherpodcaststore.com, guys. We got the merch. Who hurt you shirts? We got the uh, Chris. Aren't you wearing a Who hurt you shirt right now? Uh, no. Uh, merch. I'm, I'm wearing the hoodie. Okay, that's the hoodie right there. there. Go. Uh, Chris also uh, Fresh also has a hoodie, and then I got this shirt right here that you can only get from spiritbomb. ffspiritbomb.com. But I will uh, we'll talk about that sweepstakes later on. Uh, yeah, I wore the hoodie to the club in LA. Niggas was, was messing with it. Yeah, like the back of the shirt. Yeah, it's lit. Sim you know, actually, you know, I think I think, I think Trey has the who hurt you shirt on, but yeah, Trey, yes, yes, it, Trey it, has to put his mask uh, on or lick his lips or something like that yeah, first. Like that, yeah. but, uh, but we'll show it to you guys here in a second. DK Trey in the building. DK Trey in the building. Um, and then also, guys, um, check us out on a Fresh's vlog channel. So, guys, for behind the scenes, man, us on dates, when we travel, when we do stuff in the studio with the girls, behind the scenes, check out the vlog channel. Almost 50K. Let's go. Okay. And then uh, also, guys, check us out Twitch. on Twitch. We're live, streaming right now live to Twitch, Twitter, and uh, Facebook. We're going to pull up the Facebook feed here in a second. Better quality. Uh, yeah. Fresh Fit Podcast. Twitch.tv slash Fresh Fit Podcast. That's where you guys can basically see, you know, it's it's better quality. It is, man. You can see the titties in 1080p. Uh, and then also, uh, we got um, Chris. You got a Twitch as well, right? Yes. Yeah, so speaking of Twitch, I did a pre-show uh, stream. So if you guys want to know more about the, what's going on behind the scenes, appreciate the ladies, ask questions, get more involved into the studio. Uh, follow me on Twitch on Aaron Poxon. And I will be gaming tonight on Twitch. So follow me. Let's get it. Let's get happy. Merch gang, by the way. Merch gang. Merch gang. Because I know a lot of people are like, wait, Chris or is it Aaron? Guys, yeah. His first name is actually <laughs> legally Aaron. But I'm over here. Yo, I mean, Chris, you want to tell the story about how, how you walked through your entire life with the real right. first name? All right. So tell some hood nigga shit right, right here, bro. What the hell? All right. Yeah, so camera on you, you, nigga. Camera on you, nigga. All right. So uh, memory lane on Chris's na name origin story. Yeah, fact. So uh, basically, long story short, um, when I was going to a cruise, with my family, my mother, right? Um, she's like, yo, uh, Chris, go in the closet, uh, get the documents for the cruise ship. All right, bet. I was in high school, so I think I was in 10th or 11th grade. I said, all right, bet, cool. And when I went to, to get my documents for the cruise ship, I'm like, uh, yo, mom, this is this is Aaron Chris Poxon, or Aaron Christopher Poxon, what's going on here? Um, she's like, no, nah, you're right. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, my first name is Christopher Aaron Poxon. She's like, no, your first name is Aaron Christopher Poxon. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, so why do you call me Chris? Oh, because it's easier. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, that, shit. Then I'm like, like, I'm like, who named me? It's like your auntie. So I call my auntie from New York, right? I'm like, Auntie Nani, right? Oh, sorry, I put it on black. Wait, what is this? <laughs> like, auntie, what's my first name? Chris. No, my legal first name. Oh, it's Aaron. 
Why do you call this me? This nigga turned into Ja Rule. What's yeah. my name? Yeah. What's, yeah. Your, what, what's, what's my, my name? motherfucker name? Oh, yeah. and, and, and she was Are like, you Aaron <laughs> Ross? And, was, <laughs> and then I was like, she was like, Aaron. I'm like, so why do you call me Chris? Because it's easier. I'm like, stupid. Bitch. <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, guys, uh, Chris grew up not knowing his real name for most of his life, which is hilarious. That's crazy, bro. So yeah, we still call him Chris, but his real name technically is Aaron, which is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, that is... I think of Golden Sun when I hear Aaron. Go, oh, Golden Sun. Yeah, the, the yeah, game. Yeah, no, I, I, I played it. Why. It's, it's the same. Okay. No, because uh, one of the characters will call Aaron. Oh, okay, with, with fair Eve. enough. That that went somewhere else. But anyway, uh, yeah, guys, so if you guys want to <laughs> see uh, the guy that doesn't have a real first name on, or he has two first names for that matter, <laughs> two first names. On, on Twitch, check him out, twitch.tv slash Aaron Poxon. And then also, guys, for any video, video ideas, hit up Trey. I know he's antisocial, but it's okay. Mm-hmm. Just hit him up. He has his profile in private. He doesn't like anyone. He doesn't even like us, to be honest. Barely. Uh, so he just shows up here just to show up. So uh, send him video ideas, guys, for us to react to on the show. Um, also, guys, top of the show, we're going to leave it up to you guys. Give us – well, when we hit 1,000, I'm going to take a vote for you guys in the show, um, and then we're going to either do um, E-Date or a Smasher Pass. Yep. If we do the E-Date – uh, what we'll do is we'll have, uh, if we know you or whatever, uh, either through it's the community or whatever, Patreon, or if you're in the mods chat, you want to come on to yeah, E-Day or a VIP 10. or some, or yeah, yeah, exactly, or Patreon, one of those, then we'll bring you on and you could choose one of the girls on a thing and go on a virtual date with her, or, or smash her pass, or we do a smash her pass where we roast your Instagrams. Uh, and then what's what's the limit that you want to do as far as like 50. just if it, 50 and up? Okay, 50 and up, guys, and we're gonna rate your Instagrams with painful honesty, yeah, okay. After this, you're gonna either cry or improve, yeah, you know, cry or die. There you go. Cry and improve or die. Okay. Though. So, oh, shit. Uh, because we're going to tell you, that we're going to give you guys the raw truth. All right. And then also, guys, we're on Instagram, Fresh Air Podcast on Instagram. Check us out over there where you guys can see all the stories and the highlights and everything else. And then also, we got a new Instagram, Fresh Air Podcast Girls. Yes. This is where the girls are featured, guys. It is the official Instagram for the ladies of the show. If you see that other, a couple of other pages that are trying to, like, you know, put girls yeah. that are on the show, it's all cap. We have to make this profile. To actually be somewhat legit and have these, you know, weirdos not copy our shit anymore. Yeah, and uh, yeah, weird. man, I think that's that's about it. So, uh, Fresh, I guess let's um, uh, introduce the ladies. So, ladies, you've been on the show before, but there may be some new viewers here. So, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, and your current dating status. So, guys, my name is BB. Welcome back. I am 28. I work as an actress, model, host, all that and above, entertainer overall. Um, my Instagram is nobody in my lane. And did you ask for anything else? Uh, single, right? Oh, yeah. I'm single. There you go. Welcome back. Thank All right. you. Hi, BB. It's my first time meeting you. So, hey, girl. And it's always a pleasure being <laughs> back, fresh, fit, Aaron. Welcome <laughs> back. You know the game? Back. Don't try to be quiet now. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, you know, keep it simple. Keep go it with sweet. the flow. Go with the flow. <laughs> but for those of you who don't know me, my name is Shorty D. So, you know me as Dory. Huh? You, no, no, you good, you good. I was, I was okay. adjusting the TV. Go ahead. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm single. I'm 24. Um, I make music as a hobby, and I am administration support by day. So yeah. Thank so, you. so like, you're the person that like, if I got to call the hotline to like get something done, I call. You're the one that I speak to. How can I direct your call today? Oh, That's you're that me. person. <laughs> That's me. I know when the highlight bling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Pretty funny, Chris. Uh, Thank you. Not, okay. Not. <laughs> oh, uh, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about you? Hey, y'all. Back again. My name is Zaria. I am 24. I am a nurse. Shout out to a, Overwatch. I'm a nurse and a model. Okay. <laughs> That's a video game. It's a video game. Don't worry. <laughs> she's, she's like, like what, what the hell? hell? Like, what, 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 what are you thinking about? It's, what it's the like, fuck? You better chill out. It's it's like, moving on. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Single AF. Single oh, as fuck. Okay. okay. Did you say single AF last time? Probably. Okay. All right. I you know, Wait. You don't have a man? Or a no. situation ship or something? Yeah. Why y'all trying to play somebody's bummy son on me? Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Fired. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Hi, guys. Thank Welcome you for back. Having, thank you for having me back. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Last actually. time you were on, we probably argued about some shit. I don't yeah. know. We always yeah, argue. It's been a while. <laughs> but um, I'm red. I'm 19. I'm single and I'm a model. You can follow me on Instagram at divinely red. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And all Welcome the ladies' back. IGs are down below, guys. So make sure to go ahead and send them dick pics there. So, uh, don't, yeah. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> on your own volition. Uh, okay. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. <laughs> Girl, dance now. 11.36 p.m. though. <laughs> You're welcome. 
You said good morning. I was like, wait, what? It's 11 no, That's her catchphrase. That's, that's my thing. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Good that's her catchphrase. Good morning. Okay. You can say it in the morning. You can say it in the night. If you want to agree with someone, you can say good morning. <laughs> oh. Someone look good. Go, girl. You look good. Like, oh, I'm on. That's your thing. That's my thing. Oh, that's just me. oh <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. But make sure they call you now. <laughs> 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 Go ahead. Young dance girl, guys. Um, AKA Miss Bahamas, BKA Miss Cleo. Call me now. <laughs> <laughs> one here, like <laughs> oh shit! Her okay. mic, her mic is uh, is uh, off. Her mic is on working. Uh, mm, oh, she got to do the introduction again. Ooh. Okay. Uh, hold on, guys. Give us one sec. This is hold what yo, we're doing it live. live. We're doing it live. Guys. We're doing it live right now. Yeah. Do it live. There's a reason why no one does it. Does it live? Fix your mic. You get to reset the mic. Are not All right, guys, we're going to do a sound check. Uh, give us a one in the chat if you guys can hear her. Right, Go ahead, Miss Bahamas. Good morning. Okay. Just speak very sensual. Good morning. <laughs> oh, shit. Never mind, guys. I, I tried. It's if it's one in the okay. chat, if it's good now. No, it's, they said barely. Uh, we heard on one of the mics. Yep. We're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do the sound the sound right now. We do it live. We do it live, guys. You see that? We got Trey in the building. In the meantime, we'll read some of these super chats. Okay, Daniel so, Perez, five bucks. Uh, we got the backup mic ready to go. <laughs> Come on, ladies. Let's hear how your man got to be six two. Your three or fours make me six two. My stomach. That was actually pretty uh, huh? cliche. So he says, "Let's hear how your man has to be six two. You three or fours make me six two. My stomach. Oh, Get it? oh. okay. Play six, on words." Two, Six two, my stomach. What's the three or four? Yeah, we're like, like we're three or four. Uh, they call us so three or fours. But... I'm not qualified to answer that question. <laughs> no, like, he is. No, but three or four is like a is like a hoe. Oh, oh yo, mama. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. If you take a calculator uh, and back in the day and you flip it around and says that you some of you guys are young, so you guys might not know uh, like a graphing. Do they still use graphing calculators in school? No, not yeah. in school. So well, God bless you. Or a regular sir. calculator. They probably use like their the scientific one. I'm bugging. Okay. I said yeah. All right. <laughs> um, is your mic now good? Now test. Is it, give it a quick. Good morning. Right, guys, give us one in the chat if you guys could hear Miss Bahamas. Can y'all hear? She me? gave a great Miss Cleo impersonation a second ago. Are we getting ones in the chat, Chris? I can run a box uh, for y'all if y'all ready. Once? Yep. All right, Once. cool. We good now. All right, awesome. Um, shout out to Trey, by the way. Yeah, shout out to Trey for fixing that shout right on the spot, man. That's the beauty of having an audio engineer on, on house, man. Bruh. Uh, James, uh, Jameson, Jane, uh, Corey, Cam, uh, most creative podcast on. Thank you so much. I appreciate hey, that. We are the best. And then on Black Earth. Scorpio, uh, Jay, uh, $5 super sticker. They appreciate that. Try Nancy again. Tycoon, 30 bucks. Uh, plot twist, stop. Don't ask girls how many kids they have and ask them how many they kept. Super icebreaker. Oh shit! Oh, damn, bro, that'll that'll lead to that'll wow. that'll uh, put some girls on blast, my friend. And then big eyes off a of perk fresh. Okay, I don't know who's more <laughs> icy, fresh watch or she's so icy. Okay, okay. Uh, and, and uh, Miss Cleo, uh, go 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 ahead. So, no, go ahead. Oh, you do do just the impersonation? No, no, no just, just, no, just do it yeah, again. introduction again. Okay. Yeah, good they morning, didn't hear you. <laughs> hey everyone. This is your favorite dance Dow. I'm back again, aka Miss Bahamas, BKA Miss Cleo. Call me now. <laughs> That's the one. I'm 26. I'm single, and I um a recording artist and a model. There All right, go. awesome. Okay. Cool. Uh, all right. So uh, I guess we'll uh, well, we have some more. With oh. Some more guys. Thank you so much for all the super chats and the support, man. We appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, we actually got some new equipment. Wait, uh, the guys off uh, off a of perk. Fresh. Yeah. Yo, Chris, Chris, can you show them that slider right there? Yeah. yeah uh, we sure, got Archer. Sure. Uh, we got. Ar oh, Chris, you're killing me, man. I mean, uh, <laughs> so do this in one time. Right, Archer, you can still switch it and show us the chat. Okay. Uh, Archer, five bucks. Uh, no girl. On here is worthy for a day slash e date. You know why I'm here. Oh shit, Archer talking that shit. Anybody got a rebuttal back to him? Try to talk shit. God bless you, Arthur. Yo, mm -hmm. mama, I'm praying for you. I love you. <laughs> Anything else? Like, I'm not phased. You feel me? Somebody like me somewhere out there. So I'm like, so, wow. Bam. Bam. All right. Shots fired. Uh, big eyes off. Oh, no, we read that one. Hi, what? Red. Oh, no, Hope no. you're doing excellent. Looking one. great. Uh, big eyes Thank off a of perk you. fresh. Shorty next to fresh look like Aunt Jemima. Wow, I'm oh. surprised that you know who Tony is. What's her real name now? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I don't know, Tony. Uh, shout out to the greatest podcast on planet Earth. Love what the podcast is doing for men all around the world. Trey needs to exercise uh, the crazy out of another girl. We haven't had any crazy girls, luckily, bro, which is fucking awesome. Uh, I'm really happy about that. I haven't had to Frank Castle in a while because y'all think, oh, Myron, you just want to kick out girls. 
On the contrary, I actually don't. It's that's, very stressful. That's the last thing you want I'm to do. I'm starting to grow my hair back. So, you know, I'm trying really hard here. <laughs> and then we got, uh, oh, Rashid, Rashid Romero. Romero. Thank you so much. Army vet on the grand con uh, contracting. I just want to shout y'all out. Keep doing y'all thing, bro. Thank, thank you, you so brother. much. You get a Don DeMarco for that one, my man. Back, man. So the Rashid yo, Romero. Yo, shout out to y'all, man. Like I said, uh, all the equipment, all the stuff, man, goes into equipment, man, getting sliding cameras. We're trying to make this and bitch the best. Named after our RB boy, Mike. Uh, Red Pill Mike, Rest who in passed peace. away. Rest in peace to him. He donated yeah. so much to the show. Bro. So uh, thank you for that support, bro. And, uh, you know, obviously we got the Black Lemur kickout cam back over there. Can we hit eight real fast, Chris? Yeah, show yo, them. Just so y'all know. No, man. no. Hit the top one. The top one. What? Top this one. is yeah, the, the top one on eight. Bro. The, the, oh, the, 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 the small one. So Couch cam, man. man. No. Got, no, bro. It, it, we got we got so many cams. We're like, there's too many what cams. Do you know, bro? It's, it's eight. It's eight above camera eight. It's a cam it's eight. See, everyone's gonna know the cameras now. All right, like, wait, all right, camera, kick all right so, Mario, the small one. God damn it, Chris. It's it's that the small one above eight, on memory. Yeah, bro. It's the the couch cam, right? No, that's nine. <laughs> so you, you guys see all the see bro, all this tough, this tough. I'm need... pressing eight right now, Mario. No, you're hitting eight on the on the bottom. You gotta hit eight on the top. All right, fine. The smaller <laughs> eight. The small eight. This is awesome. There you go. Oh, okay. The, this, the, the man, logo, bro, man. This guy, the logo. Man. Yo, guys, man, hold on, hold on. We've I updated. I love it. <laughs> bro, guys. Yeah. So that's the, yeah, that's the kickout cam back over there, guys, that we got going for you, man. Chris killed the buzz though. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but guys. Look, buzz kill Chris. Listen, we have so many updates. Shout out to you guys for supporting. So yeah. let's get it. I will learn this shit within like a few days, all right? Yeah, man. Yeah. A lot of work goes into, you know, getting that stuff for you guys. But I am ready. We do got to kick someone out. We got that camera ready to go. So anyway, um, with that said, um, wait, what's the question? <laughs> what? Sorry. Holy shit. His hair yeah. is growing back. It is. We yeah, yeah. In LA. I haven't been stressing that much. Uh, I, you know, I started taking finasteride uh, and um, the hair foam shit. And yeah, it's growing back, guys. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to mi minimize the stress. You know what I'm saying? First okay. question. First question. So, ladies on the panel, right? If you had to choose between two people, right? Let's just, I'll say it's a random scenario because I don't want to be too um, detailed here, but like, let's say there's two guys. One guy is ambitious, right? On his way up, but I know he doesn't have the money to take you out all the time, travel, and do the fun stuff. But he think maybe like three, four years, five years, he might make, make it there. He might make it there. Next guy has everything in order, you know, can take care of you. Um, Pretty successful, but he cheats. Now, out of those two, who do you choose and why? And the first guy before is gonna be more loyal. He's focused on his business. He can't really cheat like that. Who would you he choose? Really the guy, like the, the guy that can take care of you, that is probably gonna cheat, or the guy that's on his way up, that probably won't cheat for now. Who would you choose? Uh, I'll choose the not cheat for now guy because I mean, having everything and someone cheating on me is just not worth it. So it's kind of like a waste. So you would choose a guy that's ambitious on the way up yeah but what if he never makes it i mean would you stay i'm in love so i'll be all right <laughs> overall yeah i mean it's more than money like it's not about money it's about you know having a genuine relationship with somebody and so being when, happy so when the kids come you got oh we pain. ain't having kids if we don't got money we ain't having kids <laughs> okay oh, period yeah. Okay. Thanks for being honest. I mean, hey. that's the truth. Yeah, that was <laughs> real talk. I mean, yeah, like a girl's not gonna marry you if you're a bum, or like, or have kids with you if you're a bum. Like, it's like it's dumb for them to do that. But hold on, what about Mexico and Cancun? What about like those spots? You don't want to go travel? I'll travel by yourself with my friends. <laughs> that's, a good answer. Answer. that's a good answer. Okay. You hurt that boy ego. Okay, girl trip. So, so, you so never, never with a guy. No. Stop the cap. I know I'm not happy. You ever been flew <laughs> out? None of that. I have, but if I have a boyfriend, uh, why would I get okay. flew out? All right, okay. fair enough. I think there's more We're there. Done grilling you. We just yeah. started the show. Okay. All right, Shorty D. So, um, option one, that's my man. I'm gonna stick beside him. <laughs> yeah, ambitious yeah. on the way up. <laughs> yeah, ambitious on the way up because like we could build together, and I feel like I don't know. It's a different merch. type of connection. Yeah, merch. Y'all got me. It's right. a different type of connection. Like when someone's there from the beginning and I can confide in you, mm -hmm. like you're not there solely because of my assets or what I can do for you. You know, like that's a really big factor. So, but when you said that he depends on you now because you're better off than him. So if that were the scenario, that's a problem. Like I don't mind helping you as you're getting there, but if it becomes to where you completely fall off and you're having difficulty and you know, you can't, remain solid on nope. your own, then 
it's too much baggage for me. Like I like someone who can hold themselves. So how long would it take for you to make that choice? So you know what? Roughly like a year, six months, two months, two I'm, years. I'm going to be honest, like as a person who tried to successfully go through college in one shot and <clears throat> had to like, you know, make a living happen. I couldn't do it as fast. So I can't expect the same for another person. However, yeah. Just because you're not, you're not in a like really high place of like making money or whatever doesn't mean that you shouldn't have something going for yourself or you shouldn't be trying to look for ways or taking getting up and taking care of yourself or having me in your best interest at least because shit where one doesn't make up you have to make up for another you know. I feel that. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's real. I don't know, girl. <laughs> um. um. Well, I feel like they're both March, a liability. March. <laughs> um, both guys would be a liability for one because the guy who is ambitious but doesn't have um, his shit together he could still cheat for one he could say he's loyal but he not um, that's true and then who's to say when he does get up there that he don't just try to like Ooh. play you and like all the that's movies a good point. Were, like you didn't sat there <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't got him all glossed up and then all of a sudden he up there and he want to play with you so I mean, nope. And then <laughs> the other guy, I feel like if he's you know March. he got money to you know to take us places spontaneously, then um, he has a redeeming quality that comes with cheating. So you know you can cheat on me, but I'm taken care of, and I'm just having me a little side piece. <laughs> okay, works, at least you're real about it. It, it works. Yeah, out. keeping it real. Yeah, keeping it real. I, I, respect I like that. it. I like it. Yeah, it's just keeping it real, man. Okay, I can't argue with that. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I got you. Got you. Stupid. Stupid. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so there's two, two scenarios here. The guy is ambitious, not any stretch of imagination, so wealthy. He's on his way up, but he's kind of like broke right now. But he, in two years, three years, he might be successful. Who knows? Other guy is successful, has sh- his shit in order, but for time to time he may cheat because he has options, and obviously he's, you know, he's he's a right. dude. So, would you choose for somebody to like? Look okay. At? So I want to start off by saying that this is not about the money. Okay. But I would choose guy number two. Stop the cap. Oh, sorry. I'm My, My finger slipping. <laughs> okay. Guy number two, just because they're already at that point in their life that I can learn from them. And, mm. you know, at this point, I've realized that 99% of the guys are going to cheat. So it's no point in trying to hold and tie someone down. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. She got some knowledge, man. I guess so. Yeah. All right. <laughs> there you Fair go. Enough. Respectfully. And a young age, too. We, we talked about this earlier, actually, real quick on the podcast. Guys, learning point. We told you guys since a woman from the time a woman becomes, you know, hits puberty, she's already starting to deal with women, men and they start to learn very quickly how to properly deal with them. You know how to get rid of losers, how to deal with guys that they like versus what they don't like. So women get way more experience and tries dealing with the opposite gender than we do. So that's why they're able to manipulate guys so well. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're able to finesse. Uh, and yeah, so not to say that you finesse guys, but what I'm saying is that a lot of young women have far more experience than even like older men a lot right. of time. So there you go. So option one question, are we in love? Oh shit. Mm. I mean, let's take love out of, of it for now. What's because love got to that's do so with like it. got to do with it. <laughs> Wishy washy, it could be love today, hate tomorrow. You yeah. know. Okay, because in love and love is two separate things, but that's a topic for another day. True, true. Um, for me, the decider factor would be is the respect there? Because a man can have all the money in the world but he treats you like a property because he is investing in you, especially if you don't have anything for yourself. Mm. I've dated, um, well, not, I said, I want to say dated, but I've really, you know, it was a really wealthy man. And I just, you know, took his number just to see what he was about. And I cut it off in like two weeks because of the respect wasn't there. Mm. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it was like, all right, okay. Cause th- sometimes th- those type of men, they are very particular. So it'd be something simple to set them off. Like it was the word whatever. Because I was talking to kind of test the spirit to see what type of person I'm dealing with. Yeah. And the guy was like, uh, I said, whatever. And he goes, um, <laughs> he's like, I hate that word. Don't say it again. I said it again and he cursed me out. So I cut him off. Oh, that's shit. good that he did that. Real nigga, man. Hey. hey. Oh, hey. Shout out to that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. No emotional, in, no no emotional intelligence at all. So I'm like, oh, okay. So yeah. But, yeah, but, most guys okay. don't have emotional intelligence. I, I will say this. You'd have a point. But what if that was like a triggering moment for him where you said, yo, whatever. My mom spanked me. Say whatever to my <laughs> face. Like, that would have been bad for you to keep saying it. You don't, th- you don't think so? 
Like yes, but something like that's very small that can trigger you. You have no emotional intelligence, and I can't deal with you. Can you, so, can you guys define? Because this is a, a buzzword that a lot of girls throw around, and they have different definitions of so, it. Can you guys tell us what so it means? So my to you? definition of emotional intelligence is uh -huh. someone that can hold themselves together regardless of the circumstance. So you can, like, someone in the comments may call me fat or big, and okay. you see, I can just say, Being "Oh, well, so God bless you." Yeah, okay. Being I'm not so gonna lower myself to be where they're at because that says a lot about someone who's gonna send fifty dollars to bash someone. I'm not in that space. Mm -hmm. So because you're trying to pull me there, I refuse to get pulled there. So I'm like, okay. Or you curse me out, and I refuse to curse you out back. I'm just gonna sit here and be composed and be like, "All right, I see where you're at. I refuse to lower myself." So, question. Didn't you start at first though? Sorry. I said then you started first because he said, I don't like when people say whatever. And then you said whatever. Yes, I wanted to see how much um emotional intelligence that he lacked. Because I was uh -huh. testing the spirit. I was just talking and we just talking. We never met up talking. You know, he wanted to be my sugar daddy or whatever. And oh, I'm shit. like, eh, mm, oh, mm. calm down. There you go. You know you talk to him though. He started to call me his investment and stuff like that. I was just trying to test to see what type of person I was dealing with. That's yeah, you know, because he comes, you know, they like to have the game like, said, oh, I'm an investment. investment. I was like, you won't give me no money yet, sir. <laughs> but that's the topic for another day. You know, they You're come with the buy game. Some Clio coin. <laughs> <laughs> Asset or liability. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay, but he, was like, he was like a billionaire, so I'm like, you know, I think I really broke his. Yeah, I broke his ego when I was like the first woman. Because let me tell y'all, men in the chat, when you're dealing with an island woman, respect is a big thing. Yeah. I give respect. Mm -hmm. I I I deserve respect. I know my value. I know my worth. Please just respect me, man. Just respect me. Respect you ain't gotta cuss me. And <laughs> I, I mean, this man cuss me out like a dog, you know. Oh, I said, oh, he, oh. he's, he's, he's cussed you out too. We got McQueen in the chat too. Hey, shout out to shout McQueen. Out to boy McQueen in the chat, man. Shout out to oh, you, bro. Yo, uh, yo. Uh, okay, so you just so you want respect? I, I I value respect a lot, so I would have to go with number one. Okay. Okay, because I know my uh, place as a woman, I have to hold the man accountable and speak life into him. If he has ambition and he has goals and he's meeting them goals and he is not getting deterred, I'm going to make sure, do my part as a woman to hold that man accountable and call him to his highest self. And also, you know, mm. provide that space to be a peace for that man so that he can grow and see his full potential. I respectfully disagree. Like, okay. uh, like a guy that's a high earner does not need a woman to motivate him whatsoever. He's a high earner because he's just a high earner. Like you, you. You have to have a certain mindset that is contrary to what you just said. Like a guy that's successful, that makes a lot of money, that is like uh, has his life together. The whole reason why he has his life together is because he's self-made. He doesn't need a woman to do it. And I would argue a little bit further that if anything, women aren't really comfortable helping a guy. Like they don't want to be in a position where like they're the motivation or they're the source of amb his ambition. He should have that already be successful and then you're a byproduct of that success versus him like relying on you to be a motivation. I mean, he you could help him optimize. Like let's say he's operating at like 100%, then you bump him up to 102, 103, 104%, which is great because that's going to give him a competitive edge. But guys that are successful don't need women to really like continue to be successful. The, the whole mindset it takes to be successful in the first place is contrary to needing a woman in the, in the first place if that makes sense okay, okay but they might not need it but having it is a plus okay what? i didn't say i was his motivation i said i was to hold him accountable that's two separate things but you have to have the motivation separately but hold him accountable to like what to like being uh more successful or? no entertaining mal maladaptive behaviors you know what i'm saying like respect like if you just if, if you i know i give you respect mm -hmm. And I, I expect you to give me respect if I tell you, hey, you know, I really don't like when you call me that. Oh, okay. You're meaning from that perspective. But hold yes, on. Yeah. That's what I was talking Didn't you about. you earlier, he said, don't say whatever again. And he said, whatever. No, I yeah. did, okay. That wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't my mind, though. You see what I'm saying? Like, but, we were just talking to get to know each other. But, but, see, but you see the same how you said that was a test for you? Yes. Test, test for, for him. him. You, you, you feel a test. Yeah. Because, like, that's okay because he, for you to get very upset, like you cursing like a demon possess you after someone say whatever, I don't want to be dealing with you. Because then you're going to have you, other issues. You said it twice, though. I I'm going to have to take the guy's side on this one, man. You fucked up. Because he told oh, me. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> no, I, I, decided, I decided it's a test for you because you know what? Let me see what type of time he, is he on. But it's like, the nigga said, yo. He told don't you. Don't say whatever again. Yeah, the, oh, don't say it. Don't say cap it. Oh, it's like, you like, wish. Don't say it. It's like, wish. No, uh, here's the thing. I'm going to take her. So here, both parties fucked up. Yeah. So. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it all the way 1,000 with you because you know I ain't gonna lie to you. 
when you deal with men of that caliber, you can't talk to them like that. It's yeah. just not going to work. And the thing is, is that guys like that are rare. Women are common. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to have a certain threshold for disrespect that's going to be lower than the average guy. So when you <laughs> when you said whatever and he said he tried to check you on it, hey, don't do that. And then you said it again. Basically, what you said to him in womanese was fuck you, motherfucker. Fuck you you yeah. can't control me. And a guy that has like climbed the ranks, earned that kind of money, r r risen up to that position, Billionaire has status. already had to fight the world. Last thing he wants to do is fight a woman. So that's why he swore at you like that because it's like to him, it's like, bro, the world tells me fuck you every day. I'm not about to do this on my free time with a woman. So the difference is this. A lot of men feel this way, but they can't actually enact on it because they don't have the value to back up that type of behavior. But this guy did. So that's why he said, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. And he told you what it is. And now but on your end, I, I get where you're, where you're coming from. Like uh, he could have been more respectful with telling you, hey. Uh, you know, d don't say whatever, you know, and then and then that probably prompted you. He 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 said it to you in a rude way. That prompted you to respond in another rude way back. Hey, whatever, and then bang, that's what led to it. So he could have been a little bit better or a little bit more. How do I say this? Socially calibrated in telling you, hey, don't say that. The culture difference is a big thing, yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, growing up in the island, you know, we island life is a lot harder. So it's a it's a, like a cult culture difference, really, but. You know, it is what it is. I don't mind. I don't I don't go looking for high value men. Okay. I don't go looking for them. If it happens, or, or the rich men. If the it rich men. I don't go looking for them. Right. I don't care. I really don't care. I don't. No, that's true. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I uh, for the, the island part. ladies get that. I'll say this though. This, you know what, man, y'all might get mad at me for saying this, but Rihanna fucked Chris Brown up, guys. You know what I'm saying? She did, bro. Like if you guys <laughs> read the report and actually look behind the scenes, she she fucked him up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying what he did was right, but you got to look at it from both perspectives. Like she definitely fucked Chris up and he was there in the car, a tight ass car. Imagine driving your car, right? And you're like driving around in LA. And then next thing you know, she's you're stuck in a Lambo with her. She's just bang, welling on you, man. Like you, not as much you can do. Yo, shout to Rihanna. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot she's a Bayesian. I was like, hold on, hold yeah, on, hold she's on. she's from Barbados. All right. <laughs> so uh, yeah, chat, that's my, my opinions, oh, don't worry, I got you fresh. <laughs> my opinions do not reflect that of Fresh Prince CEO. <laughs> But Rihanna, I know you fucked Chris up, bro. I know you did. Uh, okay, Mike Anthony. He should have done that, but you. I know you beat the fuck out of him. All right, Mike Anthony, 10 bucks. Been dating this girl for three weeks. We're not in a relationship, but are kissing, going to dinner, and sexually active. Seen her phone, and she texted another guy saying, babe, I know I'm her number one, but thought? What? So, basically, um, he went on a date with a chick. Things were going well. Uh -huh. He didn't smash yet. He saw a text from a girl saying, babe, meaning, like, she texted the dude saying, babe. So, he's like, he knows that I'm, he knows that he's number one, or so he thought. And in that scenario, bro, you're not number one. Not at all. You might be an option. Yeah, but mm -hmm. sounds like she used him for the date. Could be, could be that too. So well, at this point, bro, three months. You're definitely not number yeah, one. Yeah, no, he thought oh, that they do a lot. Together. Okay, okay. Three then months. It was she definitely got she's side just pieces. Clearly keeping like, her options open. Yeah. yeah. So she's not your girl, bro. She's not your number one. She bought a street. He might be number one point one point oh, but uh. Yeah, bro. She literally, she literally in the background right now, like <laughs> <laughs> finessing you for free Yo, dates and shit, man. Watch the episode we did uh, earlier. Five cents, she's, she's for the streets. Go through that whole list, bro. She's probably falling to two of those categories or, or three or four. Yeah, bro. Like, you guys got to understand that, like, when a girl likes you, man, she's going to do everything in her power to keep you around. You know what I'm saying? Even if it makes her feel uncomfortable or she doesn't like it. Dude, she so, will block niggas. She yeah. will cut off her, her dating apps. All yep, for you, bro. She'll do all that for you, bro. So, like, and I want you guys on this podcast. You, if you guys watch us, I want you guys to demand the best out of any girl that you're dealing with, bro. Like, work yeah. your way, become a better man, and then a byproduct of you becoming better is you need to demand more for women, bro. Because yeah. I, I want to be like an asshole. If Sorry, it, ladies, but guys don't ask for much. Look, if you're giving so her like, your best, she should give you her best as well. Ways. The best, get the best. Okay. Both ways. But what happens is, yeah, but y'all, y'all be rewarding bad behavior. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. really what it is. I, if I, if it was a battle right now between the two sexes to see who's winning. The women are killing the men by yeah. far as far as like getting what they want and guys trying to get what they want. Girls are always finessing dudes, but dudes aren't necessarily smashing. And we got the numbers back. Like, you know, a large majority of men aren't even getting laid. But they're out here texting girls and trying to, you know, simping on them on the Internet and all that extra shit. And girls are like making a killing off a lot of guys. And, you know, it is Yo, what it is. Might have get McQueen super chatted too. Hey, and shout out to McQueen. And DL Saint. Uh, Sprout 23. Kiki and Skippy sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. -S -S get to work fresh. Okay. Uh, no, nigga, I'll do it when I feel like. Oh, Anyhow, okay. Ricky Mills. He's talking about Kiki Cloud. I know he wants me to work, get her on the show for Skippy. 
Oh, okay. All right. Ricky Mills, five bucks. Rickolations book on the way. Okay, thank you, Ricky. Yo, that was funny, Ricky. That was funny yesterday, he tagged us in, in Instagram, yeah, too. Yeah, we reposted it. Jameson, James, Corey, the captivity is real. She a Capricorn. Capricorn. Oh, my God. Yo, uh -huh. are, are they, they're trolling that dude, aren't they? Because they're, like, using his picture. And all... Probably. <laughs> Archer, Archer, five bucks. A female will tell you you're her world, but there are seven other planets. Oh, my oh, God. God. Oh, God. shit. That was funny. Universe. Yeah, bro. Oh, shit. It's a good one. Oh, and shout out to our boy, DLC. What's good, fam? Fresh, put me on the list for your birthday. I'll be in the day that weekend. Question for ladies. When was the last time you cooked a meal for a man? Oh, Ooh, good shit. one. Wait. Shout out to DLC, by the way. Yo, shout out to DLC, man. Yeah, for the big 100-hour super chat. Just a quick announcement. My party's going to be October 2nd. It's going to be at Komodo. Uh, nighttime, we're hosting Fresh and Fit. Shout out to y'all. My birthday party. It's going to be lit. Turn up, show up, and show out. And well, please, Fresh, uh, cream your feet, please. <laughs> nigga, no. I'm wearing socks, nigga. Ashy ankles. Uh, okay, I'll, we'll ask that question here in a second. Say, I'll just get through these, and then yeah. we'll ask the ladies. Okay, great show. The girl in the middle is gorgeous. Okay, you got a... What, what's your Enjoy. Instagram? Drop it for the people. Zaria.aria. Okay, go ahead and send a dick pic over there, guys. Oh, oh Lord. Uh, <laughs> yo, real quick. Yeah. I'm not 20 years old, by the way. I'm 28 years old. I don't know how y'all got 20 years old for 28 years old. Yeah, this nigga look old as hell. What are y'all talking like, about? Bro, 20 I'm 28, dog. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Uh, uh, Morel for all. So you were deliberately irritating him and creating drama just for kicks and giggles? Sounds disrespectful. You got some back for that, Miss Bahamas? Sorry, say that again. Oh, I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, he said, uh, so, he said so, so you were deliberately, deliberately irritating him and creating drama just for kicks and giggles? Sounds disrespectful. No, it wasn't funny. I just, like I said, every man that, you know, say that they're interested in me, I'm going to test the spirit to see what type of person I'm dealing with. This is someone who was saying that they wanted to invest in my career, you know. Oh, he gave you a bunch of dream, like dreams and shit like that? Well, it would have been. Basically. I mean, it's dreams, you know, but he wanted something in, in return, you know what I'm saying? But I was not into that. Yeah, mm. I ain't into all of that. The boom, boom, no. So, no, it wasn't intentional, boom, boom, but boom, I was yes. just... Boom, boom. <laughs> You're funny. You learned that word today, huh? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you. You know, they have other words, you know, pum pum, panani. Mango. In the Bahamas, Mango. we call it Krabby. Oh, Krabby. Uh, oh, no. Krabby. Krabby. That's yeah. a new one. You know, actually, you know what? Krabby or Cunny in the Bahamas. Oh, well, Scott classic. Boy. So, I'll I'll say this. <laughs> um, Guys, real, real quick. Actually, this is a learning point. So, you, you know what? I... So both of y'all fucked up. I'm going to acknowledge that. But now I just thought about this, right? I just got a little light bulb. The reason why she tested him, guys, was because he made a lot of promises. Mm. So we tell you on this podcast all the time, like, you know, sell a dream, but like don't like sell a dream to the point where it's like too crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because if it sounds too good to be true, what's going to happen is the girl's going to be far more likely to shit test you to see if you are congruent. She's going to see if you're King Von. Are you are you? Are you who you are? You claim you are, right? And you need to be able to say, no, I am who I am, right? So don't make promises and or try to, uh, how do I say this? Sell demonstrate dream. certain things. Demonstrate certain things that isn't congruent to you. Yeah. Because when you do that and a girl sees inconsistencies, mm -hmm. their knee-jerk natural reaction is to shit test you, which is what she did. She was like, this guy's probably cap. I'm going to see if he's really about it. He maybe portrayed himself to be a certain way. And he said, and she tested him. He failed the test, showed him motion. And, you know, it didn't work out. So, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, guys, we, we say it all the time out here in the, in the sphere, like women naturally shit test guys to see what they're made of. And this is an example of that. And I would argue the more you promise up front, the more of a dream you sell, the harder she's going to shit test you. So I, I, that's a good thing that I was just thinking about. Go ahead. Um, I really think he just lacked the skills to speak to women. He's just so used to flushing his money. You know, that's mm. the, he don't have no game. It's like, oh, you know, I invest into this person and to mm. this festival and this. Like, he don't know how to talk to a woman. Like, you just so, come to a woman and just be like, hey, you know, I think you're pretty. Da, 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 da. He was just trying to, you know, I think he just lacked the skills. So he's leading with his wallet, trying to impress yes. him yeah. with what yes. he's doing. It's like, okay, if you're really about this business... Can you even handle this like this test right here? So that's why you did that. But my thing is like, okay, that being said, like if you kind of were like, if you want to finesse it, you could be like, all right, I want I want to say whatever right now. Make it she already explained this though. She from the I know, she I know. Down. No, 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 I no, no, no. I think some girls from the Bahamas finesse. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't want to have to go through all of it. Right, right. Because you're gonna be it's like, not worth it. Yo, I'm gonna hold it down. And they want to get when I get what I want, I'm gonna be like, whatever. And and, and real quick, <laughs> this is a good this is a good learning point good for, for uh this is a good learning point for all the guys in the chat. Guys, make no mistake about it. If a girl uh shit tests you, you know, she throws a shit test your way. Interest. Which, it, it means that she likes you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? She just wants to make sure that you're congruent to who you purport yourself to be. Or she, she's giving you a shot 
don't fuck it up. Yeah. All so right. guys, the shit test is not a negative thing. It's actually a good thing. It means she likes you and she's trying to see if you're real. Yep. Uh, okay. So yeah, that was a good teaching moment for the guys. Yeah, uh, okay. It's, like, it's, it's like when they tell you, oh, I'll smash on the first date. <laughs> but 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 they're in your bedroom. I'm like. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Ten bucks. Design for diamond. Uh, question for the ladies: Are you guys pro life or pro choice, and why? Ooh. Okay. Uh, and then we got twenty bucks from McQueen. Make sure you give Pink Island Girl her respect. Yeah, I facts, got you, bro. Facts, we, facts. We, we, you we gonna go. respect yeah. me? <laughs> That's the one. Like I say, respect me. I got you. I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> Mike shout out to McQueen, man. Uh, shout out to you, McQueen. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel, guys. Uh, Mike Anthony, ten bucks. Part two. Did I? I did smash multiple times. She even paid for the dinner once. She said that she really likes likes me and wants a relationship, but I seen her text another guy, babe. Should I cut her off or not? Uh, well, she's keeping her options open, bro. This yeah. is what a lot of women do. It happens, bro. Um, but if she's texting, I mean, it's the, it's on you, bro, because there's so much more to this to, yeah. to this uh, equation about like making a girl your girlfriend. Like, I don't know how long you vetted her. I don't know what red signs she red flag she has. So there's way more to that um story that needs to be known. But the the thing is, like, okay, you know where you're at with her. Do you want it to be your girl? Because if you want it to be your girl, that's a whole, whole different story. And if you do, okay. it's like she got cut off all that. Yeah. And if she willing to do that for you, who knows? But it, you yep. know what I'm saying? You got to fill it out. Yep. Okay. So real quick around the table. When's the last time you cooked a meal for a guy? Last week. Okay. Who all was right. it? Oh, we shit. made breakfast. Who was it? A guy I talked to. No, you're... Okay. Never mind. <laughs> 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 uh, what, about, what about you? Recent? Yeah. Who? The most recent time. No, you don't. Uh, you don't got to say who. I was gonna say played the fifth. Anyway. Okay, okay, no, but but yeah. when's the most la- most recent time you did it? Within a month. When was it? Within a month. Damn. Okay, that was a while ago. All right. Okay. I mean, don't marry Cardi, you guys. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh Lord. you better take that back. Take it back right now. Clean. I am wifey material. <laughs> Bye, Bye, everybody. Bye. When's the last time you cooked a meal? Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Red, what about you? A few years ago, and it was my little brother for breakfast. God damn! Okay, <laughs> hey, she, she's keeping it real. Yeah, at least at least I'll be honest. And then uh... yesterday, I had one of my friends come by, and he was helping me uh, with a YouTube video. So I was like, "All right, let me just show my appreciation. I'm Aww. cooking some breakfast." So nice. Do y'all? Uh... Just Curtis, I'm nice. I'm just like I'm a giving person, so I do that to all my friends when they come over. No, sir. You guys, you got... No, he's no. friend zone. <laughs> no. Damn. Yes, he's friend zone. He's married. Oh. I, he's, he's a awesome. good boy. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Good, good, boy. Boy. good boy. Thank you for coming over and helping me out too. Yeah, thank you so yeah, much yeah. for helping me, good boy. Here's some food. Yeah, here's, here's some, some rice and beans and, some, and and chicken and, here's, and here's jerk. actually some dog food for no, you. No, it was an omelet. 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 What? omelet. what was an omelet? Okay. Yo, there you go. Make sure it up. Make sure it up. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You want to yeah. treat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bench, nigga. You want some box? Okay. I know y'all funny. <laughs> so Shit. sweet. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, video time. We could do a video. Oh, guys. By the way. Oh wait. There was another quote. Uh, mm-hmm, another pro choice, pro whatever. life. Yeah. Okay. Just real quick. Pro choice. Pro choice. Pro life. Pro choice. Pro choice. Pro choice. Choice. Pro life is the one that they don't kill the babies, right? right. Just making sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pro life. Uh, okay. So if you get pregnant, you keep it no matter what. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Cut different from the uh, Wait, from the normal. No, no wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> there was another question. Though. They was asking why we would be why or no, you choose what you choose. That's the, that's the a whole debate. That's, yeah. that's what they was asking. I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, pro choice is pretty self explanatory. You want to be able to, you know, con- mm-hmm. which is understandable. You know, you yeah, want- because you don't know the yeah. situation. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I, 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 I agree. I, I'm pro choice as well. You know, I think like. My thing is this: it just kind of sucks, though, because guys have zero, uh, they, they have zero reproductive uh, insight. You know what I'm saying? So I think if a woman is pro-choice, I'm gonna have to take Dave Chappelle's side on this and pretty much go, "Gotcha, bitch." You need to be pro-wallet, like you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, your wallet, your 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 body, your choice, my wallet, my choice. You want to keep that kid? I helping you. But is it is that wrong? I think you know, as a man, you should step up and you know take care of your kid. You know what I'm saying? Because that kid is gonna end up being a degenerative society. However. If a woman has the right to have a child, I think a man should have the right whether he wants to support it. The right thing to do is to take care of that kid, but he shouldn't be forced to do it through the courts, is yep. my opinion on it. So we got a video here. Okay. Uh, child support video? Let's yes. See. No, no. No? Oh. All right. We can do yeah, two. Yeah, two. It, it is. Oh, we got another one. No, the one under it was really 
funny. Okay, well, this one ties in. We'll play this this uh, one cool, real quick. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so uh, all right, guys, we got a we got a video. I got this video from at least like five different people. Yes. Uh, and Chris probably got it as well. And yeah. I know y'all probably spam Trey saying, "Hey, stop licking your, lick your lips and look at the clip." Play the clip. Uh, ah. but um, yeah, man. Turn Alexis, suck me up. Yep. Play the clip. Yeah. Shout out to McQueen. No, that, that, that's not my life. Okay, so uh, this is from this came from uh TikTok. Uh, who posted this on Instagram? Uh, I mean, uh, the it's, account. It's bits. It's biscuit. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm blind. I can't see it. All right. Can you enlarge your honor end, Chris? Yeah. Judge Vonda increased the child support from four hundred bucks a month to two thousand five fifty, and she started stuttering. Oh, sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, know, <all> right. <laughs> sounds familiar. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, I know you ain't talking, Chris. Mr. Peanut Butter Roof oh, of the Mouth. Oh, 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 of that $150,000 is going to be $12,500. She's actually capped. So in Texas, her... Hey, she said it was capped. Okay. I don't know what that means, like but that, I'm going to go ahead. Still a cap. No, he got the white ones. He got, he, I paid for them. So okay. has to be removed. Now he got the white one. Bro, what is she wearing? I, I don't know. Probably, is that... I thought it was Chinchilla for a second. I was about to say, she really stunned in the courtroom? I don't know what the hell that is she wearing. Bro. Yeah, okay, bro. so tell so, so you around your dad. Well, moving, so moving right along, mm -hmm. her net resources. Oh. Did it freeze on us? You don't have to let it is buffer. This is real? This is yeah, real? it's real. Yeah, yeah I, 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 wow. Real. Right along, her net resources, they come out to nine. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. God damn it. I, froze on us again, Chris? No, wait, hold on. yeah, you might have to just this play it through, bro. Do. Your gross is going to be of that one hundred and fifty thousand is going to be twelve thousand five hundred dollars. She's actually capped. So in Texas, her hey, she said it was capped. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but <laughs> I'm going to go ahead. Silver cap. So no, he got the white ones. He got. He, I paid for them. So okay, has to be removed. And now he got the white one. Okay, tell, tell, tell your honor that. Well, moving, moving right along. Her net resources <laughs> they come out to nine thousand two hundred dollars because she's capped based on her income. That brings her child support obligation to twenty three hundred dollars per month. Reimbursing you for the health insurance that you carry for the children every month is two hundred and fifty five dollars. Bringing your monthly child support to two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. Holy okay. shit! I, 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 no, excuse me. Wait a minute. I don't get paid <laughs> monthly. Oh, I, it's according to how my houses are flipped. So if I go a month without flipping the house, what? Why did you do this? You no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Excuse me. I went off what you around. said. You, you said your honor. I make about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Did you say that? I did. I did. I guess. I guess. I, I did. did say that, right. Right. I you, did. you did. You did. You did say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I based it on. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, I'm so petty, man. Therefore, that's what your child support amount is going to be: two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. So I hope you can flip enough houses to make that flip some more for these children. Mm. Is there anything further, ma'am? Um, yes, can I just ask a question? As far as sure. the tutoring, mm -hmm. what if I take my children to tutoring? What? <laughs> you can, you mean like take them in a car? Yeah, like mm -hmm. if I take them to tutoring, can that re like reduce that? Yeah, I don't want her I, around that, me. No, no. I, didn't, I didn't say you. To I answer, said my children. The, you said that you're... you're did, did, did you ask me a question or did you ask him a question? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. To answer your question, no. He's paying him child support? It doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It has no impact him. on that whatsoever. Transporting your children to tutoring is called parenting. All right. Is there anything further? Can I go? Oh, sure. As soon as I <laughs> dismiss you. Is there anything further, sir? <laughs> Yo, I just want to no. say, yo, the God has blessed me in ways that I, <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just appreciate Ooh, you, you so for, for understanding Ooh, you my frustration. So <laughs> my pain. Yo. Well, I didn't make a ruling based on your frustration and your pain. I made a ruling based on what the law said I can do with what's in the best interest of these oh, children. Bro, bro, and if teacher. there's nothing further, you both are dismissed. Me and my little teacher. Yes, you was a little teacher. Walk out with this.
two thousand dollars though. <laughs> yeah. Is that shit real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, city boys, we fuck it up, baby. That's wild, bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> city boys, we up. God damn it. I tell you this, we're down. You know what I mean? Because city boys, we've been losing for a while, but we coming back, god damn it. That we coming real? back. Woo! That's what I was asking. Nah, it, it's real because I saw another clip from that uh from that same court. Actually, the wow. video, I didn't think that that was actually better than the one I thought it was. Someone else sent me a clip from that uh from that show. Yo, that was awesome, bro. When Petty Miss Petty Miss Petty. Yo, <laughs> City Boys, we up, baby. He came up on that one. It's only uh, 1,300,041 and, 300, and five, you know, versus like 10. So we're getting, we're going to get to 11 soon. Uh, okay, any other super chats real quick? Uh, Cut up? Okay. One second. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we, we was there another video you wanted to play? Yeah, there's one more. Wait. Okay, but yeah, let's get the ladies. Uh, what's your guys' thoughts on What's that? your opinion on that? I mean, she got to pay what's due. It is what it is. If men got to do it, women got to do it too. If you're not taking care of your children. Anybody who's a deadbeat need to pay. That's it. That's fair. All right. Um, I took it as something to be cautious of. Because being honest, I am a person who likes to work for my stuff. And I have a big heart. So, like, yeah, I've been one of those girls that say, you don't got to have money. <laughs> but then, okay, you don't got to have money. And now you don't have time to raise the kids. And, oh, snap, our relationship didn't work. And, now nah, I'm going to take care of the kids. But I don't have sufficient funds. So... I'm going to take your ass to court and you got $2,000 yeah. in child So in other words, you're not going to date someone that makes less money like, than you. Bro, it's not even that. It's just you got to be very cautious of who you pick as your partner because you will really have someone there like trying to get your pockets. Like, yeah. And honestly, like now I understand guys. Like, we're, there women, you go. Like, not going to lie. That shit hit me like right in the face. Like, damn, that's how that shit feel? Like, ouch. Yo. Yeah. That's real talk, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ouch. Every day. But but here's a... Th well, I'll give my opinion last. Go ahead, ladies. What do you think? Ladies, uh, back um, to you guys. Yeah, I, I see why I guess that she had to pay it. But once again, yeah, that's why you don't have kids by someone who don't make a lot of money. Because now you got to pay him. Now, and now, you already gave him... You got him new teeth. Come on, now, sis. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're a young professional. Um, Have you been in situations where you were the breadwinner when you were dealing with the, with the, the guy? Um... No. Oh, never. Okay. All right. So you don't. You just don't date guys below your socioeconomic level. Um. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think is that cap. You've dated a broke guy once at least. One. Okay. All right. And then what? What'd you learn from that? Never again. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. It's cool. Keep it real, man. Don't do it. We keep it honest on this podcast. You can say yeah. it like, I don't date no bro guys. That's what yeah. a bunch of girls say anyway. It's just really not as fun as dating somebody with money. You know, it's just. Okay. It's only, it, it's a one and done it type thing. So it's not like I'll do it again. Gotcha. But. Just keeping yeah. it real. All right. So that is a. Nope. For guys that don't have money. All right. What about you? <laughs> um, I thought, Oops. damn, it happens. Um, that's why it's really good to get to know your partner and their past, including their family history, because a lot of people end up like their parents. So if they have a deadbeat mom, they'll be, you know, a lot more distant towards their kid because they never grew up with that. Um, so yeah, pay attention to the red flags. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. All right, um, so, okay. What about you? What are your thoughts? Um, I'm happy that he got his money, but it also makes me cautious not to only whom I have kids with, but if they have a kid like before me, if you get what I'm saying, like you see what I'm saying, like okay, if I'm yeah. dating someone with one, then what if it happened like that? So that 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 right there made me kind of look at it twice, like hmm, do I really want to date someone with children? And this is or why with a child. Most women don't do it because it's it's like okay, you 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 marry that person and you suck into that now, so it's you making know. me. Well, see, I want to know what city. That judge is in. That's uh -huh. a good city to move to. And yeah. secondly, it's Texas. It's in Texas. 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 Yeah. And then secondly, like um, if the D game is on point though, y'all only care if it's it, what you say. What? Yo, the D game. If, yeah. If what? If the, if the D, D is game good. is on point, that shit is kind of like secondary though. What secondary? What secondary? Money. The money talk. No, it's no, not. It's not. no, it's not. So you tell me you never been dickmatized before? <laughs> no, no, no. Not, not no. by a broke boy. <laughs> Niggas get pussy ties. <laughs> that part. Okay. <laughs> that okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever y'all say. Um. Yeah. I mean. Uh. What I've come to realize, because at this point we've interviewed hundreds of girls, what I've noticed is that women rarely put themselves in 
uh, like precarious situations with guys. Like if a dude is like broke, she's immediately going to put up certain buffers that make sure this guy doesn't isn't able to get in a position that like a fuck her up. Whereas like men are the opposite. If we meet a girl that can fuck us up financially, hell fuck, Alan can learn from me. Then yeah. smash that girl, then she comes around, oh, I'm pregnant, which was a fucking one hundred percent. Stop the cap. But like guys don't play on defense like women do. Y'all play on defense when you deal with men. So it's like. All right, I might fuck with this guy, but I'm never gonna let him be in a position where like he could fuck me up. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, oh yeah, it's for for her. So, um, thank you so much. Shout out to Joyce, by the way, helping out. Uh, so, um, so yeah, so she, the girls aren't gonna put themselves in a vulnerable position where they can like lose money or whatever it is from a guy. But men will gladly do that for women. So that's that's just something very interesting that I've noticed. Like if a girl meets a guy and he has a kid, but he doesn't have money, she's immediately gonna be like, yeah, now nah, fuck this shit. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like I already know what's going to come into play with dealing with a dude that has a child and me coming in as a potential stepmom and I got to deal with the fucking crazy baby mama, possibly whatever. Mm -hmm. Like that dude's got to really have his shit on point to be able to, uh, that guy's really got to have his shit on point to be able to, um, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, To be able to elevate and get her to look past that shit. So yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, next, uh, what was the next Next video? Yeah. yeah next video. Okay. Oh, no, su- super chats first though. Okay. Well, hit the super chats real fast. Okay. Um, we got there? five oh. bucks DJ and Smay, uh, M- Montajas. Uh, thanks for the content. My wife is now a submissive traditional and I've taken the alpha role. I got the sandwich style at fit. Yeah, there you go. Oh, real quick guys. We're going to do a quick, uh, poll in the chat real quick before we do the second video. You guys want smasher pass or e date one for smasher pass. Two for e date. If you want to do smash or pass, send it fifty bucks, and uh, we will do a full review on your Instagram. Instagram. You will get roasted, but you're gonna learn a lot. We've had a bunch of guys send in their profiles. We we had the girls uh, give you a, a rating, and then at the end, me and Fresh give you some legit critiques to improve your Instagram. As you guys know, Fresh just got verified on Instagram. Uh, we both Ooh. utilize Instagram to you know get the ladies and to network or business, whatever it is. But uh, at this point, we're pretty much mastered Instagram, even though I hate it. But uh, yeah, so if you guys want, Useful okay, tool. it looks like someone once, said three. <laughs> yeah, one. So okay, they want to watch people get roasted on on uh, uh, Instagram profiles. So guys, uh, go ahead, shoot in a super chat, and we will review your thing, and we'll do it in the order that they come in. We'll co- cover all. That's why we're doing it earlier in the show, so we can make sure we cover every single Instagram that comes through. Guys, so fifty bucks and up, and we will uh, review your IGs, and you'll learn a lot, man. It's a really good learning point because you guys will be able to see what women think. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, I'm so sorry. No, 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 that was the option one. Yeah, the... smash or pass. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, where we rate their Instagrams. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you haven't been here for a while, so I don't think we did it last time you were here. Nah, yeah. yeah, no, you good. You good. Don't worry about it. So excited. We're, we're, we're changing things up. <laughs> They're improving. So, um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon, SRN, 25 bucks. Child support is for the child, not income for the parent. That's why it's called child support facts. That part. Uh, oh, and then smart? straight almighty. <laughs> My uncle makes way more money than both his baby mothers, and they both pay child support. They were unfit mothers. F- mothers, females need to hold other females accountable. Yeah, that happens. And then uh, we got Ricky Mills, five bucks. Who let Jill Scott on the show? Oh God, who's Jill Scott? Who is that? I-, I think they're talking about her. I mean, I'm an actress, so just call me Diana. Okay? Thank you. You got anything back to else to say to him? Um, no, just you'll know my name soon, so it's okay. There you <laughs> go. Shout out, shout there out you to go. you. Uh, okay. Um, so next video. Video. Okay, let's play the next video. This we one. got we got another uh clip to play for you guys. Uh, what's this one? Give us a background on this one. Trey actually got this one for us. Trey? He's looking at his lips, guys. Give us a second. Okay. Yeah. I, so, could, I could get a background on this one. Yeah. Um, Trey, go ahead. No, no, no. Trey got it. Trey got it. Go ahead, Trey. Yeah, yeah. Go. What's the background on this video? For, for, fresh has it. All right, Fresh. Go ahead, Fresh. Excuse me. Excuse me. This so, is what we're going to do. Well, it's playing. It's yep. playing. No. This girl got paid 10K to pee on somebody. And ended up being her, her professor at school. Oh my god! So Call me R. Kelly. You get paid ten k. You're like, yeah, yeah. It's R. R. Kelly Kelly challenge. Ten thousand dollars, golden shower, rain on me, rain. And uh, you get ten k, but it's your professor at school. Uh-uh. So next day you go to school, it's like, is real? I mean, you got your money, Mr. Mm-hmm. Dean. Is that you? you? Got your money and your age. These men are right. converted, boy. Mm-hmm. Never know, but bro. But they posted it or something. Here we go. Well, interview. Her experience. Oh, Caucasian. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Caucasian. <laughs> Over the summer, I met up with like a sugar daddy. So he, his plan was to pay me 10k for peeing on his face. And I peed on his face. I got the 10k. And then I came home and I like blocked him. Haven't talked to him since. Two months later, I walk into class. First day of school. First class. He's my professor. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Over the summer. Hold on, hold on, pause. Oh, oh, that was just that one. 
Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you this. You low key gave it away. <laughs> oh man. Uh yeah, she blocked him. She's gonna fail that class, though. I'll tell you that for a fact. He's gonna get the last. <laughs> the last oh god. Oh, man, I was switching yeah. just so quick. <laughs> I mean, that's disturbing, but uh what are your thoughts on that? You're from Islands. Very perverted. <laughs> Very perverted. Um well, she you know, you know, she can fail, so you got your 10k, you just retake the class. Hopefully, you spend it. <laughs> Hopefully, you ain't spending on no Louis and no Chanel. You know, yeah. hope you have a little sense. You know, put that little in a little crypto, little forex. You know, flip mm. that little bit, then take the class with someone else and you don't piss on the man. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair enough. She's trying to be R. Kelly, that's all. I think it'd be like that. The world's it's a small place, <laughs> it it'd be like that. To- no, she's saying no, it's a small, no. world. Oh, small world. Yeah. So okay. you'll run into the same people you meet eventually. If that was your opportunity, what would you do? I would take that 10K. I, I, I'm mad at you. All right. Yeah. Cool. You gotta get that bread. <laughs> I mean, that's a, it's an easy 10K, though. So. Exactly. Easy 10K. Yeah, I would definitely take my 10K. What? No. <laughs> what? A little, a little... So you would piss on the guy? 10 bucks, Heck 10k. Yeah. Don't Golden start your showers. business. Come and, on then, and then, as far as like, it's kind of weird for y'all because you got to pop a squat. So it's like, what the, you know what I'm saying? Like, pop it. We squat like, on faces anyway. Exactly. Right. So this is true. exactly. Who <laughs> faces? For two, not yours. Oh, damn right. Damn right. We ain't, uh, what? Oh, yeah, that, that, gotta that, be, that, gotta be the main strange. thing. You feel me? The main <laughs> thing. Yeah. Like, Even if she was the main thing, she ain't doing that to me, man. That's but that, everyone's different, you know. I, I personally don't like I don't like box eating box, but what? everyone's different. Sorry. Oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, so, like, wait, what? Um, but yeah, also as far as her blocking him, like yeah, I would have blocked him. But if I went to, went to class, I would be like, oh my god, hi. Can I get another ten? <laughs> oh shit, twenty k. Oh shit. Okay. At twelve. Look that shit on him. Okay. <laughs> Shorty? Oh, yeah. Like, not gonna lie on some hot girl shit. I would have did the t- 10K. Like, I'm not really fucking you and I like that. I would just piss <laughs> on you and make it rain and take my 10K. But <laughs> the irony that you run into that man, you're just like, I gotta stop doing hot girl shit. Like, that's <laughs> that's what I'm gonna know. I'm gonna be like, oh, shit. Professor, I changed my number. How it was good. Ah, ah, she got, 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 she um, I would probably like switch the teacher if he was acting weird, but if he was cool, then I stay in the class. Yeah, you got to take that first test and and see how we grade you. Got to test them out. Um, no, nah, but you know what he gonna do? <laughs> he gonna give you a good grade on that first test, right? So that like you pass a certain part of the semester where you can't leave, and then you and, gotta and, and, then, and then you locked in. He gonna be like, gotcha, bitch. And then you're gonna <laughs> end up taking a bunch of fucking F's. And I'm not. Nah, talking you'll be fucking... able to tell when a man's upset. You can tell. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. well, he's a professor. Like he's gonna get the last laugh. She once she can't r- withdraw out the class anymore. He's gonna be like, oh yeah, she taking some F's now, baby. You about to fail this class, bitch. Yeah, so, yeah. You know what I'm I mean, the game really gonna be on him because if you try to fail me and I'm passing, um, I'm going to the dean, baby. The dean. Ooh, That's report true. that. That'd be, yeah, report it. That'd be an interesting conversation. Wait, wait, but... I pissed on him make, and he failed me. That, that make you look... No, actually... You're no. pissed? Who being the wrong, though? Oh. You're being the wrong. Professor. Who being the wrong? No, no. The professor. But real talk, shoot, fall the window. Yeah. Because they're going to take her side over, over the, yeah. the guy. Well, if and he's tenured, bro, if, he, if he's tenured, I mean, he could lie. I, I ain't pissed off. I got never allowed. This. I got the receipt. Yeah. What? Is this not mean? you? I got. She I got hold a cash receipt. Him, yeah. The account yeah. number, routing yeah. number. Anything. She but has more thing. power. No, no, no. But here's the thing: like when dudes pay that kind of money and they put themselves in weird ass positions, they ain't letting no chick record it or get like real evidence. She no, but I'm saying she had a message from his account. She had a message. He had to message her. What? Wow. I mean, dudes that got money that do weird shit like that, bro, they be paying with like weird accounts and they be paying in strange ways so their wife don't catch them. Like, true, you would hope so. Cause yeah. Nah, because some of them, they ain't smart. I mean, some of them are dumb. Don't get he me wrong, he should have paid with crypto. <laughs> <laughs> no trace, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, uh, fresh, what's your what's your take on it? So, yeah, man, um, I mean, real talk, I ain't matter for taking the 10k. Thanks for giving it away before the show, actually. My bad, the, the video. Well, you asked what the video was about, so I told y'all, <laughs> but uh, could have just well, said, Hey, it's a, it has to do with urination. At least yeah. you didn't tell her she was white because you know what? <laughs> that, I mean, was that, surprising. Surprising. <laughs> that was surprising, it makes sense it now, really wasn't, though. but right. but 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 that being said, though, like, <laughs> I get why she did it, and like, I'm not mad at her. My only thing is that, like, how to put this now, how do you spin it in your favor? Because you got a 10k, you got the money up front, but the long term repercussions of it could affect you in school. So, was it worth it? Hey, 10K, definitely. Retrospect, him being in your class and your teacher. 
That's that, that's a tough one. Not gonna that lie. is tough. Yeah, pro- professors get a little bit more protection, but yeah, I mean, he would definitely get canceled if she could show proof. I mean, but if what? they're both mature, like, why would y'all both fuck it up for each other? For each if, other. Well, you know, like, why would you say something if you know you're... Well, remember, she's the one that blocked him, though. She might regret. She might be like... He you know could what? find somebody else to pee on him. You know how many girls gonna pee on you? <laughs> right. You shouldn't be upset. Yeah. You got what you wanted that night. Don't be mad. I don't want to talk to you no more. Yep. It's a lot to pee I mean, out here. Unless you're trying to do it again. No, that's what I'm talking. I'm 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 agree with y'all. Like, yo, if you want strange, strange isn't consistent, guys. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason why there's a reason why it's considered <laughs> strange. It's not normal, guys, which that's means true. it happens on a basis where it's not often. So it's not gonna always last. Like, you know what? I always want some strange, and I'm gonna hit up the same girl to try to get this strange. It's like, nah, bro, it ain't gonna, it don't work like that. You know? that. Yeah, but I would say, have any of you guys done anything where uh, you, a guy a guy had a weird fetish and you, you did it for him, and then he like compensated you for it? Yes. Okay, tell us about that one. Uh, there she was, was... Quick yes. <laughs> I'm just like yes. I believe it. I believe it. Like a lot of girls have like done some. They, they, they and, offered. And sometimes it's not even sexual. It's like beating the shit out of them. Yeah. Like a, a couple thousand, you know, they get offers. But go, go ahead. What's, what's yours, yeah. Red? Well, there's guys who will either buy beat pics or videos, and then there's the other guys who like to be embarrassed. So they'll ask you to, let's say, for example, video chat them and just be naked, write maybe pig on yourself type of thing, and then have the girl roast them, and that's what gets them off. Wow, really? And then posting them on your story. And their social security number and everything. <laughs> Yo, what? People, wow. what? Yeah. That is shit. Damn. Wow. All the scammers, hit her up. Guys. <laughs> Yo, real quick, guys. Like the video. Comment, subscribe. How many likes we are right now, by the way? Uh, we at uh, 1.3. Guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop the show. There's 1.3 you guys, 1.3K of you guys in here. We got 3,000. Oh, no. 1.3K likes. And we got 3,000 plus you guys in here. Guys, do us a favor. Hit that goddamn like button. Likes are free, man. Get us, uh, how much? Because we got some people watching on Twitch and on YouTube. How many watching on YouTube? Two point eight k. Guys, get us at least twenty five hundred likes. Twenty five hundred, right? Two point eight. So yep. that's three hundred people extra. Yeah, guys, get us up so we can get the. Because here's the thing: we were gone uh, in LA for a bit, so obviously, you know, the live streaming algo is not all the way up there. So to, for us to get back on the main feed, we need y'all to support. I like the goddamn mouth, video. Mouth. So like yes. the video. Yes, please. Ain't nobody going harder than us, man. Doing two shows a day, sliding cameras and shit. I'm gonna get more sliding cameras because I'm like li- liking this shit. So TV level level production, man. Yeah, bro. Real talk, man. At LA are watching the show, man. So things are happening yeah. behind the scenes, man. So watch out. Yeah, we got and we got some fire content coming for you guys, man. We made some good connections. All right, super chats. L Machiner. One bi- wait, did all the ladies get to go? You guys got your opinions on? It? Yeah, I think so, right? I think so. Oh. Oh, well, oh, the, what, I remember what any I was other say. Weird, weird any, any other weird things offers? that you guys have been... Uh, oh, yeah. I was like, what was the question? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and y'all have any other weird uh, situations where a dude paid you to like maybe beat the shit out of him or send him feet fetishes. pics or something like that? Strange fetishes? No, just the feet. Girl, you're oh, y'all, y'all all have gotten feet, feet requests? But, but that's pretty feet, common, though. It, that's what I was going to say. That's not like, even weird no more. Like, that's yeah. just um, kind of like normalized now. Like, when I first heard about hey. it, I was like, feet? Yeah. And then when you get grown and sexy with it, you like feet. <laughs> hey, you don't feet pics? What about you? What about you? I ain't gonna cap, bro. Like feet are disgusting to me, man. I don't know how guy. Whatever. Yeah, I'm really starting to wonder. Some guys about like you. Them are beautiful. Yeah. I, I've never had no one ask me for feet pictures. You haven't? No. Wow. Well, maybe, maybe it's not a Bahamas, Caribbean thing. That, that, like that's not. Yeah, that's I don't like really talk thing. to like Americans. That's probably why. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't, no Caribbean don't man don't care about no, me to no do that. It's usually like no. white. No, they don't yeah. care about no. They're not gonna pay no money for this. Usually a white bad, 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 no, yam foot. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, that, that's a weirdo. And just out of curiosity, not saying that race plays into this, but these men that wanted feet pictures were they Caucasian? No, I said they're usually white. Okay, all right. Oh, I didn't hear that. Not really, actually. Well, I've had a mixture. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. You're an equal opportunity feet supplier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Everybody get the feet. I'm also <laughs> a model, so book me. Yeah, okay, <laughs> get y'all you know. money. Yeah. Get y'all money feet. for the feet pictures. Yeah. I I, I for it. All, all the ladies' Instagrams are, are below, guys. So if you want to get feet pictures or send your dick pic yes, over in an audition pics. or no get seated, so get sit on or whatever it is that you like, <laughs> uh, go ahead sit and hit on. Uh, so, yeah. Some guys like to get girls to sit on their face. I don't know. No. We oh, I mean, you we you mentioned earlier, like some guys. Yeah, but we're not doing that from the DM. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. <laughs> I said, we not doing it. Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay. All right, fair enough. Okay. Uh, okay. Unless you got a blue check. All right. Five dollars from Al Machiner. One baby mama pays me one thousand a month. The other three fifty. I got custody of both kids. Hey, my ninja. My boy, win it, man. Shout out to you, brother. City boys, we up. Okay, ten bucks uh, from Sean uh, Dur- Demma. 
I'm in college right now and my major is cybersecurity. I feel like I keep wasting my time here. So I have a question. Can I get a six figure job with an IT certification and which one fresh? Call fresh is for you. So um there's actually the comp TIA, that's a very good certification, but there's one for um cybersecurity. Um, so just Google comp TIA certification, and then it's gonna be uh, I think it's the one for just type in secure security, cybersecurity, comp TIA. It should, it should come up for you right away. That's mm -hmm. one that, that you should do. Okay. Cause that, that, that can get you a job right away like that. Okay. And, and if you look up there, there's another person that sent in a chat, and that's the answer to that as well. The top one. Oh, okay. I see a Sean get security. We're, we'll read that one here in a second. Okay. Uh, Zentian, 20 bucks. I couldn't care less of what the ladies or anyone says about my social media, gents. The less you care, the more power you have. Moreover, if you focus on your growth, the less issues you'll have. Focus on yourself. Hashtag stoicism. Well, I would disagree, bro, because uh, just because you don't care doesn't mean mm. other people won't care. People if you want to network, do business, you want to mm -hmm. actually show a lifestyle, people will care to see what you got to post, bro. So, yeah. I mean, it, like I said, guys, um, we're not going to knock guys that want to just like, you know, leave the dating marketplace altogether and not deal with women. Yeah, you, we ain't can. Gonna knock you can. Like, I know we, we're cool with a bunch of MGTOWs and, you know, a lot of them just say, fuck it. Just ain't worth the squeeze. And hey, we agree with you. Like some, some in some situations, it isn't. But for the guys that do want to go out there and deal with chicks and everything else like that, we're here. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't going to knock you if you want to leave either. So, you know, we're here for the dudes that want to still uh, smash some chicks every now and then. All right. Uh -huh. I'm a machiner. <laughs> Five bucks. If you have a kid and she is whack, uh, cameras are key. A stack on a PI is cheaper than child support. That is true. Mm -hmm. That is very true. You know, hiring a private investigator can save you uh, a lot of money in the future, especially like let's say you're paying her and it's contingent upon her being single. That's going to. Yeah. There's like some some states where like. Uh, you pay child support or you pay or, or was it alimony? One of the two depends on the state. The laws change. But in general, it's like, yo, you got to pay her alimony unless she finds another partner, which a lot of times she'll find another but partner. Like marriage? She, yeah, right? Or they'll lift, they'll cohabitate or whatever, oh, okay. where it's like very clear that like, you know, he's financially providing to, for her to some degree, mm -hmm. but she's no longer entitled to that alimony payment. So what they'll do is they'll conceal that, that they're mm -hmm. with another guy. So getting mm -hmm. a PI would be great. You can take that evidence to the court. Hey, judge. I shouldn't be paying this chick alimony anymore. She's in another relationship. Yeah, but just because but she's in a relationship case. doesn't mean that that man wants to take to over the child. Yeah. Well, no, it's alimony. That's when you get divorced yeah. and you have to pay you. Oh. Your spouse pay you. For time, oh, for time alimony. Of okay, I thought you were talking about Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah, child support, there's not really no, you ain't going to escape that shit. That's like the shadow <laughs> realm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's no escape for that shit, bro. <laughs> shadow realm. <laughs> yeah, like real talk, you want me. <laughs> it's, when, uh, it's like when you're fighting in Naruto. That, that's that's be tough. Tough. Does, I'm a Taratsu on you, there's no escape. I can just imagine. She got a nigga. She got a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't call that? Yeah, no. Man. I, I don't watch Naruto, so I don't know. I don't I it, I'm not educated enough. Never mind, man. Yeah, yeah, man, man. Man. I mean, do any of you guys watch Naruto? I do. Yes. Oh, okay, so you know what you, you understood the Shout reference? Why don't y'all say anything then? Who's your favorite character? Um, I like Sasuke. Okay, my nigga. Mm. What about you? <laughs> Obviously Sasuke. Then Naruto. Then Guy. Okay. What about you? I, I didn't agree. She like, hell no. Nah. She like, hell no, nah, bro. What the fuck? fuck? Oh, God, God, I look like, like, shit. Fuck I look like. I watch that corny shit. Give it a bag. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I okay, mean, um, they like uh, the bad boys. So okay, uh, did any did any uh, guys remember IG uh, smash your pass, uh, or else we'll just continue on with the show. Uh, throw in fifty, and then we'll uh, we'll rate your Instagram. I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna be tough. We're gonna shit on you. We're gonna make jokes, but uh, yeah, uh, Nobunaga. Oh no, well, IL Machiner. If you have a kid and she no read oh. that one. Uh, we got Sh Nobunaga. Sean get security plus and CYSA plus and get about three years of experience in cyber work for government. Easy to start with DOD or DOS. You can make six figures. That's very true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't need but to comp, the comp, background checks. It's not easy to get a yeah, government job with a clearance like that, though. You don't need to come to a network for security. You can get like the other ones, like, like the SEC. But um, I mean, just do your research, bro. Like depending on where you want to go, where you want to end up will determine what, what search you get. But for the most part, a SEC will do you fine. SEC plus. All right. Tom, Chad and ladies, get some questions ready uh, for us. If you guys want to because we grilled you a little bit. You guys get anything. Maybe you want to hear something on a male perspective, uh, a different I guess view on something or whatever, uh, or if you just want to grill us on some other random question, you got let it. us know. Tom, right, Tom Chad, five bucks. I got roasted yesterday on Smash or Pass, LOL. But I got good advice for, for sure, man. We're gonna roast you, and the yep. girls are gonna roast you too. But it's gonna be all constructive criticism, and you should be able to take it and make your Instagram better. Because I'll be honest with you guys, uh, Instagram is like your business card when it comes to dating. If you don't have a good Instagram, it's gonna limit your ability to get girls. Now, I want to make this extremely clear. You don't need it. You don't need fucking Instagram to get girls but, at all. But very important point it is, it is helpful if you use it properly man like bro 
There's no way I should be getting this, this, this shit done, bro. And, I, and I'll give you guys this. <laughs> and I'll give you guys an There's example. No way. Like, real talk. So let's use two different scenarios, right? Yeah. Ladies, I'll use you guys, uh, get your guys' opinions on this. Let's say I meet you at a coffee shop, right? And I walk up to you and I approach you and I introduce myself. And I get, we just do a phone number exchange, right? And we communicate whatever. But then let's say someone else, same attractive level, comes up to you, gets your phone number and your Instagram, right? Or you guys exchange Instagrams and you're able to look at his stories and kind of get a bit. Who would you go out on a date with uh, more than likely? The guy that just you got a phone number from? Uh, and maybe nothing else, or the guy that you got a phone number and an Instagram from. Phone number and Instagram. Phone number sure. and Instagram. Yeah, because it gives you an insight on their life. Can you guys yeah. tell me? Because I want the guys to like hear it from you guys. Because we tell them, but uh, when you get a guy's Instagram, what's the first thing you do? You and we'll start. Shoes. We'll start here. Oh, 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 um, oh we'll start here. And then we'll, actually, no, you already kicked it off. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh. I was just gonna say, look at his shoes first, ladies. You always okay. look at his shoes before you. On his Instagram. Either way, in she over here like Instagram, look at the bar. real life. <laughs> Instagram, real life. But honestly, um, girls really. I mean, at least it's some girls that I talk to, they don't really like guys who be all on Instagram trying to be pretty boys and stuff like that. So at least I know I don't. So um, it would just depend if your Instagram is like low key. I would be okay with it. But if you like on there, no judgment. But doing TikToks, I probably wouldn't talk to you. Okay. So you're okay with a guy if he has like shitty pictures on Instagram and he's low key? Yeah, what you mean shitty? Like if he ugly or Oh, you're gonna see some of these profiles and you're gonna see what I'm talking he, about. If he ugly, we wouldn't oh, get damn. to that point. Yeah, but we, we've we've had guys that are attractive that still just take really bad pictures and Oh, okay. But yeah, guys usually take bad pictures. I don't I don't want you having too good of a selfie. <laughs> make okay. it make, make it a little ugly. <laughs> I think that's I think that's cap one thousand percent, but okay. So All right. Oh, you can have like a good like if somebody take a picture of you, but if you out there posting selfies, I don't know. That's just me though. I, I'm sorry. All right. Uh, who's next? Uh, you had, you had some. Oh. What was the first thing you do when you grab someone's Instagram? First thing. First thing. Um, the first thing I do is look at their pictures. Um, see like what their life is like because I mean whatever pe whatever people post, that's like what they really care about, you know? Because mm -hmm. it's not just your story. Your story is like your everyday, but your post is like okay, you know, I wanted you to see the shit and it's gonna be there forever. So that's what I look at. Okay. Okay. I was going to say that like, for you guys to kind of get the idea, it's the same thing of when a guy looks at a girl's Instagram, when you want to get to know like, okay, what type of girl is this? And you tap into like, is she one of them girls that really go to fancy restaurants? Do I got to take her to a fancy restaurant? Because that's what it is. Instagram is like, we either tell you what we want, what we want you to believe, or the, what we're trying to accomplish. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So right. that's just a tell all. So from the guy's perspective, what are you what are you looking for? Oh, when I look let's say in, you meet a guy, like I said, the same scenario. You meet a guy, coffee shop, y'all have a conversation, you exchange phone numbers on Instagram. Are you out every weekend? That's okay. the one thing looking, that I look for. That's your for. thing that you yeah, look for? Yeah. Is that I'll, bad? Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Not that is <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Cause I know I'm gonna have fun with you. You're an you're an active person. Mm -hmm. And then another thing is, okay, it's it doesn't really matter that you go out that much, but like Am I going to wake up at 3 a.m.? I can't sleep and open your story and you're at the club and I'm just here like, okay. Alone. She and home like, alone. I'm so lonely. Like, <laughs> I have no you body. get me? Yeah, yeah it's just kind of like the surprise saying. factor is kind of like a, damn dog, like could have <laughs> invited me or at least told me, yo, I'm at the club if I don't hit you back or whatever. Something, some mm -hmm. form of acknowledgement because like, just to find out about it, that shit sucks. Question. Yeah. Um, would that be classified into codependency? Not necessarily. It's just if we're together, I would want to know you're okay. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I'm not necessarily restricting you or depending on you in the sense of emotionally or um, mm -hmm. attachment. But like I said, like I guess there would ultimately be communication. Yeah. Basically, she was just saying like she Your doesn't want to find out something right. on Instagram that other people found out before she right. did. Right. More, more so, I want to know, are you an active person? Are you out all the time? If so, what are you doing? It doesn't have to necessarily be the club. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. You know? Are you a person who likes to post what you're doing? <clears throat> or are you mysterious? You know? Like, how well do I have to get to know you? Can I get to know you through your Instagram page or not? Um, I understood what you said about the guy not having perfect selfies. Like, you want that kind of, like... Because mm -hmm. as a girl, if you're really, really handsome, believe it or not, it's threatening. <laughs> it's threatening. Like, what if I take a picture with you and you look better than me? Like, what are oh. we doing? Oh, that would never what happen. Are we doing? Yeah, no. <laughs> you can't look Why? Than me. No. Why? <laughs> my, my, my point was like, I just feel like merch. You, you, something like that, you think you're going to look better than me. And Type I don't want hmm. somebody who 
who wants to look so better arrogance. than a girl. You're talking about yeah, arrogance, and conceit. Self of, self absorption, or, okay. all that stuff. more femininity, okay. or yeah. however you so, say yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think there's a lot of cat because the women say, I don't want a guy that's too attractive, but y'all fuck those guys though, man. Yeah, like, what do you guys no, I don't think guys that are too attractive. That what we say? Huh? You eat a cheeseburger every now and then, what that mean? <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'm trying to say is like, but I'm not running around saying, I don't like cheeseburgers. There you that's go. I didn't well, say that. She said that. <laughs> it's a craving. It's a craving. That don't mean it's long term. Like I'm a yeah, but you still have it. it. But you still have it though. Okay, yeah, but that don't mean that's my overall preference of what I'm gonna commit to. I had that. Wait, wasn't that guy that said something like, uh, didn't he say like take me shopping or something like that? Then he went. There was a guy that you went on a date with that was saying like, yo, I, I, I look real cute right now or some shit like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget. It was, Tell us a story. It, back in New York, you were telling us a story about some guy that told you like. Uh, you went out with She's him. Looking like I don't recall. I think you got me confused, but I don't know. No, no, no. I'm not percent uh, sure it was you. I, I, Are you I know sure? It was you. Pretty Ricky. I remember. Pretty, pretty Ricky. So, well, no, 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 not pretty Ricky. But like, he looked <laughs> like pretty Ricky. So he made a like, comment. He's pretty, pretty boy, and like uh, you want to date with him, and then he said something like, "I wish you guys could re like roll back a take, but like." Brrr, like at this moment, you fucked up. Like, yeah, I, no, I, I, no, I, I'm I'm remember, it was I'm a date the exact verb that you regretted because the guy was um acting weird. And then said some such shit. You were like, "Yeah, this nigga's." Oh yeah. yes, he yeah. called himself a bad bitch. That's what. Oh, that's Lord. it. That's yes. it. Yeah. And he that's was one amazing. of those like hype beast ass dudes. Like every sneaker release, he's there. Yeah. He got a, a fucking tape up every. I don't know, week. Sugar in a tank. Like, Sugar in a tank. I'm, just the tape like, I'm just like, hold up. Sugar I didn't even tank. get my eyebrows done. This motherfucker got beauty maintenance more than me. Like, damn. Like, okay, we got to There we go. Competition, yeah, baby. Was, was, like, was this back in New York? No, this was in Miami. Oh, oh Miami? Okay. Sugar in a tank. <laughs> I don't understand why he would call himself a bad bitch, though. That's nah, weird. I think I'm like man. Girl. He like man. It was so. It was so. Yeah, he was a bad bitch. Oh, man. We got our first. Gay. Instagram. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, well, well, I'll read those super chats and then um, we'll, we'll, Chris is going to part that, that. Well, this is what we'll do. We'll, we'll finish off with the ladies here. Uh, read the super chats and then Chris will pull up his Instagram and we'll, uh, we'll get into breaking it down. Uh, where were we? We were talking Probably about. Me. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So the first thing I do when I get someone's Instagram is look at the following. Okay. Mm, okay. Just because I'd rather have someone established at least on my level or higher. Just, Smart. you know, I like learning off of people. So if you have nothing to provide me n knowledge wise, then it's not really going to work. But anyways, um, and then I go to the pictures. I don't mind if they look good. It just it depends on how they um, handle their business with women. But yeah. So when you say that, you mean like if he's by himself with law girls in the pictures or like uh, what, what do you mean? What do you mean by in... that? Well, the handle the business part. Yeah, like that that's... goes deeper. That's like further in. So, like, if I see that he's around girls, I'll want to know that um, he has the ability to, you know, make sure everyone's in their place, type of thing. How would you do that from Instagram? Hold on, no, no, no. I would. that's why I said it goes deeper. Oh, okay, okay, guys. I I don't know if you guys picked up on that, but literally what she just told y'all was the guy needs to have some degree of pre-selection. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, because a lot of girls, and I'm not using that to like make an example out of you, because they're probably looking at me like, "What? What the fuck are you talking about?" Like, uh, pre selection, you know, like what? Yeah, pre selection, <laughs> you fucking nerd. No, basically, it's a, it's a term that we use over here, you know, on this side of the internet where we describe a man that has photos with other women, or he's seen at a club with other women. It makes him more attractive because what's happened is is that women have basically he has women around him. To who? Huh? What was that? <laughs> Which that makes him more attractive. That's very true, though. Like you can't lie to yourself. Like that does not make you. Thank you. Well, I bet you got bitches well, around you. All well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> uh, uh, Red, Red, you're making a fantastic point. Okay, let's say let's say that you're special and it's not attractive to you. Here's the thing: you go to. Have you been to a club or a bar or anything like that? Yeah. Okay. When you go in the VIP, who's in there? Entertainers, people with money. Okay. What's the ratio of girls to guys? Lots of girls. Exactly. Little guys. You go to an exclusive party. What's the ratio? Girls exactly. are more. Why did the women go? To be around the people. But guess what? They know going in there that there's plenty of women and they stay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's flip the roles. I go to a party. There's a bunch of niggas in there and one chick. You know what I'm doing? I'm out. Leaving? Yeah. <laughs> right. There's Fuck nothing. That's the difference. <laughs> Um, a, a, a man that can attract a lot of women is extremely attractive. A woman that has a bunch of dudes around her is not attractive. We're we're complete opposites. So even though I know like you're 
you're consciously thinking in your head, like, no, that's not attractive. I see him with chicks on a boat. That's cheesy. Deep down, it makes him more attractive to some degree because when a man has women, it's going to be easier for him to get other women. It's passive demonstration of it's higher like value. A psychological level yeah. type of thing. It's like deep rooted. Okay, I got if a woman cosigns on a man, right? If a guy, if a guy is there, there's why Hugh Hefner, Dan Blazarian, all these guys, they have pictures with these women and they get more women because if a bad chick is cosigning on you, you're going to look at him and be like, okay, this guy obviously brings something to the table, and then more importantly, he's not. Uh oh, retard alert! He's not weird. He's not creepy. He's here with bad chicks, so clearly he he's doing something right. When a man has a beautiful woman by his side, there's an unspoken uh, reality that that guy brings something to the table of value. You know, because women rarely tr trade sex without being compensated to some degree. I know it sounds awful to say that, but women don't treat sex for what it is equal value exchange. They always want something in exchange for it. So whether the guy makes money, the guy has status, the guy has game, whatever it is, for a guy to get sex, he's got to bring something to the table. So. That's what I'm saying. And if a man has multiple women, it, it, he doesn't have to say anything. It, it's proven so you're trying right to say that's credibility. Him having women around him is credibility. It's yes. sexual credibility. Yes, hundred percent. Do you agree? I mean, it means that women want to be around him, but does it make him more attractive to me? So I'll say this, right? I understand where you're coming from. You as well, hundred percent. But recently, I've been speaking to like people behind the scenes, you know, more high class people, celebrities, influencers, and I'm like, bro. Why don't you put yourself with more girls? And it's like, because I'm trying to be low key. And it hit me like a lot of girls, mm. they like low key guys that are not out there putting it in their face. Mm. So there's two factions. There's one that like guys that have a lifestyle party girls. Another one is like, you know what? I want a low key producer behind the scenes guy. And it's like, yes. shit, I didn't even know that was hey. possible. So there's another side, not maybe not a much, but like, they're, I'm going to have to disagree, bro. Like the girls always want the, the, the artist. They don't like like some girls are smart enough to understand like okay the producer actually makes more money the manager actually makes more money mm. but if you lined up a thousand girls right they're gonna want to fuck Drake not his producer not his manager not the record label owner of Def Jam or whatever they're gonna want to fuck the main. But the guy. reason why right. they want to fuck the main guys because that's all they see. But if they saw the producer and he was fine right. as fuck, no, no, no. Let's peel, back, let's peel it back a layer. The main guy has all the social proof. No, he's the one in front. They don't see producers. That's why they're behind the scenes. That proves my point even further. Social proof is extremely important to women. But you don't get what I'm saying. <laughs> if they like, see the producer like, and they see Drake next to each yeah. other, and if the producer is cute to them, they're gonna want to talk to the producer. Drake has no value just because he's Drake. But, but no, he's saying up front they want Drake. But maybe if they can get if they can get Drake, they'll, they'll take the producer. Here's the thing, man. If I lined up 100 women, and I said, "Who do you want, Drake or his producer?" 95 of them are going to say, "I want Drake." Maybe the other five might know. Well, the producer's low key. The producer actually makes more money. Drake is a cornball. Blah blah blah. But at face value, <laughs> the women are going to want Drake, even though the manager and the producer might make more money. But the reason why is because even though Drake might make less uh, make less money. He has the social proof out the wooza that makes him far more attractive. And that's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Women are attracted to social proof, whether they want to accept it or not. And 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 like you might say, well, I'm not attracted <laughs> to it, but that's cap. You're an actress. So you that's and I don't cap. date and I don't date actors. <laughs> you don't understand. I do not. Just because if I you become famous, I guarantee I would when, bet my left. I would not. I would not. You are not gonna date a regular guy. Yes, you I am. I, I tell people this right now. When I become famous, I don't want niggas in the industry. Oh, I want a regular dude. He'll be lower than you, though. That's okay. Why? I'll take you on the trip, babe. It's okay. Come on. But then you'd be Stop. carrying Thank him you. on your back. <laughs> I'm not carrying him on my back. Well, Just no, because he's not in what I do does not mean he doesn't Caps. have money. Yeah. Okay. In the I back. understand that. No, no, no. I, I, I actually do take your side on it. First sex or side. I, no, they, I actually met a couple women just like that. and I, You know what? At first, I was like, hell no. Actually, when you met a person, I understand why you, why you say that. Because a lot of girls, they don't want to the guy in front. They want a guy behind the scenes, more low key, less stress. I don't have to deal with, deal with cheating, all that shit. Even though you still have, it's, 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 I mean, anybody can cheat. Yeah, but the point is that like you want a guy behind the scenes, more chill. I get it. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I disagree, man. An aspiring actress. I mean, you'd be. Dumb I haven't dated an actor. Okay. Yeah. Like, uh, and I don't talk, like you. you yeah. it, it would be unintelligent for you to not date uh, 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 like a popping actor as an aspiring actress. No, that's, that's not true. You right. get the plugs in. You I know, can like, get plugs without dating you. That's what personality is for. You can get plugged. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say guys, plugs. I said I can get plugs. Oh, yeah. But the thing is that most guys won't plug you in unless you provide something for them. And usually that's, that's I mean, yes, there are a lot of guys who won't help you unless you're gonna fuck them. But when you're a person that has, you know, like a personality, they want you around. Because 
Yeah, when your person has a personality, a person that's fun, a person that's cool, they get past that. Okay, I don't want to fuck her, but man, she's good vibe. But how many good well, vibes are there? Well, no, they still, not a lot. But I'm one of them. They still want to <laughs> fuck you. But here's the thing: like, if you put a precedence, like, hey, we just we just cool, we just we just vibing. There's no like intimate behavior here, and they want to take it to that level where you know what? Maybe in the future it could happen. They'll deal with you. But off rip, off rip, they're gonna kick you out. If they can't ever see it in the future, they won't keep you around. Yeah, All I'm gonna won't. say is this: you are gonna fuck Michael B. Jordan, not his fucking manager, man. Like, <laughs> come on, man. Like, what? This, is, this is cap on a thousand right now. You're giving like, off these like these fine. You giving off these shallow, like but we it, shallow. Like, we ain't shallow. Yeah, just uh, because. We'll like, see all the time in Miami. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, telling like. You. The girls in Miami are like are okay, are but shallow. I mean, I, I was goes, born here, but I'm not shallow, so it is what it is. Uh, this takes us back to the other conversation with emotional um, intelligence intelligence because i was thinking back then that us women we think with emotions and so our emotional we think with love right um and fuck, i forgot my i lost it gotcha. i'll let you know when it comes stupid back. <laughs> oh lord yeah i'll take it it was profound uh, yeah. but if, it just if, if it comes back to you let us yeah, know because I, I wanted you to get to because get your point out with that but yeah i mean I mean, it, maybe you're different. Who knows? Maybe you're an exception to the rule. Okay. You're, maybe you're different. Okay. Two chains. Uh, but I will say this. Fresh. <laughs> uh, personality. If I, if I took 100 girls, they're going to want the front guy. Like, you know, uh, not many girls are uh, even know that like producers, managers, uh, you know, head record label guys are the ones that really bring the money and everything. They want the guy that has the clout and the fame. And I actually, I, I'll argue if you had to mm -hmm. pick, if you just cared about getting girls, if let's say I'm a guy and I pick, could pick one trait to have and my only goal is to get girls, clout is the number one amplifier. Nah, bro. I'm so sorry. Oh, exclusivity no? is so sexy. I'm not gonna it lie. Is. There's some frontliners out there who probably will get the one up over the behind the scenes person. Okay, given, mm -hmm. but like it's so sexy when I know that nobody had you, bro. Right. Like I'm think about it. Like, like think about Sierra. Uh, right. She had future, and she realized that nigga ain't shit. But when she got Russell and he was low key, she was and like, was "Damn, low key. I found a better nigga." The girls didn't even know who the fuck Russell was. What I mean, they sports? knew, but he like, wasn't in like, the he wasn't in the scene like that, and she, that shit was sexy as she, fuck. She had a baby by Future though. Yeah. Okay, I, and now she got two okay. babies by okay. Russell, and she's married. Okay. So, you're, I mean, you're, you're missing the point. This is gonna sound awful, but when Sierra was in her prime, when she was youngest and most okay, beautiful, but people made mistakes. Okay, but here's the thing. Damn. This is the difference. <laughs> when she was the most young and the most beautiful. She gave it to Future. Mm -hmm. As she lost value and got older, who had to clean up the sloppy seconds? Him. Russell. And we tell guys on this podcast, wow. if if you can't get her at her best, she don't deserve you when you're at your best. <laughs> she's still so at Future her best. won. Sloppy no, she's not. seconds. She's, she's still at her best. Not nope. at all. Future she's never wins. This man literally goes on. He makes a song. He drops a name song. Oh, I'm in love with you. This is real chemistry. Then goes back and says, oh. Tell Steve Harvey I ain't want it. Because you're heartbroken. No one. Future honestly never wins. But... I think if, he takes he a lot of wins. This? I think he wins a lot. That nigga's still single. That nigga winning. Wait, if he sees this though, he's still my favorite rapper. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and he, he, know, he knows why. So wait, why? Oh, because I was in a future music video before. So that's oh why. okay. Wait, hold on, which oh, one though? No, still we, talking we that shit to... though. <laughs> but anyways, but yeah. Did y'all smash? Did y'all smash? No, I didn't. We didn't speak. Oh, okay. He had another it chick. Was, there. It was. It was <laughs> He had some other chicks there. He had to run around with an entourage. I know that. So go ahead. Mm -hmm. That was that was pretty much it though. I don't yeah, a lot of the select few, like we're the exception to the rule, apparently, because exactly. yeah, I wouldn't want any but like if anything versus like an actor, I definitely would probably want the director or the casting director or like For somebody sure. that's behind the scenes. I wouldn't want that. Actor. I would say once girls know know the lifestyle behind mm -hmm. the main guy, they're like, you know what? I'd rather pass it up for a more chill, relaxed environment but that's that maybe five said, to ten percent of the female yeah, population it's a very small a very small a very small like, that's why I say, think about it you're a musician right mm -hmm. you're a musician uh you're uh Entertainer. actress mm -hmm. so y'all are in the industry so y'all already know the front man isn't it most girls don't know that though yeah, yeah. but i'm saying we're saying we know you're right we know yeah. we're the exception but y'all but y'all are are a rare percentage of the well, look of at you situation. you got rare girls in your show congratulations Yo. <laughs> i still this i still think y'all cap like, like, I still think you guys are captain. Well, yeah, but it's, it's, a, it's fan, a thought and an right? opinion. It's not a fact. Go ahead. I wanted to say what sure. the Instagram thing we went off oh, on yeah. a tangent, but Going I think I understood what you were trying to say. You were saying as women, because we're nurturing and we just think about love that we don't be practical when we pick in a partner. That's yes. what you mean, right? Yes. So we can't separate the emotion from the sense to say, all right, okay, I love this man, da 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 mm. but you know, I need someone who's going to help me. I think that's what oh, you said, right? Okay, wait, wait, you actually helped me. 
Okay. Yes, oh, okay. That Let's do it. Okay. That's what I think you mean. Teamwork. Did you want to say anything? No, else? you can finish. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let you finish and then I'm gonna say what I Okay. Yeah. Thank you so That's much. That's what you meant, right? Okay. So okay. at the Aww. time we were speaking about um <laughs> um, she was no. disagreeing about getting someone to help her with the cloud from okay, her career. Okay, 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 reassurance. Because we were saying how us women, we can reassure and give you motivation as men, but men don't really need that. What us women need that because we're more emotional. So we need de- we need that. Yo, like you got that. You can do that. But men already like they're in a different headspace. Mm. Yeah. There's a saying in <laughs> Spanish, though. That's why I keep hearing you guys say this. And I'm like, that's crazy. That it's like, okay, the man drives. He's in control. But we help him drive still in a way. So when I hear you guys say, oh, no, the woman doesn't add value to the man. To some men, well, she's totally useless. do. Mm. We're the if ribs. she's useless, she does. Wow. Yeah, nobody useless adds value. We know that. We can be kids. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. What no, about what, the little what? stuff that you guys knock off? There's some guys that don't even like to pay their bills. They just like to make the money. They're like, here, babe, pay this. Pay this and yeah. pay that. Here's the finance situation. Yeah, oh. she's she's his assistant. A woman Type operating her prime. Type I, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. She's, she's, she's uh, 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 your wife ideally should be acting like as an assistant. You know what I'm saying? That's what she Agreed. should be, be to you. You're, you're the CEO and she's your secretary. Can Agreed. you say it in Spanish? Don't so my my Spanish not that fluent. God damn, T Chat, I said we're on a fucking cartoon. <laughs> it's cold. All right, oh, I got you. I'm go, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Car- 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 He's trying to make me speak Spanish, and I'm scared. There's more fluent speakers in the audience that's gonna roast me. Oh uh, no, no, don't worry. Most of our viewers are white. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm trying to control it. I promise. I'm trying so hard. What is it? That's your teeth, nigga. Yeah. It's cold. Don't worry, I, uh, you about the, What's the Spanish I, saying though? Fresh, yeah, what, what are we saying in Spanish? Wow. The saying you just the one mentioned. that you said. There's a Spanish saying, and they oh, say this. El, el hombre, el hombre maneja y la la mujer oh. le ayuda a guiar. Ah, yeah, 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 something yeah. like that. Yeah. It's not exactly how I said it. I know. It's no, you actually more... said it word for word. Actually. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, there you go. I love it. Gracias. Gracias. Merch. Merch and fit hoodie, man. Yeah. Exclusive in Who's the studio. The merch. Okay. okay, but the question is, does she get to keep it? I was gonna ask the oh, same thing. Say. <laughs> keep it. Keep keep what? what the merch. jacket. Merch. Uh no, hell no, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just lending that as a favor, uh, so she doesn't freeze and fuck up the sound. Um, because yeah, they they could hear your teeth chattering. Those mics are very. I was sensitive. like, yo, is somebody? Yeah, like, it's somebody? like a cartoon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Tom and Jerry. Um, okay, so I'm with uh, Myron. Get that third armpit out of my face, okay? Five mm-hmm. bucks. Don't judge Myron uh, from Morel for All. Uh, 20 bucks from Zentians. Uh, as Sutter Prince, I get chicks enough in the medical field, but I respect your opinion. All I'm saying is that the more gentlemen focus on their purpose, the better they will be. Women will be a byproduct of the effort. Yeah, no, that for is sure, very that's true. what we say. It's very true. Uh, for the uh, um, Theron, Theron Moss. Moss. This is for my tarot card reading. Bahamas in the building again. Could have told that man to carry his big cunny, but didn't. LOL. Emotional intelligence. I got you, sis. Oh hey. is, that, is, that big honey? Huh? is that something like a... shout out to Theron Moss rest in peace moon dog now um, the big honey was what I tell you guys in the Bahamas the word honey means is equal to vagina so he's saying that I could have cursed him out but I mm. chose not to I just click so don't curse me again then he cursed me again no. click you okay. know, okay. You know well, this, was, this was done by phone this conversation when y'all had this argument what the the billionaire yeah yeah the the whole yes, it uh, was on it was, was on, on phone, phone. Oh, yeah. no okay. wonder you were so bu- okay you're so confident all right ricky mills uh, five bucks followers are social currency yes it is uh, man. ashton mose bro lady stop the damn cap cap is on a thousand right now and fresh inquiring minds want to know what happened to tory lanes and long beach griffey coming on the show you capping or not nah? yeah uh tomorrow is griffey he didn't watch the, the show earlier yeah. today uh tory uh <laughs> We're Dude, working on Tori. He's, he's got some stuff going. Stuff right now, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, but yeah, we're, like, we're we're working on Tori, guys. He's um, pretty serious, so I don't want to interject yeah. that. <laughs> we're just gonna be patient, and uh, yeah. And, and yo, let me let me give you guys a quick little. It is not easy to get big guests on this show, guys. Like it is not easy, bro. Like at all. Like <laughs> like uh, you know, I, I, fresh makes it look easy, but it's it's extremely difficult, man. It really yep. is. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason, I'm, and I don't say this to toot our own horn, but this is why, like our podcast is doing what it's doing. Like we, we were able to get land big guests. We're able to give you guys entertainment. We're able to give you guys, bring you guys girls. We, we did dabble in so many different things. We're very diversified, but you know, getting guests is tough guys. So, you know, just have a little bit of patience. Don't worry. Long beach. Griffey's actually coming tomorrow. So Ashton, don't worry. Um, and then as far as Tori goes, you know, he has some stuff going on, man. And you know, we ain't going to talk about it too much, but you know, we have a lot of mutual friends, so we're, we're going to make it happen. Don't worry. Uh, 20 bucks from Zentians. 
Exclusivity is sexy. Stop lying. <laughs> no reason to call it cap. Speaking of cap, Leonardo DiCaprio, he got uh, women half his age on the regular. Women want the men in power. That's it. Women are practical. They're emotional. Oh, shit. Keeping it real. Tom Chad. And you, you got you got a rebuttal. Yes, talk, there are exclusive men out there with power. What are you talking about? There, there might be a very select few. I'm not going to say they're out of, you know, ample amount, but there are definitely a few out there. Like? I can't name drop if I knew them. They're exclusive. Would, if they know. were in the name, yeah, they'd be the background to the background. Like they're the ones funding all this. You want to know that? You guys want to know the secret? They're exclusive, but you, you you think they're exclusive, but they're really not. They just keep their they hide their shit better. I'm saying they though, fuck like, They don't have no, no. Yeah, they grind we them, know but they that. don't have the. They don't put it on Instagram like, though. I, every five seconds, they got two followers on Instagram. See, it's the illusion mm. of not having a girl, and they want to be that girl, or the thought of you know what? Maybe he is really single. But in reality, he's probably not. I mean, okay. Even, I, here's the thing, too, man. Okay. Like, go ahead first. You have something? No, because like, I didn't understand until I started moving and shaking with some of these celebrities. And I'm like, why do you think it's don't post out the girls? It's like they don't want to have that image out there. And the producers or the low key ones they never post girls because it's like, hey, I don't want to be that guy that has all these girls in front, you know, my Instagram page because it says a certain image in a girl's head. But if it's just me living life, is like, oh, maybe I could be in his, in his you know, life. in his lifestyle. And I get why they don't post girls. So it, it's it's like a double edged sword. You, you could post girls and get some some per coming to you, mm -hmm. or you could not do it. And it's like, can I be that girl? Leave there some yeah. ambiguity. Uh, so and and, 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 and yeah. we talk about this on DMs on demand as far as like the plus and negatives of using girls. Yeah. Um. And we'll break that down for you guys here in a second. We see the two Instagrams by the way that came in. Chris is pulling them up, guys. Don't worry. We're gonna uh, review the Instagrams here in a second. I hope you guys <laughs> are ready to get the band aids ripped off. Um, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell you this. If you're going to have an Instagram, right? Like a damn Blazarian Instagram or Hugh Hefner where you got a bunch of girls in your shit, cool pictures, go you all need the to way. fucking own it. You go need to own it. Go all the way. You need to be be on it. You know what I'm saying? But if you're going to try to have a low-key profile, then you put a picture of like you and chicks randomly. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like like there's not plausible deniability. It's one right. thing if you're on a boat with girls and it's like, all right, it makes sense that you would be uh, on a beach or, you know, your shirt is off, whatever it is. But like if it's like you got like a... A photography, like not a photo like a like a fucking uh like an art page, and all of a sudden you're with a bunch of girls. It's like what the fuck like this this is at a this isn't congruent to the profile. You know, women are very you good at detecting congruency. <laughs> so it was that it's like you changed it at what the fuck is Yeah, that? exactly. Like this <laughs> like, isn't this isn't this, this goes against what I thought that you were. So uh if you're gonna have girls, you gotta own it. If you're not, then you know stick with that lane. If you're gonna do the low-key thing, you can. But my argument is you're gonna get more women. With the social proof, then you lose. But you will lose. I ain't gonna lie. You're gonna lose some girls. They're gonna they're gonna be like, oh, this guy's a player, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But you're still gonna be attractive to a wide demographic mm -hmm. of women. Because girl, girls on the show, whenever we do like the Master Pass uh, Instagram reviews, they'll see a guy picture with one girl. Oh, I'm good. I don't want him. That's my <laughs> sister. Oh, I don't know. Too much, too much thinking about it. I, I'm good. It's probably his girlfriend. They're gonna assume off rip. That's mm -hmm. your girl, girl you're dating. It could be your sister or your cousin, but yeah. they don't know that. So I get why I I, I it's understand. Double edged sword, man. It's double edged sword. It's yeah, double edged sword. It's like uh, uh, pros and cons. Miss Palomas, go ahead. You, yes. you got a thought, right? Go ahead. Yes. Um, I Please. didn't get a chance to talk about what I look for on an Instagram or like a Facebook, cause like I get Give a lot it to of us. requests. Um, Ooh. what gets declined from me, uh, especially Facebook, is when I see men with the profile pictures that they have money in their hand and it's a dingy <laughs> background and they're posing like a thug Try right. okay. that's what it is for me and then um you know i really i'm into hygiene you guys know i talk about it when i look at a man's teeth and stuff like that so i want to see if you could just bathe you know what i'm saying <laughs> at least look like you could so bathe big. and y'all especially if y'all live in america come on now go to dollar tree get the little dollar deodorant get the little soap Our get spring. The little rag you know what i'm saying Our wipe spring. up look like your bed you know what I'm saying? So just be mindful, guys, of, the, of your profile pictures. Like, don't make it too ratchet and too ghetto because then you're going to end up with someone who like that. Yeah. I, I, I'm, a... Dude, I'm really starting to, like, uh, be concerned because uh, not you guys. Uh, <laughs> at this point, I would say the biggest, you know, because now we kind of have a body of evidence. We've interviewed hundreds of girls. If there's one, like, prevailing complaint that women have, it's that guys hygiene, hygiene. is terrible, bro. Hygiene. Yeah. Like at least like half the panel if not the damn the whole damn panel the number one complaint about modern men is th they fucking stink breath or, or yeah. pits. oh my god nails that dirt oh, under the nail shit you're not such a no pussy under. with that yep. none what's the weather go clean it go cut hey, it yo fix it all my niggas be in the shadows until it's time, time, time to go down there put a little after 
plaque on your teeth. Bro, real talk. Or yellow teeth. I, I, I just gotta say this real quick, man. Guys, fuck. Like, I, I, I'm doing this one for free for y'all. Do Yo, better. get T. Haley, goddamn it. Like, it's upside, upside down. down. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Uh, get some goddamn skincare, guys, because real talk, man, you guys gotta, like, you, you should have a face wash, a moisturizer, uh, an eye cream if you're like me and you, you know, you tend to have, like, uh, from an ethnic oh. background, darker eyes. Uh, you should be using good, you should be showering at least once a day, like, uh, you know, keeping your yeah. hair nice and groomed, clipping your fingernails, guys. I mean, I, I've heard that complaint from a lot of women that yes. guys have longer fingernails and they're dirty. Guys, I don't give a fuck. Don't grow them out. Just clip your fingernails. Yeah, don't grow Always them. keep them clean. Uh, and guys, yeah, it's a turn on to actually take care of yourself when you're home with skincare. Because the thing what is right? Let's say you go on a date. You smell good. You look good. Things happen. You know, you make that connection. You smash, right? She may spend the night. She wakes up, sees you. Doing your doing your routine, skin like, care damn, routine. That's, 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 that's sexy. attractive. That's yeah. yes. sexy. You take care of yourself. You can take care of me. That's, that's what they think, right? Yeah. So I was like, yeah, guys. I mean, like I said, dude, it, it's it's a huge demonstration of higher value because clearly, from us doing all these interviews now, a large majority of men don't take self care seriously. Can't make it up, bro. So, uh, guys, you, you, get your skin on point, man. Get in the gym and exercise. Mm -hmm. Fucking uh, eat correctly. And wash your balls. Uh, drink, water. Yeah, drink water. Drink yeah. water. Eat your vegetables. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, guys, like, it, it all builds upon itself, man. Like, like guys. And here, another thing, too. Hack. Get your teeth white and strained. Yo. That right there says a lot about you. Another free clean. sponsor. Oh, Manscaped. Yeah. Wash your balls, niggas. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, man. <laughs> your balls will thank you later. Guys. And so wear her mouth. Oh, yeah. Lord. We'll talk. And another thing, too. Most girls that we've interviewed. Okay. We'll just ask them naturally. Hair or no hair? No hair. Wait, we talk about which where grooming like balls and and, and down below. chest hair and all that. Do you prefer them to be hairy down there or or trimmed? Neat. Okay. Yeah, I have to say neat, but I definitely like. Please don't come to me with no bald baby dick. Like, ill <laughs> bald baby dick. Okay. Okay. So it's bald gotta dick. be trimmed, but not like uh, completely bald. Yeah, you're a landing strip type of girl. No, what? Okay, never mind. No, no. men no. do landing strip. No, no. but <laughs> I'm not, I, <laughs> no, but yeah. I need. I like what makes the man a man as far as like the hair, chest, and all that. But okay. I don't want it to be. But it's got to be groomed up to some degree. Yeah. What about you? I'd say trimmed, just because I don't like hair getting in my mouth, and I like <laughs> putting my mouth on a lot of things. I respect <laughs> okay. that. All right. I Thank respect you for that for Red. you. Red keeping it fucking Ooh, one thousand tonight. Here for it. I'm here for it. All right. Yeah. Trim and groomed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys, shave your balls. Okay, I didn't even. We did not plan this shit. Real this is talk. random, man. Yeah, like, yo, shout like, to all our sponsors. Yeah, bro. like, bro, like, all our sponsors, guys, man. Get get on a skincare routine, okay? This is TJ Lee. Get the level three. This is what I personally use. I've been using this guy since 2018 when I've worked for the fucking. He put government. me onto it, man. Like, I use the face wash. This is way before the sponsorship. Shit. I use the face wash. It has a scrub to exfoliate. It comes with a with an eye cream with a super serum, right? So you get so I get rid of these wrinkles on my face. I'm getting old. Eye cream, right? And then you get. An AM moisturizer, SPF 60 in it, or SPF 20, I think. And then a PM uh, moisturizer. Yeah. Guys, and this costs like, what, maybe $20, $30 a month? Some of y'all spend more, more than that Man. on fucking alcohol. Yo, Chris, can you weed. put a, a, a t like um, Yeah, on weed. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, yo, and we'll, I'll put the link below for y'all. Like, uh, real talk, I'm just saying this because you guys need this because it's crazy now. How many women we've brought on the show and they complain about hygiene? The like, no, that's the number the one complaint. The number one issue is hygiene. So I'll tell you, if you smell good and she's telling you, Yo, you smell nice. Or what's what's that smell? What, what cologne are you using? And, you're you're already winning. You are winning. For and real sure. talk, guys. Yeah. If you have a good physique, guys, you're in shape. You got some visible abs or whatever. Cut your like literally trim the hair off, guys. It's gonna make you look leaner. Yeah. Yes. Like there's a reason why bodybuilders shave themselves right before a show. And actually, you could add some more inches when you shave. Think about it. That's true. If, no, no, real that, talk. Real, real true. talk. If you got <laughs> some true. a, a forest, oh, yeah. right? So you trim the okay. the, the oh. top of the trees. You're you're gonna show more of what you got going on, yeah. brother. Come on now, so yeah, guys. And we'll put the link for Manscaped as well. Like we never plan to do this shit, man. This is off the cuff. Yeah, but they they got great products for trimming, man. Keeping your balls nice and clean. Your balls will thank you. It's uh the the trimmers that they use like aren't gonna nick and cut you like a lot of the other ones, man. It's designed to manscape, man. So guys, take care of yourselves, man. Scrape your tongue. Self care real. is very important. You Good know, for yeah, you, man. For sure. Scrape your tongue. Your, Get your some tongue goddamn is listerine. Mm -hmm. Scrape it. Get some goddamn Girl. listerine. Alcohol free. Get a mechanical toothbrush. Okay, write this fucking down. Guys, He's right? giving you the game. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, real talk. I'm a, uh, guys, so number one, oh get God. a mechanical toothbrush. Okay? Uh, Phillips with a Sonicare, excellent toothbrush. Oral number B, two, Oral B. for the toothpaste, get Sensodyne. Okay? That's some of the best uh, toothpaste that you can get. 
Uh, you know, fuck the Colgate on that that poverty. For stuff. real, you don't, you don't like Colgate? No, that's your trash bill. Not poverty stuff. <laughs> that's poverty. I know. Okay. Yeah. Anything that has okay, okay, rich man. Man. Yeah, get get sensitive. Oh, no okay. name brand. Okay, and then number three, whiten your teeth once to twice a month with Crest White Strips. You don't need to go to dentist and spend five hundred bucks. Okay, Crest White Strips work perfectly. Put them in for thirty minutes to sixty minutes. Do it sparingly because it depends on the sensitivity of your teeth. Bang, mouth, health, uh, teeth. Done. Get them straightened if you can too. Get Invisalign or braces. I don't give a fuck. Get them straightened. It's gonna veneers? make you way, way more attractive. Oh, yeah. Veneers. That's if you're, take you money. want to do the Miami vibe, you could go ahead and get veneers. Teeth money. done. Now skincare. T Chainley. Level three. Moisturizer, face wash, scrub, everything you need, eye cream, all done there in level three. Then shave your goddamn body. Okay. Now you don't have to be completely bald eagle. But it should be trimmed to the point where you don't look like shit and that you don't look like you're, you know, disheveled all the time. Yeah. And I ain't gonna lie to you, most girls are gonna prefer either almost no pubes or no pubes. You know, they don't want a fucking bush down there. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, do these three things and it's gonna make you far more attractive, man. And shower every day, goddamn it. Just make sure alone. If, you're gonna, every if day. you're gonna shave down below, make sure you do it right before because if you wait a couple of days, it's gonna get spiky. It'll be like annoying to yeah, oh, yeah. Shape. yeah. So careful of that too as well. Yeah. So guys, and, and also, real talk, just uh, just because we love you, just do that. Sorry, go ahead, Red. Also, there's like I've noticed in multiple men that there's like a spot between their balls and their asshole that has hair, and yes. if you let it, dang, if you let it grow too long, it'll dangle and it's not attractive. So make sure you check between your your gooch. <laughs> <laughs> real talk, you dangle bear is hanging. We take a, bump, a, a dump, right, and you swipe back. It could go right in that area. Oh, oh wow. Another, another stay thing. there. Another yeah, thing. Just hairy, because man. real talk, another thing. I'm just gonna fucking say it. We're gonna <laughs> I'm gonna have to say this. Use baby wipes. Okay. Toilet paper ain't good enough. Get some goddamn wipes, man. That part. And it adds smell too. Mm-hmm. Then they got dude wipes for those who <laughs> yeah, don't know. Yeah, they got exactly. Yeah. They got dude wipes, man. So guys, like wow, do this those is things, free game. Free game. Do those things those things that we just mentioned, guys. And I'm telling you, <laughs> you're going to dramatically improve your hygiene your look you're going to be far more attractive you don't have to be the best looking guy but if as long as she can tolerate not being around you and having to hold her nose like this it's going to make you far more attractive because clearly there seems to be a hygiene pandemic going on confidence man mm-hmm. so uh anyway. all right that yeah. was our third minutes of a uh, sponsorship <laughs> yeah I, I did. we didn't plan that guys it we got really needed though three profiles Please. to go through all right uh okay and then okay i read the rest of these uh, uh where are we at okay this it, no, uh, this girl's PC cap. The quiet, low key guy is labeled as DL. Okay, uh, they lie in Smash the Future. Hold on, <laughs> wait. <laughs> uh, the cat that you Smash Future, right? Come on, I read. The yeah, question. that's a yes. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, and then we got. Uh, let's see here. It's funny how every female is the exception to every rule, and that's from Roma five one five. You got anything for that, Miss Actress? I'm not the exception to every rule. Just a few. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Fresh. The low key guy girls talk about is an introverted alpha Batman. It means yes. they still have social Ooh, proof and everything. An extrovert. extroverted alpha does Superman. Ooh. Okay. There you go. Uh, 50 bucks. Dezo uh, introvert. He uh, puts Instagram. Okay. Mixtape coming soon. So the love fellas. Thank yep. you, Dezo. We're going to read that. Uh, Rico, five bucks. Uh, FNF, appreciate you guys. Got this female's number. She blows up my phone, mad flirty, but never trying to go out. Validation hungry thoughts. Yes. My friend. Bro, uh, stop. Please stop you're responding. Your yeah, and secondly, just, no, bro. You're her think about this, right? Put her in a corner. You say, when well, next year, your friend want to take you out. She's going to tell you, oh, I'll let you know. Nigga, she's been telling you that for the whole she's time. Avoiding it. It's over, bro. It's free attention at this point. Yeah. Yeah. It's attention. And here's what well, this is why, guys, we tell you on this podcast, a woman's currency is attention. A man's currency is sex. Like, if you're giving her fucking attention and talking to her all the time, that's the equivalent of her, of you smashing her and not like taking her out. Don't be stupid, guys. Your attention is the only value. Like, it's the only um, weapon you have, man. So if a girl ain't smashing, you passing. Okay? Yeah. Look, look, real talk, she can have a man. She can have somebody that she's dealing with on a serious note. You're just like, attention. Yeah. In the meantime. No free attention, man. Shout out to Alan Roger Curry, guys. And no free attention to these girls. Go ahead, Shawnee. You hear something? I think oh, me, 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 wanted... me. Oh, go ahead, Red. Knowledge. Because anybody could give you attention. So make sure you're also smart and intellectual. Because if you can't hold a I mean, read a book sometimes, please. God, that part, get, get but knowledge. she's but she uh, okay. Good point, but she's got to earn that intellectual conversation from you guys. Like, don't just give it out for free. Like, after she wants to get emotionally stimulated, you need to get sexually stimulated. Okay, after, after you smash, that's the way it's got to go. After you smash, exactly. Okay. Uh, and then we got uh, Afton Mose. 
Uh, okay, and then uh, Ashton Mose. Low Bahamas mama can get it. The accent is sexy. And Myron, I'm whitening my teeth because of your recommendation. Thanks, bro. And fresh your confidence despite your stutter is motivation. Oh. I came from a fam that has speech issues. Thanks, man. Yeah, and uh, yo, Ashton Mose, for all the guys out there that are wondering about teeth, I got a video on it, actually. Uh, on YouTube. In the, in the, on YouTube. Search uh, teeth, Myron Gaines, or fresh and fit. It's going to come up. It's a video I filmed about a year ago. I break man. down everything I do for my teeth, man. No, white, these are not veneers. You got the whitest teeth on the platform, bro. Yeah, oh, I white oh, them oh, every I don't day. know about YouTube other than veneer niggas. <laughs> and even, even them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, veneers oh, are a whole no, other thing. All right. So this is the first uh, person. Jackpot so, 2X. Real quick, I got to give the ladies the rules. We're going to scroll down. Please don't say anything. Just look. Don't say anything because I don't want you guys to influence each other. And then uh, we're going to we're gonna do a vote and I'm going to tell you guys what we're going to do. But let's uh, let's start scrolling down. Jackpot 2X. Uh, let's scroll down on this one, Chris. You got five posts. Oh, yeah, it's five posts. Okay, <laughs> ladies, this is what we're going to do. Now, <laughs> so you to wear see. glasses. Okay, um, you, you, you're you farsighted? Yeah. Here. Oh, that's real. Yeah. Uh, yeah, take it's a so look. so nice look. today. Uh, yeah, I'm blind from a distance, too. So I, mm. you can see? You can see now? I can see. Okay. I see the specimen. All right. So, uh, so ladies, this is what we're going to do. I need you guys to close your eyes. Okay. Right? So you don't see each other. What you each other. You're going to put one finger in the air if it's a smash, one finger in the air if it's a or two fingers in the air if it's a pass. Oh, wow. Wait, hold okay. on. Can we go through all yeah, the posts can we do them like, Yeah, there? okay. Well, since he has a few. Okay. Don't say anything yet. <laughs> he said don't say nothing. Wait, can we, okay. All right. Mm. So I'm going to count to three. I need you guys to close your eyes. Wait, and is this off, it's off Instagram or off his Off face? Instagram. Solely Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, okay. like everything you see on this profile. Imagine this guy cold DM'd you. And he's in okay. LA, man. Shout out to LA. Okay. So oh, I'm going to count to three. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Count to three. And you're going to put up one finger if it's a smash, two fingers if it's a pass. One, two, three. three. Throw them up. All right, that can is. Can we open uh, our eyes? Okay, we got four. You guys can open your eyes now. Okay, we got four uh, passes and one smash. Okay. So, can what's you, wrong with him? Okay, yeah. Can you tell <laughs> us why you said uh, a smash? Um, he looks like he bathes. Um, <laughs> see, I'm not a type of woman yeah. where I'm be like, oh, he's a. I don't rape people because I feel like that's very degrading. Right. You know because. But it's who's cute to me. No, but I mean, like, what? who I consider fine, some of my best friends think, but ugly. So we can't even go by a rating system. Um, I love the fact that he's in the gym. Right. Um, and I love the aesthetic background. So it looks like what I can get off, off of that is he likes to, say, travel in some sense. That's what I get off of it. But um, I love the fact that he's in the gym. His body looks good, you know. Okay. So That's fair. Okay. Red, why'd you why'd you pass? You need a second. I don't know. It's you need a second. I just I try to try to formulate it because I want for feedback for the guy. I want like to have some criticism. Why, and guys, give it to him straight. Like on this podcast, they, they already know when they submit in, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna roast them. It's... So, the don't uh, go ahead. Take, I'll give you a minute to formulate your ideas. Okay. Uh, Miss Future Fan, it was a, <laughs> it was um, a pass for me. Okay. Um, Keep it a thousand. You can say he looked dusty or whatever. It don't matter. Go ahead. Mm, I was looking at the shoes. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, That's why God. I said that because I was like, she probably looked at the shoes and said no. I was looking at the shoes and... Um... Uh, Chris, can you pull it back up? Yeah. And enlarge it on her end. All right, go ahead. I mean, I not to say that he's wait. not attractive because, you know, you are in a gym. You tatted. That's cool and all, but are you tatted? Um, okay. Just the pass for me, though. Okay, so pass because of the, the shoe? shoes or oh. just not I was... anything else? My nigga wear Air Force. What's I wrong? can't. Is that what that are is? Are those Air Force? Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't They're not Air Force. Those high dunks. Okay. High dunks. Oh, those are high dunks. Are, are low dunks? Trey, what are those? You look fresh, sir. Who what are, are those? those? No, he looks like he is just still a pass, though. Trey, Trey's a sneakerhead. Trey, what kind of sneakers are those, bro? Can you help those us out here? Nike. Air Jordan 1. Air Jordan Oh, those are ones? Yeah, my homie got swag, man. Okay. You look you good. You look bro. good. Whoever you are, you dress good. I like okay, so some, something about this hand motion. I just all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's something about the It's not ratchet. But I mean, it's not right. say he's not attractive. I just Shawty, what, what, what do you think? Really quick, um, how many likes he got on each post? Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, for real. Because no, 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 that's good. That's good. Yeah, go ahead. So we got range. Let's range seventy for him, right? Okay, that was a four. That was okay. That was beautiful. So you was out there in the streets and you came back off the streets. No, that's not like though. Not, that's, that's, that's views. views. Okay, that's well, you know I'm blind, hashtags. y'all. You bear with me. Yeah, no, well, that's views. And then how I many followers he got? 
What the bio looking like? 356. 356. That's pretty yeah. empty. Okay, I, I see. You look low-key and all that. That's that's dope. There's literally nothing wrong with your profile. I think your profile looks good. Like, you don't look like someone that's throwing for the other side. Um, oh, I like side. your background. Okay, we need to know why you said but no, though. Why I said no, low-key, you, you trigger my mom's ex. <laughs> to me, that was my past. But um, wow. another thing for me <laughs> was, you know, you seem low-key, but like, dangerous low key like okay like like not the safe low key kind like, like you look it. like you you well, you might be a killer you you no 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 not even killer vibes it's just just like you a smooth criminal like you you probably smooth. did some shit got away with it and then it's like hmm. cheat on you and we'll walk out the house that type of shit, oh, type of no. shit. Like, I'm, I'm gonna have a hard time catching you but i'm also right, judging a... smooth operator yeah. yeah um okay what about you uh for me he doesn't post enough okay um, anything else and no, it's mostly because he doesn't post enough. Like, it tells me that, like, you don't care about social media. Mm-hmm. It tells me good. that you, I mean, you're low-key. That's cool. I mean, I see you go, you work out. That's nice. Um, but you're not doing enough for me. Very okay. interesting. She wants a guy that's low-key, low-key presented, not not high-key enough. No, no, I said I, didn't, I wanted a nigga who didn't have girls around him all the time. I didn't say don't post ever. But that is low-key, though. Yeah, yeah. No, you can be, okay, you, you can be high-key and not have girls around you. Okay, what? wait, 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 uh, wait, 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 wait. That's a lifestyle, and in order to keep that image for them, they need to be posting that. No, no, no. So regardless, well, she high didn't give caliber. Her opinion anyway, go ahead. You didn't give your opinion. Why? Well, why'd you say no to him? No, I mean, I was responding into that. Okay, but you still got to give your opinion. Why'd you say no? No, no, no but, but, but let her finish. No, no, but she's but she, saying oh. she doesn't want to see it in front of her face on a profile, but she's not saying that he has to be like low key like down under yeah she, no yeah. she finished her point she finished her point well why why'd you give a say no um i said no because number one the bio is kind of empty i want to know what you do okay um and just by the pictures i can tell that you know it's not a lifestyle that i intend to stay in mm-hmm. can you pull it up chris one more time so okay all right uh well so we'll we'll give you we'll give you some critiques on our end uh, you know, yeah. and the ladies gave some pretty good, really good points. I saw a bunch of things wrong um, here. And I, but I want you guys to understand something, He's though. Like, Notice how the girls rejected you and they couldn't really explain why. Girls go off how they feel, guys. And the way your profile makes them feel is, you know, I guess it didn't work out in this one. It's not giving. Yo, I go like, shorty, that, that's not fair, though. Homeboy didn't do your mom wrong. You don't need you see for a good thing. No, no, no. But, like, I'm sorry. Like, it's like, it's like if a girl comes to you, right? But sh- uh, do you have a sister? Yeah. Okay, what if a girl tries hitting on you and she looks exactly like your sister? How are you going to feel? Man, you put me in a tough spot there, That's man. what I'm saying. I ain't going for it. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not going Some for it. Some guys will smash, though. They don't care. Oh, they just want to smash, bro. Like, I got to like, check. For, I was just giving an example, but as a trigger. Do you get me? I, no, no, no. I get it. But because, but here's the thing, like, because uh, I, I need the, the guys to understand this, because men and women are very different. Women have the privilege of just being able to reject guys for any willy-nilly reason. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that when a woman looks at a man's Instagram profile, she's looking to disqualify you guys, all right? But when a man looks at a girl's Instagram profile, he's looking to qualify the girl. That's the difference. Men, women play not to lose. Men play to win. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So just understand that sometimes less is more. In this case, you have less, but the less is not more. Does it that make sense? Yeah. Because the pictures, the few pictures you it's do have little. here it's too little. are fucking garbage. I'm just going to say but, it. No, you have no, a no, selfie. No, no. Hold on, hold on. No, let me finish. No. Let me finish. Because you ain't, you ain't gonna keep it real with him like I'm about to right now. You have a self, a, a, a white beater, right, in, in the gym, selfie, bad. White beaters is a signal lower socioeconomic status. You're taking a selfie. Yep. Uh, you have long basketball shorts on, bro. Wait, hold it's on. Dusty, yep. man. That's it's dusty. the best picture on his profile for me. Really? Yeah. Is it the arms? It's the arms. It's the arms for sure. <laughs> it's the arms. He's flexing. Yeah. And I feel he it. Knew and yeah, you still like, told him no. So, though. Yeah. Yeah. I so, said that one was the best. I think. The, I think. <laughs> that's what I said. You can't win. Yo, so but, anyway, let me let me continue. So th- this is a no because uh, you just look dusty in this picture. I hate to say it, bro. Th- don't wear white beaters in public, guys. Like, that shit is not, nah. It's not It's Keep not it a way home. to go. It's not, don't do that. And then, um, because you just give off, like, dirty nigga vibes with this. And then let's continue on. Look at the other pictures. Uh, I like that first one. The um, first one, to you know, honest. the he other thing, too. nice when he dresses up. You, you know, the other thing, too, is, uh, click this one. I mean, bro, cute. Yeah, the jeans could be a little bit more uh, better fitted. You know what I'm saying? Here's the other thing, too. I don't know your age, but just understand that when you wear tennis sneakers, uh, it's going to awesome. put you in a certain light, man. It's going to it's gonna make you look younger. It's going to make you look maybe less mature. It's not going to signify higher socioeconomic status. Uh, wearing ball caps, all that other stuff. 
you know, I don't know your age. But you is, might be young. Is that a Cali thing, though? Like, is that like a Kylie style type it of thing? It could be. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely what, that's from Miami. That's what yeah. I from LA, when, but when, right. when in doubt, man, always, always try to dress oh. like to, to an appealable fashion to it's, a wider demographic of women like this. You know, I ain't trying to knock how you dress, man. It is what it is like that. You know, this this look might work for a lot of women. But if you want to be the most appealing tool, the widest demographic of women, you should wear clothes that are fitted. You want to stay away from the street wear. You know what I'm saying? You want to stay away from like the Nikes and the kicks and all this other stuff. I mean, you could wear wear on occasion, but it looks to me as though you wear all you got. You, you're like a possibly a sneakerhead and the jeans are too baggy, bro. And then what else? Chris, can you go back? Yeah. And you don't have enough, you don't have any professional pictures. You should be you should have professional photos. These are all clearly, you know, like your friend took you took the pictures on a on a on an iPhone, which is is not good. Like what what is this? Are we filming NWA fucking, you know, straight uh -oh. out of Compton here? Like no, nah, um, this is denim, not a, denim, denim. Wait, what's the next picture? Uh, the same uh, yeah. boom, this boom. Is, that's the vibe. You know, like that's not nah man. If you're gonna take Ooh. a picture like this, it needs to be professional. It needs to be taken well like better location. Now why would you wear those what, shoes? What is this? What's this? Y'all didn't that? show me this fuck? in the beginning. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah those shoes like, are nah, those shoes don't go with the outfit. Yeah, like nah, man. This look. this ain't it, bro. This, this cool, ain't though. it. So, so uh, I'll go more on the aesthetics of the page itself. Oh. So like the the followers. <laughs> oh. <to> <laughs> he dresses though. I could tell he's Yo. into fashion, like urban wear, streetwear. His, like, his style is different. It's not it's not the regular style. But it's the LA swag. So I I kind of get it. But his following now, uh, that's fucked up, bro. You got no bio, uh, Chris. Can you I'll go up to the top? Yep. So, so the following that is too close, bro. For yeah. Comfort. Yep. You have to. You should have way more followers than following. Secondly, D is not a good bio, bro. Yeah, I'm trying you to figure out what, what you do because think about this, right? They want to see. Okay, you're a cool guy. You got swag. You're in the gym. What do you do, nigga? They need to know. Just put it there so they can see it. Here, here's the other thing. Too, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. And then regarding your picture of your profile, bro, mm. that one can be changed to a that better part. one. You got some good pictures here, Thank bro. You. Take a headshot, put it there, resize it if you have to. But that one's in your car; it's kind of fidgety. You need a better picture than that. And here, here's the other thing too, bro. The, the girls didn't want to say it, but I'm, I'm gonna say it. Like, like it. the fact that you oh. don't show. Hey, watch the best podcast ever. Hey. Make sure to clip it when I'm, we're about to roast you right now because I'm giving you tough love. Uh, can you exit that real quick? Um, here's the other thing too, bro. You don't show what you do here, and you're dressed like a street guy. So girls are gonna look at your profile. And assume you're a criminal, you're unemployed, or you're of lower socioeconomic status. They ain't gonna say it, but I'm gonna fucking say it for you. You know what I'm saying? And and it just sucks that these are the stereotypes that you know African American have to men have to endure in the United States. You know, I get it. I've been profiled myself because the way I look as well. And th this is what it is, man. It, like you don't want to give off, uh, you don't want to shoot yourself in the foot, man. Yeah. So you need to number one, you need to get professional pictures. Number two, show a little bit more about your lifestyle, what you do to earn money. Okay. Uh, and then number three, you need to get your following up. Number four, uh, wear more fitted clothing. And then, uh, yeah, man, like you, you need to do a whole wardrobe change with uh, with wearing more. Spice it up. Yeah. You know, you got and there's not wrong with having maybe like that Spice. denim outfit and one of your pictures and then maybe having another one wearing a suit. You need to be able to show that you could clean up nice man. if you choose to, man. I ain't gonna lie. This is homie swag. I ain't gonna lock your swag because everyone has a different style. Mm -hmm. Do what you got to do, brother. Yeah. But that being said, but, he, but he's ostracizing himself from a large portion of women dressed like this. He clearly There's wants a woman that, that will like allow him to be chill he, and lay back. He's from LA though. Like th these niggas, they bought that that life. <laughs> so he cool on that. But the highlights now, you could put gym, maybe you and some of mm -hmm. your fits, and just get some more followers, Going bro. You got a full course on this, bro. How to get followers? How to get more engagement? Because those likes, bro, the much your followers. I mean, it is like 10, 20 percent. But I would just say, just to keep it all the way one hundred. Get some more followers. Add some more highlights. Your swag, bro. That, that, that's your swag, that's bro. That's your swag. But you um, just understand the consequences of it is you are going to ostracize a, a, yourself from a large portion of women mm -hmm. dressed like yeah. this. And shout out to you, man. You're in LA, bro. Shout out to AD. Yeah, Much that's love. it. Yeah, and you're cute. No, no. Yeah, hard. you attractive. Yeah, yeah. he was not. Yeah, you're not ugly. Uh, uh, yeah, they're letting you funny. down nicely, nigga. No, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not it. But they smell saying it. You need at least 20 posts, bro. At least 20 posts. You got five. That's too low. Yeah, at least 20. Yeah, yeah. You need double digits for sure. Yeah. He looks like he has a good personality, though. So okay, but you're smashing though. But you didn't smash him. Next, oh y'all, like <laughs> like guys, like like, and I see people in the chat saying like, "Damn, Myron, Myron, uh, you uh, talking shit about street or whatever." I'm telling you guys the fucking truth, bro. Like, if a girl sees you and you look like you're a drug dealer and you don't have pictures of yourself mm. doing something that shows that you're uh, productive or whatever, I don't know if you guys noticed. All the girls said, "I don't know what he does." So she said, "They don't know what you do when you portray yourself a certain way." Perception is reality to a lot of women, man. So. You gotta be able to uh you, you gotta be able to, to to show 
what you do if you're going to choose that path, man. I'm just keeping it all the way 1,000 with y'all, bro. Like, the streetwear will shoot yourself in the foot with a lot of girls if you don't. If you're a rapper and you dress like that, that's one thing because now there's implied success. There's implied social proof. That's different. But if you're going to dress like a rapper and not show that you're, you know, it's a balancing act. Okay, I'm going to go urban. Cool. Now you need to show that you're not a broke urban guy. You guys see the the, the, dif the difference here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got to well, discover that you're actually not a bum. So yeah. that you spend money. That's what it is, man. <laughs> so just, I, hey, man, I'm just giving y'all the tough love that women are never going to fucking tell you. They, they all told you, oh, you're cute, don't blow up. But they're not fucking you. <laughs> so who cares if they say you're cute? But that, who gives a fuck? Oh, you're a good boy. It's okay. You're cute. You're okay. Here's a treat. You'll find a girl. <laughs> There's a girl out there for you. Fuck out of here, man. We don't operate on hope or think or want. You make shit happen. You fucking change. Because mm. the whole reason why a lot of guys struggle with dating, no offense to the ladies here, is because women lie to y'all and tell you, oh, you're cute. You're fine the way you are. Fuck that shit. I'm here to tell y'all niggas, you're not fine the way you are. You need to fucking change. You need to change. You should always be upgrading anyway. So. You know what I'm saying? I'm, just, I'm the big brother you guys don't have, man. Like, you need to fucking change. A suit, good looking pictures, professionally done, is going to get you way more women than wearing some goddamn fucking Jordans. I don't care what nobody say. Look at Andrew Tate. And they've done things on it too. Look at right. They, they, put, they put a guy in streetwear and put the same guy in wearing uh, business attire. When he was wearing the business attire, he got far more approval from the opposite gender. So last time I checked, motherfuckers, we oh. operate <laughs> on <laughs> probability, not possibilities. You guys want to dress that way? Cool. Just understand your success rate isn't going to be as high. We already know the dating marketplace is tough for guys. You, the top guys in the world get a 10% uh, close rate. So why are you going to shoot yourself in the foot if you don't have to? Yeah, I ain't going to lie. You're I right, see, I see way, way Andrew Tate dresses how he dresses, but I, I just can't do it, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm cool with the urban. I'm just keeping it all the way 1,000 with you guys. You guys don't have to like what I'm saying, but I'm telling you the truth that women are going to tell you, oh, it's okay. Oh, no, no. Keep getting patted on your head, nigga. Not getting patted on the other head that you want. It is what it is. <laughs> so many like, three. Uh, I'm not here to be soft on none of y'all. And I told you guys, I go hard on the girls, but I go even harder on the men because you guys have to perform. They get the privilege of sitting back and sitting here and telling you your pictures are ugly or whatever. They're still going to get action. You ain't, though. <laughs> so I need to tell y'all the truth, man. Okay. Uh, Chula, 93. 93. Uh, okay. So, ladies, we're, same thing. We're going to... Um... Oh. Y'all going like that. Oh, we got a gun. <laughs> oh, we got a gun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, so push it back up. All right, yeah, there's one. Let's just try to get a face shot so they can see. Uh, there's one right there on the right. I mean, it's kind of... Uh, well, I guess, okay, that's him before him now. Oh. <laughs> uh, that expose him like that. Oh. Okay, there's another one. He must have heard you in 2019. So, right, I'm so, so ladies, I'm going to... Can y'all Can y'all see? Cardi, can you see? And What does his bio right, put, say? Put, yeah, put nothing. the letters. Nothing. I don't say nothing. Yeah. A few letters can and we, then an Can app. we scroll to the top? I need to see it too. Andy, Andy Kalenga, his name. Who's okay. Kelly Keys? He, uh -oh. he looks like he does. Who music is Kelly Keys? Uh oh, he's a bad Better be a producer. <laughs> All right, click Kelly Keys because I know the girl. If, hypothetically, if they're going yes, through his Instagram, they would do this. They automatically. Would do this. Oh, he plays oh, the keyboard. Okay. Oh, okay. I like that. Okay, okay. So, so go back to the main profile now. Can you see too? Or you need a little, the bar of glasses real quick? All right. Let me go the I'm gonna I'm gonna need him to keep the same energy from his music video profile. Let me borrow the glasses. Hold on, let ladies, ladies, don't leave the opinions. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Okay, we're traveling. Just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so okay, close your eyes. We're gonna go on three again. One for smash, two fingers for pass. Okay, uh, one, two, three. three. Throw them up. Throw them up. Okay, we got. You guys can open now. We got one, two, no, two smashes and three passes. All right, cool. So we'll start here. Why uh, the smash? Oh, because he clearly has a life, you know, he travels, mm -hmm. he goes out with his friends, he w dresses up, you know, I can tell that. But wait, look, he has girls in his pictures. Yeah, but those are clearly his friends. They look platonic. <laughs> yeah, they look like, oh, why, because, out. because they're white? No. <laughs> that's not I why. mean, it's, it's uh, three black guys and three white girls, so. Yeah, but no. Nah. Okay. That's not Looks it. like a triple date to me. Yeah. Like wait, who is he, the one in the back? Yeah, the one in the back. Well, he's uh, oh, that's him back. in the back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought this was him in the head. Oh no. no. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, All right. So, you. so social proof. What else? Like he has friends. What else made you say? Okay, does different oh, things. I'll just say he does different things. He seems right. like he could be fun. He seems like he's not boring. Okay. Uh, Shadi, why are you give him a pass? I just wasn't sexually appealed. To, like in my opinion, I'm not gonna take away from his grind. Oh like, my god! Jesus, just say what he fucked up on. D don't sit here. I'm not gonna. 
like TikTok. My preference. Say like, he didn't meet raw. my standard, but I'm not saying he has a bad Instagram page. What would help him, though, is if he kept the same energy from his music page on his main. Like, maybe he oh. could level out that Instagram following content on some posts because some of them are cute but they were like maybe highlight worthy like maybe not post worthy what was the reason i just said <laughs> it reason? Yeah. I, you wasn't you wasn't sexually sexually appealing to me okay, okay. and um he's not your type yeah he just wasn't he's really not your type okay <laughs> Why, why I didn't pass for you? I didn't get wet. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much just saying there was nothing at all wrong with his um, Instagram or anything. Um, he's just not my type. So I wouldn't. Just because you got a nice Instagram, I'm happy you have a great life. You do know how to dress. Um, you know, you like to have Chris, fun. Chris, we open up the profile? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. you're going to have fun. But yeah, you're just not my type. Okay. Somebody he's out there future. for you. What about you? Why, right. Why'd you say no? He's bald. That's what I. That's a, I was. <laughs> yo, say it. <laughs> Sorry, Mar. All right, thank you. Uh, for yeah, I'm I'm almost there. So I like some girls don't like don't like guys that are bald. Yeah, yeah. But, some some guys, but, but but some girls do though. Some guys can put yeah. it off. But yeah, it's just some this, can. Yeah. See, it's it's interesting though because uh, it wasn't until. <laughs> I just want guys to understand that a girl will reject you sometimes and she won't even know why she rejects you guys. It wasn't True. until Red said it, oh, he's bald, that car uh, hit Shardy's like, oh, yeah, he's fucking bald. No, so, I'm not, I, I, think, that I didn't have the balls to say yeah. it. We were very nice you about it. Me? Like, I didn't want to say it, but like, it wasn't even that. It wasn't even the We fact told that you to be like, honest. So for me. all you fucking guys in the chat that are crying saying Myron is is, is an asshole and all this other shit, Yo, I, I'm being an asshole because these women are going to tell you the truth. Even when we pressure them to tell you the truth, they ain't going to tell you. I don't want to be made an example What was that like reason? That? What was that reason, Cardi? <laughs> I just wasn't appealed, like for real, for real. Like it just wasn't no, but, like. But that's what I'm trying like, to say. Damn, I want to continue getting to know you. But I will say this: some people have trash Instagram pages, and I know them in real life. And I'm like, damn, your in-person profile mm -hmm. is better than your yeah. online profile. But here's the so. thing: he's not going to get that benefit. Let's assume he DM'd you. So like, the, the point is, this. it's going to get left on. Uh, on scene. In, not even seen. Not even seen. Yeah. She's not open it. Like, she's going to say in the other box. From primary to general. general. Yeah. Yep. And even in requests. And, 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 <laughs> and here's the thing, man. I, I want y'all to really like. But he's like, not ugly, though. It's just not for me. Cardi, stop. I'm, I don't want to hurt nobody's ego. Yeah, that, These are your supporters. A, that's right. the These point. That's the problem. Bro. You bro, bro, got to break stop, the ego. Stop. Stop. You know, you just, ego? Just, just stop. Just stop. Everybody just be quiet right. for a second. Okay. Just be quiet. <laughs> Guys, this is why we have this podcast. That's why I give it to you straight the way I do. And I don't give it a filter because I'm telling y'all, we're on a podcast right now. We're. Getting, tr we're trying to get the women to be honest, and they're still holding back facts. And, I, you know, I'm not, no, no, you, you withheld information. But here's <laughs> the thing: I'm gonna knock you though. I'm not gonna knock you because here's the truth: you're hardwired to not sit there and like talk shit to a guy and tell him you're ugly, whatever. Because this nigga could be crazy and punch you. Yeah. So women are not gonna tell true. you. It is not in their best interest to tell you guys the truth about where you lack from a sexual arousal standpoint, where you lack with game, whatever. Women are never gonna tell you the fucking truth about what it takes to be attractive. So That's I have true. to come in here. Be the fucking bad guy. Tell your picture suck. Tell you to stop dressing like a fucking thug. Tell you to stop uh, being an idiot because girls aren't going to do it. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to tell you, bro. I'm going to tell you. There's a reason why so many guys struggle with women because women are not honest about what they're attracted to, what they're aroused by. There's studies that prove it. So if you motherfuckers want to get mad about me telling you the truth, well, then go somewhere else, man. Because over here, we keep it a thousand with you guys all the time. I want y'all to win. But this is the landscape of contemporary dating, okay? We lie to men. We tell them that you can be accepted for the way that you are. We tell guys, just be your fucking self. We tell guys, it's okay to just express yourself however you want. No. No fucking no. If you want to be the most attractive to the ladies, you got to change. And you can't sit here and say, I hope, or oh, there's a right girl out there for me. No, motherfucker. You guys got to make things happen. You got to take deliberate action to change what happens. If you keep doing the same shit, you will continue to get the same goddamn results. Yep. Mm. So get professional pictures, know. dress better. Get your hygiene on point. Don't believe a woman say, sorry, shorty. Oh, oh my God. Be because they're going to cap, right? They're going to cap. They're, it's a, in their best interest to tell you the, a lie so you don't fucking whack them. Because some guys are crazy. They can't take rejection. In LA, two months ago, girl, guy tried to spit game to the girl. Oh, what's up, shorty? Fuck you. You a bum. Nigga pulled out the strap and started shooting at him. Really? Like, yeah. Wow. I'm yeah. So, like, yo, guys, women are going to be honest with you about shit like that. Have a good day. Have a good day. all for love guys like that's why we tell you guys this shit is because they're gonna oh, miss wow. certain things about you i'm gonna sugarcoat it but like what if he can't do anything about his baldness it was, so it was, was the more, point of saying you're bald 
It was more what you said from the beginning. Women choose a feeling and might not always know the reason why. What was the reason? I don't <laughs> know. It was a feeling. Like, exactly. for real. Okay, Red, what idea. about you? What? Well, she said. Oh, oh, yeah, ball, she said right? Ball, okay. Ball. Sorry, yeah, something else. And you? Um, um, the picture, the profile, I saw a lot, you know, as far as him being active with traveling. And it looks like he's adventurous by that. Yeah. Um. He's bald, but it doesn't bother me because it suits him. And also, I do like the fact that he's musically inclined. It says a lot about him. Nice. Mm -hmm. But the profile does need a little bit more um, tweaking. We need to polish it up a, a bit. We need to maybe archive a few photos and, like you know, Myron said, get a few professional photos. Like I, I see you in your suit. Get a few professional photos where you're fully groomed. And his profile wasn't bad, though. No, like, it wasn't uh, bad. Like, no, it my, wasn't bad. My criticisms were for the first profile because people got mad that I said what I said. But um, for the second profile. Your pictures aren't aren't really that bad, bro. It's just that you gotta con you I agree one thousand percent. You need to you need to put your best pictures up, the professional pictures, whatever. Uh get rid of those old pictures. And uh yeah, man. I mean, uh I would say, can you pull up that profile one more time? Yeah, sure. Chris. Uh oh yeah, yeah. you need to get some st something on your bio. You don't have much there. This, um who this, are you? This profile here, man, uh just looking at it from a outside st standpoint, close to the talk, Chris. So once again, followers following is pretty uh off there. The bio doesn't say much about you, what you do. You should put definitely in here music producer or you make yes. beats, something where you're musically inclined. Yeah. It should be in your mm -hmm. bio for sure. Picture and for a profile, pick. nigga. Yes. Bro, Come please, on, bro. Please. Bro, you got yeah, wires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. iPhone. Bro, you got stupid. wires. And that could be way better, bro. Come on, dude. You, you, uh, you, Chris said he got wires. You're <laughs> on a lake his in feed, a canoe, bro. Yeah. Like, his feed doesn't on, match bro. his profile. So, picture for profile has to change, bro. You need more followers and following. And then for the post itself, yeah, some of these pictures need to go. Go back up, Chris. And more close ups. Girls like to see your face. Yeah. Back up yeah, to the top. Ups. So you got 81 posts. That needs to be below 50 and only the best pictures that you can find. Yeah. And Mario, you can tell the best pictures there. But for the most part, yeah. uh, not you a got bad. some good travel ones, man. Yeah. Yeah, the travel is very important. much better than the first it shows one. Shows you're well traveled. That's very good. That's very good. <laughs> Uh, and, you nigga, listen to music in the profile. <laughs> that's true. It's true. Yeah, man, that's true, man. And yo, for the first guy, bro, it is tough love, man. Like I, I just, I'm just telling you guys the raw, uncut truth about uh, what women like. Hey, you don't got to change. I'm just telling you, if if you do change, you're gonna increase your probabilities because we operate on probabilities here. A suit is going to make you more attractive to a wider demographic of women. It is statistically proven. I'm just telling you the truth. I don't make the rules. I report them. Yes. So, um, cool. Uh, next person. Yeah. Sure. Because I saw some other ones flying. I'll read the super chats and then while we pull up uh while we pull up the next profile here. Um yeah, I mean guys, uh, you know, I and I'll tell you guys, thank you guys for being good sports and listening to the criticism, but we're telling you guys this shit out of love. You know what I'm saying? It's true. Uh because society lies to you guys. Society lies to men as much as they well, we lie to women more, but we mm -hmm. definitely lie to guys as well. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um okay. on, let me copy this first and then you can read the rest. All right. There we go. Fresh, can you read these super chats? Right. We got Demora Walker, five bucks. It's my personal Insta. My main Insta is my work. Demora Walker. Have we got your brother? Yeah, it's fine. Uncle Luke's 980s, uh, 25 bucks. You judge a man based on his shoes? You sound like an ignorant young bird. Shout out to the mature lady next to Myron. I know she she likes young guys, but come on, that's lame. Bro, bro, I'm stop fucking thinking. crying about what girls criticize you. Like, you know, hold on, hold on. I gotta stop this shit. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> You <laughs> cannot you, you cannot cry about what women critique men on. The rules and the facts are the fucking facts. Okay? She just happens to look at shoes, right? Ain't nobody gonna get mad at you for saying I don't want no fat bitches, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? So mm -hmm. I tell y'all all the time, women have preferences and they got a lot of them. Okay? So you need to operate in reality, yep. accept the raw truth that women want men that are better than them. They want guys that have more money, that are taller, confident, attractive. You have two options. You can either become better or you can keep doing what you're doing and say, fuck women. I don't need them. We don't. You really don't need them. But you if choice. you want to get girls, bro, you, you got you to gotta, you gotta take deliberate action to become better and just understand that a lot of women have random preferences and rejection is a part of the game. You can't get mad at rejection, bro. It, it, bro, I've had girls reject me for the dumbest shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the dumbest shit. Like, oh, uh. I don't know. Your 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 pinky is uh, your your fucking nail is pink. I don't fucking know. Girls reject guys for anything. Guys. Do you think they're telling you the truth then? You, you said look that like, we don't tell the truth. I mean, truth. I'm making a joke. But no, no, I'm is... not talking about their pinky. I'm just talking about whatever reason they gave you. Do you feel like it was the truth? Yes. It it, it could have been, but who? It, 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 who to some knows? degree. 
they're, they're going to always hold shit back. Yeah. Because there's always that threat of violence when they're interacting with men. Like, mm-hmm. like it's subconscious. Like, y- y'all, the reason why women aren't very honest a lot of the times isn't because, like, women are terrible creatures. It's that there's physical consequences if you deal with a, a weirdo that can't take criticism. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to have to let them down mm-hmm. gently. So I'm not, uh, I'm telling you guys, take the criticism, right? Get rejected, accept the rejection. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and understand that this is game. You're going to get rejected by girls. Remember, guys, top tier guys that are good with women close only about 10% of their leads. That's 10 girls for every 100 that they speak to. You guys get that? 10 girls for every 100 that they speak to. And this is world class shit. So what do you think a regular guy is going to do? You know what I'm saying? I need y'all to like understand that the dating game is not as easy as y'all think. And you're going to have to take L's. And you can't get mm-hmm. mad. At the way women operate and why they do. This is why they lie to you guys because it's shit like that. <laughs> That's yep. fucked up. You're so fucking. You you looked at my shoes. Yeah, you you're damn right. They do look at your goddamn I mean, you shoes. You wore them, so you want them to be looked at. You know, queen, yep. man. you can't so, be watching. guys. Just it, like, don't cry building, about it, man. man. Like like take this data, put it in your head. Know the truth. It's better to know the bitter truth and adapt than get mad at the truth. Yeah, fight it, just accept it, and move forward. And you can. Uh, we got um, here on the panel That's again. Fine. <laughs> we got um uh, Eric Jordan. I know I have sorry. Okay, he's sending his uh, Instagram er, 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 Jordan. Mm. SAU Engineeria uh is that Mexican? Hundred bucks? Probably. You guys saving lives every day. You gotta protect yourself, brothers. I see so much hate right now for red pillars and a lot more for you guys. Greetings from Mexico. Yeah, it's part of the process, man. Hey, it's gonna come no matter what. Ron P twenty bucks Canadian, shout to Canada. What about dressing designer like Balmain, Philip Fleen? And throwing some heavy metal shirts with a good bracelet, Rolex combo. I mean, that can match your style, bro. But like, realistically, think about this, right? Like, who are you trying to attract? That's going to determine how you might want to dress. But if you really don't care, then it's your style, brother. It's, it's up to you. Uh, what's Johnny Bravo's Instagram? I don't know who, who you're talking about, bro. <laughs> Noctis oh. Lucas Callium, five bucks. It's why you don't take the advice from women. Mine is 100% correct because, sorry, and you simps think he's being mean. Laugh my ass off. There you go. Take it or leave it, guys. It's good. Advice. Don't send your Instagram in if you don't if you're not ready to get roasted, bro. Like, right. don't if it's good, we're gonna tell you it's good. But if it's trash, I'm gonna tell you it's fucking garbage. I'm gonna tell you exactly right. why. The truth first, man. Uh, Tom chatted five bucks. I don't lady in pink wants guys to be in the gym, but she looks like she needs the gym or, or more. Have you seen her shape? Uh, right. she, she's pretty. Thick, I always brother. get yeah. the bad. I always for this angle, it makes me look really fat. You want to stand up? And the last pump, time, pump, 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 the last pump. time, I I made a mistake by crazy. wearing a Let's wrong talk more color standing. and pattern. <laughs> They're gonna go there crazy. Go. For Let this. me get out the way. Oh, oh yeah, look at, that. look at look at that. Maybe I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This this BBL uh-huh. body was curated in the gym. Mm-hmm. Okay? Period. Okay. Talk I don't want no surgery. This is how natural bodies look. I'm representing for natural girls who put the fuck yep. down and come to Jesus. Yes. And who go to the gym. Okay. All right. Good it shit. Messed up, boy. Me. Always coming from me in the comments, but it's okay. You messed up, boy. God okay. bless you. All. Yep. I bless you. What your mama look like? Oh. You know Shots fired. Like, Shout out to all my niggas on Twitch. Would you hit or no? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's she's, get, uh, she's pretty thick, though. Shout out to her. Uh, yeah, okay. Thick. Thank so, you. Um, uh, that's all the introvert. I stay in the gym. I've seen his comment. Out earlier. of order. He's out of order like the woman from Zobas. That's the to- topic for another day. Y'all uh, get that joke. Go Dezo, oh, the no. introvert. Okay. So, um, okay. So, we'll go through the profile. You need the glass. Okay. You got, yeah, you're already ready. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hold on, miss. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Let's go. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So, we're going to scroll through. That's it. All right. Um, okay. Do you need to borrow the glasses too, real quick? Yeah. Pass them over so she can see as well. I need to borrow them too because. Oh, have- okay. Everybody's <laughs> blind Everybody's at the table. Blind. All right. Can fair I, enough. Oh, can I get mine over there? Oh yeah. Uh, where? where, where it's in my little pink it, purse thingy. Pink purse. Yeah. yeah. Joyce, can you bring her purse, please? Oh, tell her to right. bring mine too. Uh, glasses. Girls, you got glasses go. in there. Girl. Which one is your purse? And the blue one. Blue one. Okay. Back pink back. and blue, please, Joyce. Okay, guys. Uh, so, uh, um, getting back to this. For the girls that can't see, yeah, just pass the glass around so we get them. They're all blind shit. Yeah, goddamn, man. We brought the blind the blind chicks on. Okay. So uh, he's a musician. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, just, just come around this side, Joyce. All right. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give you the best shot that we can, bro. We're gonna give them their glasses. Thank you, love. Thank you so much. 
So what? Y'all judged all these other guys? Y'all trying to say you didn't? You couldn't see nothing? I could see. I know that. you two did, could because I, I gave you guys my glasses. Profile to be sure. Okay. Like the the, the bio because like that's how you know they the gotta look, look closely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is already an L because they gotta take look so goddamn hard. <laughs> Yeah, they gotta find another reason no, to squalify. I, 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 I've got sure. a vibe that I'm gonna. Yes, okay. exactly. Me too. <laughs> Let me give you some advice out now. Oh, Damn, they're, okay, they're reading okay. your shit, man. <laughs> All right, I mean. All right, scroll down. Some more. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Cardi, you already saw. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. So, uh, guys, close your eyes. On three. Remember, one for one for smash, two for pass. One, two, three. Okay, we got four passes and one smash. Okay, wow. Red, Red can okay. you tell us uh, tell us why you would uh, why you would smash? Um, I I don't know. I like his style. Okay. Yeah right. the the way he dresses kind of gives off an energy that I feel like I would be able to get along with. Kind of okay. like a creative person like me. Okay, so. a little artsy musician type vibe. Okay, right. cool. Uh, we'll go with the passes now. Why pass from you? Um, it just wasn't like. Keep it a thousand. Wasn't giving me like enough about him. Like I see that you might have a Mercedes or maybe taking picture from him. I don't know. Anyways, and then um, you know, you're a musician. He needs a title in the picture. Um <laughs> show me the deed. This is mine. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, you seem like you're outside a lot, but it just tells me nothing about your life, really. So I don't know. Music. I mean, but I can't even tell that for real. Translation, she can't tell how much money you earn from said music. All right, let's continue on. <laughs> I, I got y'all niggas, man. I like, come oh, on, man. I gotta translate the woman for you guys. I mean, he Translation. Sent, he sent I can't 50 tell. bucks for this, so it speaks for itself. What what do you say? He's he's willing to spend fifty bucks for us to rate him. Wait, so. wait, I didn't say anything about how much the boy made. All I said. Oh was, no, no, I'm not talking to you. I'm saying <laughs> spending like, the fifty dollars yeah. to get rated. That's yeah, 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 yeah. He still got yeah. that money though. <laughs> yeah, but I, I I get I get where she's coming from. Like like, yo, you do music, but yeah, okay. Uh, Charlie, what about you? Honestly, I just. Felt a lack of excitement from <laughs> okay. just you telling us how you feel that it works. Was, it was kind of bland for me. Like maybe incorporate more stuff that is live because it looks kind of still to me. It looks kind of like more could be done to express like who you are. Introverted. Um. Yeah. Even introvert is okay, but there's some very creative introverts out there. I'm not taking away from your creativity or your music or anything. But again, like we want to know more about Scroll your down life. Real quick. We want to know more about um who this introvert is aside from the music you put with the title. All right. Let me decode that woman is for you. You want to know why she thinks you're an introvert, bro? You have very little social proof on your profile and your pictures. Well, he's- all your pictures are by yourself. That's his reference. His name is literally the introvert. The introvert. <laughs> yeah, but my real about? question is. But the pictures yeah. back it up too. My like, real question is why does this one say the introvert with the I and then his name says the introvert with an E? I'm maybe, confused. Maybe because it was taken. Maybe. Yeah, it was probably it was probably taken. Yeah, Dezo. Okay, yeah, because he spelled. Okay, but, I, was, but, I didn't even notice that. Uh, bro. But, um, okay, no. But the pictures also show that he. Like, no, you know, I get it. Too. He put the introvert. Yeah. Okay. Got All right. It. Oh. um. You're very skinny, so Lord Jesus. since we are supposed to be being honest. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So, yeah, you're very skinny, so that's automatically a no from me. And, yeah, your page is pretty bland. Um, If you're, uh, unless you're a starting musician, um, you know, everyone has to start somewhere, but definitely put more of your work up there so I can, you know, at least want to check it out. Like, okay, the first, I don't know what he had on there, but um, I think it was like the only thing. So if you want me to listen to that and that's bad, like that's it for me. Like if you got options, then I might be like, okay, this one might not be mm-hmm. it for the next one. But um, but yeah, very boring. Like, okay. To me. You don't gotta you don't gotta quote oh, to me. She said you boring, bro. <laughs> to All three right. of us. All right, uh, Red, you said yes, and then uh Miss Bahamas. For me, it was a no because I'm not attracted to him. Um his body type is why? not my oh. preference. Mm-hmm. I like Fair. muscular men. I'm Fair. a very thick girl. So, I don't want a skinny man. Okay, that's fair. Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. Go to the I'm gym, baby. You. Okay. You want to um, give your, uh, take? Yeah, I mean, I'm my my take, bro. Yeah, I would say, I mean, yeah, you got to get in the gym, bro. You got to <laughs> you, you got you got to go you got to go out there and lift weights. I mean, right. the skinny look, you'll get some girls with it, but you are gonna definitely ostracize yourself from a large mm-hmm. majority of women. And I'm gonna keep it all the way at one thousand with uh-huh. y'all. Uh, there are more fat women than there are fat men. Okay. So, uh, bigger girls don't want to be around skinny guys cause it makes them feel big and girls never want to feel big. And that's statistical fact. There are more fat women in the United States than there are fat men. So just keep that in mind and 
know that you are losing and not that you want to fuck with flat girls anyway you get what i'm saying but even a girl that's like thick is gonna feel i mean miss bahamas right now just told you right through your face I, yeah. i'm a thicker girl i don't want a skinny man so i like skinny guys i like the I like the branding that he, he has going on with the introvert. Yeah. My thing is just like promote it more. And then in your bio, put what you actually do, bro, because uh, it's very not clear what you do. Yeah. I can, uh, assume from the music, from pictures in, in the profile. But reality speaking, we don't know what you really do. Yeah. Um, so that being said, though, as Myron say, if you want to hit the gym, but at this point, bro, you need better branding, bro, for your for your career. So I'll just yeah, because it makes it seems like music might be a hobby, not yeah, like it, something it, that he's really serious thing. about. Mm -hmm. I can tell he, he's taking and, it serious. And I would say take a couple of like I get that you're trying to have the introvert thing on on yeah, your thing, but bro, bro, bro take style. at least like one or two pictures with like uh, someone with you, man. Right. Yeah. Because be, being intro introverted, like it actually hurts you from a social yeah. proof standpoint with women. You got a network. It doesn't make you. It doesn't make you more attractive, man. Like, like I hate to say it, guys, but like if a guy's like always by himself, or a girl's gonna go. Okay, something's wrong with this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He's never around other people. He's never around, uh, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be girls, but if you're not around other people, she's going to think in her head, like, if other people don't want to be around him, why should I be around him? Well, we know someone took the pic. Yeah. So. And there's girls, <laughs> there's girls that are. See how they always try to let you down look slowly, guys? Now, See what I'm saying? Now, like, now, like, now you're going too far now. This I can't agree like, with that thing, one. Like, I, I ain't going to knock, like I said, guys. You guys see, learn a lesson every single night. See how they're trying to let you down gently when they're saying, like, I wouldn't fuck you or whatever. Like, we got to give it to you guys raw, you know? Uh, okay. Pause. Yeah, pause. Pause, 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 pause. <laughs> Ali X. Okay, Wait. Ali X, next one. And then I think this is the last one, right? No. How got, many more do we got? We got a bunch more. 25. Yeah, like, we got about two more, I think. Good so, okay. okay. Uh, we'll, we'll we're going to cut off here? Cut off here. Yeah, guys. Because uh, uh, tomorrow we got, we got yeah. big, two big shows. Yeah, we then... got two big shows tomorrow, guys. We're going to cut off here. We love y'all, yeah. though. Uh... Uh, but we're gonna, I'm, we're gonna keep going uh, raw with you guys on these uh, profiles, man. I tell you, I, I critique you guys this hard because I want y'all to fucking win, bro. Yep. If I didn't give a fuck, I would just sit here in silence and say, let me just collect some money. But like, nah, that's not, nah, hell no, I care. Um, Who cares? okay, yeah, man, because nobody tells men the truth, bro. Like, so no one cute. fucking tells men shit like about what they need to improve on. You know, right, no offense, to you ladies, but okay, you ladies, guys, be honest. Out of this them. profile, would you <laughs> smash or pass? Wait. What you're doing now? Oh, already? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, no. Well, oh, we sorry, could just sure. skip that to yeah. save time if you want. Well, I want them skip. to close their eyes because, uh -huh. God damn it. Well, Bro, it up, man. <laughs> <laughs> they, already, they already saw each other. Okay, just throw them up. Throw them up. Throw them up. Throw them up. Sorry. And it, and guys have noticed they're looking around. The down. No, the whole time they're looking around like, okay. Yeah. What do you choose? You too? Okay. I think it's kind of like a mutual agreement. No, it's, it's, it's not mutual. mutual. It's, 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 it's not mutual. mutual. No, yeah. mine wasn't mutual. I didn't yeah, care what they said. said no, this is for me. So this, it's down, you're scared so it's to go against the grain. Towards, though. Yeah, it's, it's a yeah, universal. Yeah, scared to go against the grain. In general. Okay, it's a, it's a universal direct. pass. Why is it all pass? Um, what is that in his hand? In a camera. camera. Okay, camera. I can tell. But um, it just seems like he eats a lot. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I mean, what? I just no. I'm saying like he just he, he keeps posting food. How do you? Is he a foodie? Okay, but I don't care about that. No, I'm saying I don't talking. care about the okay. food. I don't care about it. No, no, no. Hey, let's not criticize her on what she say. Oh. Say what you um, I don't care about the food. I want to know more about your life, and this just tells me that you like to eat. So that's not enough for me. Okay, understand. Shawty. Um, honestly, I just think you can be more sexy. I love the fact that we know what we do that you what you that do. That was the most polite way to tell someone they're ugly I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> no, because <laughs> it's giving Disney Channel cute, but it's yeah, not right. it's Disney not screaming. Cute. You want to fuck me? Right. It's not screaming grown man. It's, it's not, not screaming confidence. Like like you you know how we were saying about urban attire like and all that like being kiddish like okay it's not exactly the same LA style but um maybe we could boost it That's up a little bit right and make it a little more grown and sexy, you know? Okay. Yeah, he's unattractive in my opinion. And um yeah, I feel like you know your Merch. face needs to be cleaned up, cleaned up. Um the food should be in a highlight. We understand yeah, that you're a hard. food porn or you like food porn, a whatever. You, yeah, a foodie. <laughs> he said food porn. Anyways, you're a foodie or whatever. So like that stuff goes more into um your highlights. Um okay. it's master key right there. But you just said about food, put it in a highlight, bro. It doesn't need to be on your profile. Yeah. You're not a food channel. It's irrelevant. Yeah. If you're like a, a, a fucking huge chef, that's yeah. one thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. But in this situation, yeah. Yeah. You right? just, yeah. Oh, um, just the way who kind of, I don't know. You <laughs> see how he carries himself. I guess I'd like men with more confidence and more of a inviting 
I mean, I guess he's inviting, but she's not know. sure. She's not. He sure. looked very passive. D- yeah, definitely and like, passive. You need, and like, you need some. Uh, I know what to say. You come off as a pussy in your pictures, man. Yeah, oh, that, that. Like, I'm just gonna like you're clean shaven, right? Which automatically is gonna emasculate you to a degree. Right. Uh, you you come off. You look like a young boy. You don't look. You don't. You don't look dangerous. You don't look like if there was a confrontation that you'd be able to protect. The girl that you're with, right. you you look soft, man. That's really what they don't want to say it, but I'm gonna just have to fucking say it. They think you're a bitch. Your pictures oh, make you come no. off as a bitch boy. Yes, and I, anyway, so uh, that's why they're not attracted to you. That's why they said you're not really sexy. You're like cute, but you're not sexy. And guys, that is translation. You don't come off as arousing to me. I can pat you on the head, and you'll be my friend. That's what they're saying. Which is all confidence. Let so. me see. What well, I don't. Sure, How you ahead. carry yourself? What don't you like, girl? I'm just not attracted to him at all. Um, I think you can use some help with, like, you know, people putting Chris? putting your uh, outfits together. The gentleman's view can assist you with that. Um, yeah, I'm just not attracted. <laughs> I don't like to that outfit at all. all. You you need some help with the dressing. Yeah. Yeah, you, those you jeans like are way dad. too baggy. The shirt is. It's giving dad fit. Yeah. Dad, yes, it dad is. fit with a with a teenage bro. face. You need, and, and you also have you also have titties, bro. You need it. You need to get in shape. Yo, yo, real talk, bro. <laughs> How this profile? I seem to be three shots. You should keep, and the rest you should like delete, tight. bro. That one's cool. So, that one's cool. Uh, this one, the car is cool. I like <laughs> the tag as well. But that being said. <laughs> Cargo, no, don't fucking wear cargo shorts, man. Like, what? What is this? 2010? Cargo shorts are not. That, that's not a. That's not a move. The girl said, "Oh, it's cute." Meanwhile, they all told you no that they will not fuck you, bro. Like, it doesn't have to do with his more, clothes. More the cars I mean, behind him, but you you could put some jeans on. But yeah, but, cargo shorts are not a move, man. But that being said, uh, go to the top, Chris, real quick. One second. Okay. Once again, no following. No social proof. Yeah. Uh, pictures as well. You don't look like you can actually take any type of like, you know what I'm saying, serious like <clears throat> advances if things do happen like Mary said earlier. Oh, okay. okay. That being said though, like, <laughs> okay. Oh, but oh, like, hold on. Different I think that one back. was there. Oh, this is page? <laughs> He's a photographer. This is his I mean, Oh, this is. So, oh, okay. Yeah, but see, right. but see now, I like you see different light to him, right? Yes. Yeah. But before, okay, so get this, right? I wish you put some of these in some of your highlights as well. Yeah. And then on your main page, put mainly you with friends going out having fun. It, it doesn't fucking but matter, again, bro, because they would have never even went to look at the other shit. I would have. No, no, I would have looked. I would have done it. I'm a model. It's yeah. a studio. I would have looked. Yeah. yeah. Oh, key, key, I would do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, man, as this, a model, this yeah. show gives right. so many goddamn RP truths. Notice how they would look at the other stuff for their own benefit, not yours. You ain't getting laid. You ain't going to get no box. You're They've already run you off as a potential sexual counterpart. We're They're going to look at you purely. All right, let me get some free photos out of you. Okay, you're a nice Ooh, guy. No, it's you a collaboration. Well, that's yeah. the truth. He, he I could think expand that's his profile. True. They're yeah. going to use you for the for the, for the for photos. Thank so you. be very careful. Don't give them off. Don't give the free shoots off for free. They're going to use you for yeah. the photos. Unless you're trying to build I'm not saying you guys will do it, but girls do it all the time. Yeah, I know, but girls can. I'm saying don't yeah. give them no free shoots because they're going to they're ring you. They're going to ring you, baby. Facts. Take Bro, I, 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 they, they wouldn't even have went and looked at your page your photography page from like a sexual arousal standpoint because they didn't or they already don't find you attractive so if they do go look at that photography page they're gonna fuck with you for their benefit oh can i do a photo shoot oh like can i get it for free Correct. you know a lot of girls in miami do that they finesse dudes like that so wow. Just be you know, it's a miami, though? because you right now bro i ain't gonna lie this is the perfect storm for you to get friend zoned you're you, you're poorly mm-hmm. dressed you're out of shape you give off nice guy vibes you're clean shaven. and you don't have any edginess to you and you're a photographer bro you are literally a finesse girl's dream, bro. Like, they, I, 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 like looking at this profile, they could look at it like, damn, this dude, I could pat him on the head. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. He's like, easy. We could be friends. Like, um, you might not be. Who knows? You might be a fucking aggressive, dominant male. But these pictures don't convey that. These pictures don't convey that. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. You need a war- wardrobe change. Yeah. yeah. Completely. yeah. Like the a gentleman, you can help you with that. All yeah, right. definitely. Yeah. You're you wearing baggy clothes, bro. It's, 20, it's 2021, my friend. Followers, picture for profile once again. And then Ballot Brand. All right, we got two more. No, we um. I thought we called, was calling it. No. Huh? No, after after these last two. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, Ballet Brand. He says he's the owner of Hex. Mm-hmm. Is, oh, okay. Is that what we're saying in super chat, uh, Chris? Yeah. Give me one second. So Ballet Brand, fifty bucks. Oh wait, hold on. What did what did McQueen say? He said fifty five bucks. I ain't gonna lie. I tear that Caribbean girl up just for the respect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. 
McQueen's uh, the man, by the way. Yeah. Shout out to McQueen. Shout out to McQueen. Buy it, Brian, 50 bucks. Richard Hart, official, founder of Hex.com, multi billionaire genius, literally means foundation IQ level and still a G. Are we supposed to look? Is that his profile? IG? I, yeah, that's his IG. Yeah. It is? Yeah, and he yeah. gave a little bit about himself. He's smart. He put his career in there. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, and then we got Air Jordan. Okay. So Air Jordan, we're going to pull this one up right now. And then we got uh, the Hex guy, and then um, we'll close it out. Uh, yo, 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 McQueen. Now, you know what? I'm not going to say it. I'm not, I'm not going to say it. Never mind. Oh. All right. Bryce, cool. <laughs> not, here's a phrase that says... Uh, never, never mind. All right, cool. All right, here we go. Air Jordan. Okay. Uh, Roman ladies, uh, listen. And then on three, close your eyes. Okay, ready? All right. One, two, three. Eyes closed. <laughs> eyes closed, ladies. Follow yep, throw them, up, throw them 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 up. All right. Throw them up. I didn't even see Oh, uh, you didn't even see him? Okay, okay. Everybody open it. Put your fingers down. Put your fingers down. We're going to let Red go through it. Sorry, yeah. My mic got disconnected. All right, go ahead. Okay. No problem. All right. <laughs> okay, that was fast. Instantly. Okay, uh, and then uh, we already know what... We'll go ahead and throw yours up, Red. Red what's your sign? Okay, that's a universal pass. Okay, um, uh, we'll start here with Miss Bahamas. Why did you give him a pass? This is a pass? Yeah, two, two is pass. Oh, oh you... yes, yes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean pass. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, 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 sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah. I'm not attracted to him at all. Can you tell us why? why? Well, we obviously it's clear that you're not. Just, can you tell us why though, please? I don't think he is what I consider to be cute, and the profile is a little bit ghetto for me. Ghetto? Yes. Um, <laughs> ghetto. I think okay. he had a picture of like a Louis. Can we pull it back? Louis pull it back shoe? up, Chris. Yep. A Louis shoe, right? <laughs> Put my glasses on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had some Louis Vuitton. Put the receipt. And then yeah. the receipt. No, Bruh. there's it's like, yeah. no. All right, bro. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. You're doing that, too much. Damn. On, doing too much. That's going to get the girls who want your money. And yep. that's it. That's not yep. going to get any girls with substance. As soon as a woman like me who have substance, look at that. And I'm going to be like, wow. I could just use them. So you don't have no, not even that. I don't want to use them. That's too much work. But, I just rather don't want to. I just don't want to do it. Hold okay. on. But, but the girls, his nails are clean. Nice, that's nice. But they look bitten. They look like they've been bitten on. He got mm. booty digger fingers. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. All right. Oh so uh, sorry, man. I'll try. Anything else, Miss Bahamas? Why are you um, saying no? Um, the profile needs some help, and also it looks like he does not go to the gym. Okay. He needs to work out. Can we pull that oh, back, Chris? Yeah, I I disagree. He's kind of fit. Where? What? Right there. He's kind of fit. Sorry, I apologize. So let me see. That's that's out of shape to you for real. Well, no, Let me know. You're not that's out, out of shape. shape. No, I mean, but he has no you abs. can you can bulk up. You can level God, up. Damn. Like, man, but, 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 man, you have, have to read the realize. caption though. It says keep well, the one, nice one legs. time. One at a time. Let her go, please, and then you um, guys can. Nothing's wrong with your body, but you can always level up. Man, you have to realize. You know, you may be not that cute, but what you can control is your hygiene. I'm not saying that you're not that cute. I'm just saying men in general. No, just the same with your chest. Your go hygiene and in the gym. You know what I'm saying. Bathe and stuff like that, and then go to the gym, like, Bathe. and um, put deodorant underneath your arm. Then you know, if you smell the part and you look like it's bathed uh, and you have a nice body, you're halfway through. Bro, okay. this, this self is okay. Go ahead, go ahead, uh, Red. What's your? Why'd you say no? I said no because number one, I don't like Caucasian men. Okay, fair enough. Um, number two, uh, he gives me kind of like bisexual slash gay vibes and i don't mm. mess with men that have been in other men uh don't worry there's i, I would i would uh, go Yo. ahead and say that 98 percent of women will agree with you they just yeah. won't be honest about it so thank you for being real about it. uh <laughs> what about you you, you said it though mm. uh -huh. yeah i also don't like caucasian men so that's a no um and you're very pale i don't know if that's because naturally or like you haven't been in the sun nice um but try it try try he looks like some... he gets red she said try it get in the sun um, I, I will say this too guys for the guys out here um overwhelmingly when african-american women are asked what they prefer they overwhelmingly prefer yeah. african-american men so don't don't take it like oh fuck this fucked Perfect. up like just understand that black women are typically going to want black men but even hispanic men too because it's just the melanin you know like it's pretty to have on the skin. Are you mixed? No, I'm Hispanic. Completely. Oh, you're Hispanic. No, no, I'm talking about black women. Okay. Cause, cause no, no, Hispanic. yeah, but I know black women <laughs> yeah. who like Hispanic. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean some, but like if you reason. if you poll a hundred of them, there ninety of them are gonna say I prefer black men. Prefer. It's overwhelmingly yeah, prefer. That's what I'm saying. 
Um, and the mm-hmm. flashiness is very much a turn off. Don't mm-hmm. know, like we know sh- those type of shoes are expensive. You don't have to put the receipt in there. That's so lame. Um, <laughs> and then okay, so I will make say this very last picture that he has on there. That's the best picture. Is the best picture, but it's from 2017. So in that other picture at the beach, like what happened? Is that your son? He lost a muscle mouse. He he stopped going to the gym. That's your son. All right. Uh, Shotty. For me, um, it screams I'm trying too hard to be credible. Even with the receipt with the shoe, like that was a little overboard. I, I love shoes though. I will say that like you have exquisite taste. That's awesome. Um, Again, I think you should just take off some of the stuff that's like too flashy, like she mentioned. It's it's, it's a bit much. It's it's kind of cringe. Okay. Yeah. He looked like he buy pussy dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, like, finally you said the truth about something. Uh, like I'm and looking at it and it's okay. coming to me. Like it's How just. Many he has a lot, 114k. But even with real? that shit, no. like, I don't no. know what. How many likes he got on his post right now? <laughs> yeah, they don't seem like they're real though. They're not. They're bought. I mean, they're still up there. But I, I he mean, bought those shoes and posted the receipt. Might as well buy followers too. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I, I'm just giving you guys a glimpse of uh, what you would see in a uh, in a female chat. You know, and they talk Dude. to each other and share. Oh, they're, yeah. gonna, they're gonna be sharing your Instagram, <laughs> laughing at you in in the fucking girl this chat. This is bro. murder, man. Uh, okay, what about what's your take on it? Um. Yeah, it's a pass for me because clearly he likes to flash Thank you. his money. So uh, that's just not my type. Um, and then like, yeah, the last picture is the cutest picture. So it's like, your face changed? What's going on? It's confused. His muscle mass changed. Like he uh, go to the gym and he looked like he stopped. You could tell he lost a lot of... Fresh, what's your critique? Bro, man. Okay, so <laughs> if you're trying to stunt, bro, or flex, you're doing this the wrong way. Totally. Yeah. And... The receipt thing, bro. I could let, bro. That should have me dead, dog. You mess, yo. You funny, dog. Yo, real talk. I go shopping all the time, right? Nigga, who shows receipts, bro? That's that's it's OD. That being said, though, you got some swag with you, bro. Use it correctly, and definitely with your pictures, bro. Your face, uh, is kind of uh, how to put this, not the best for headshots. So either turn to the side or do like a side smirk because obviously speaking, like. Maybe you're not that. You're, you're not can, photogenic. You're not yeah, photogenic. Yeah, which is fine. Most people are. I'm probably not either for the most part. But that being damn, said, just though, tell me ugly. Nigga. I'm just damn. To say. What the fuck? Like, just tell no, me no, ugly. No, no. By the way, ugly. ugly <laughs> I want to say this though. Ugly niggas are winning. Yeah, yeah. You can still get chicks as but, ugly, dude. Say, but, no car note cash. But that being right. said, you're trying too hard to flex, bro. And everyone can feel it here. The energy is weird, so it comes off as try hard and too needy, and that's turn off. Now, obviously, bro, you probably bought some followers, which is fine. It's not a bad thing, but you bought too many. <laughs> Because this doesn't match up with you, it's not congruent, and you're trying too hard. Especially for profile, once again, bro, gotta change that. <laughs> In a car, bro, you need a whole revamp this this page, bro. You should have got our course, real talk, and yeah, bro, it's tough right now. Yeah, um, my only, I, I three things, bro. Number one, discovery trumps disclosure. Showing out too much is not going to help you. Putting out the receipts and all that is too much, bro. Number two, you need to get a better shape. Uh, you know, y- y- yeah, y- you need to get a better shape. It's very clear that you've been slacking in the gym. Me too. And then number three, you need a tan. All right. So uh, that's what I would say. Um, but yeah, dude. And, and then also, get, you need to go take professional photos. These pictures are all awful. I would get yeah. rid of all of them and get hire a photographer and take professional photos. All these gar- pictures are fucking garbage. So those are my four critiques. What's that? What's that into Zoom? It's a, a cell phone. It's it's a note. Okay. Oh. Probably. Oh, and you're using Droid. I would not flex that. Oh, child. Bro, I would not. Green messages? <laughs> right. Green messages? Yo, yo, hold on, hold on. Stop yo. the show. You guys think we fucking make shit up. We did a video on YouTube. 2020. Last year. Last year. We said, guys, if you want to be the most attractive to women, I hate to admit this, but you need an iPhone. You need an iPhone. I got so many hate comments. Bro, what the fuck? We need to do all that. Sense is superior. It's a good better phone. Listen, motherfuckers. I don't know why you guys get mad at me for telling you the truth. Y'all heard it just now. They they, they heard droid. They heard droid. What they say? Oh, great droid messages. Uh, da, da. They're like, nah. Like, fuck that, guys. I don't make the rules. I report them. Report Even if you got a fucking Android and it's up. And I've said it before. Androids are better phones than iPhones. They really are. They're better quality. Mm-hmm. They, their their technology is always like a year a, a generation ahead. They're superior devices to iPhones. But guess what, motherfuckers? Perception is reality. And since iPhones are more expensive, they have higher um, class, so to speak. If you credit credibility, you want to say some more social proof. If you text a girl, she sees green messages. 
She's going to assume you're messaging her from oh a trap phone. Oh you can't boy. afford a cricket phone. <laughs> yeah, bro, Even though your phone might be better than hers, more expensive than hers. Or a scammer. She don't know that. Like, my picture is better than yours, though. Shout okay. to, shout to Nick but Hoyt in the chat, too, <laughs> from Barbados. Shout to Nick Hoyt. Um, <laughs> nah, bro, like, real talk. Got, iPhones, we got so much backlash iPhones, for that. Like, can, I was like, you can FaceTime. That's powerful, Right, yeah, man. FaceTime yeah, is everything. Really and like, you got WhatsApp. It's just kind of weird. Like, yo, read receipts from text. FaceTime is much easier. You look normal. If you're not with Android, no, so if you were to, if you were with Android, no, it is kind of like, bro, are you scamming people? Like, I don't know what you what you're like, about to do. Like, here's the thing, guys. I want to make this perfectly crystal fucking clear. You don't need an iPhone to get girls. You don't. But what I will say is, when you message a girl and she sees green bubbles, it's gonna create some spe- skepticism, and you might lose the box because, like I told y'all before, women look to disqualify you while men look to qualify women. I need mm-hmm. you guys to under get this through it's your true. fucking heads. That girls are o- always looking for a reason to flake on you, to not go on a date with you, to kick you to the curb because they have so many options. So they got to weed out all the leads, man. So an Android is going to hurt you with most girls, bro. Like it is what it is. That's just the truth. She's going to assume the worst when she sees those green messages come in. She's going to think you haven't paid your phone bill. You're <laughs> fucking using a cricket, whatever it is, man. So yeah, shout out to the iPhone gang. About to get iPhone 13 too. <laughs> yeah. Because got to, man. Got yeah. to. Yeah. All right. It, get the Android, but just I just want you guys to know what comes with that. You know what I'm saying? It is a better phone, but. You know. All, All right, right yeah, last one. one. one though. This is our this is our boy uh the real uh D, D Stunner. Stunner. Okay. Um oh, oh. all right, so let's uh let's scroll down on this one. God is dope. Hmm. Oh, man. Reserve it, reserve it, reserve it. <laughs> Why she All right. All right. So uh ladies, close the eyes. Uh and we're going to count to three. Remember one finger Sorry, for can you smash. Back up a little bit. Let me see the bio, please. Okay. Right, I missed that. Okay. One All for right. smash, two for pass. On three. Eyes close. Eyes close. Eyes close. Come on, ladies. Eyes close, please. Focus. Uh, one, two, three. Throw them up. 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 Okay, we got two smashes and three passes. All right, cool. Let's start with the smashes first. Um, Miss Bombs. Okay, I think he's attractive. I find him attractive. Okay. I like his body and it's very nice. It tells that he took time in the gym. Okay. And his bio is straightforward. It tells you what he does. Mm-hmm. It also shows that he's an adve- adventurous. He does many things. It also shows him with his friends. Okay. Um, And I like the God is Dope t-shirt because mm-hmm. I take my faith very seriously. So right. that's a good one for me. Shawty, why'd you say smash? I fuck with you, but... You need to keep your beard. <laughs> oh, facts. I like the beard. Like for real, for real, keep that. Um, <laughs> I like the the variety on your page. It shows what you do. Um, you care about yourself. You look like a person of standard. Um, I I, I like your energy off your page. At least you get me. It gives a good impression. So I don't want to be an asshole. Yeah. Earlier she said she, the guy was bald and she didn't want him. This guy's no, bald too. But it yeah, but this one looks bald. better. But uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm gonna because you're I, like I said. Some dudes could pull off the bald look. I don't care if you're bald. Some guys go, my daddy bald. How about that? <laughs> you always smash your dad. Like, yeah, no, but I'm example. saying, okay. <laughs> you know how? Oh, okay, certain men will look for women with qualities similar to their mom. Believe it or not. So mm-hmm. with girls, like I'm not gonna say a full on appearance, mm-hmm. but maybe some characteristics yep. are gonna be drawn as similar. So the, okay, the point I'm trying to you make, you look like you about to crack me right now. No, nah, just because, 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 what you got on your mind? Cause, 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 uh, you on your mind? <laughs> it, it's just that um, the 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 takeaway here, guys, is that girls are gonna make rules for certain guys and break them for others, man. And like, even though this guy breaks the technically the bald rule, uh, he has other things that redeem that baldness, right? We could see some lifestyle here, whatever. But okay. So yeah, he looks like he ranges between shadow and bald. And, yeah, yeah. But but it's a little bit of hair. Other dude, it was it was something. I can't I can't put my finger on it. I was like, it, it was, was shiny bald. It That's was what it the was. Shiny bald. Okay. Yes. All right, so let's. Like, uh, I'll cool. reserve my opinion uh, at the end. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, well, what about you? What's What's your? You said pass. Why pass? Why pass? I'm gonna stick to my word. He's bald and and, <laughs> and I'm standing on it. Um, but I want you to, I just don't want you to feel bad about it. I just okay. don't like just, just, guys. T- 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 um, just but, tell them it's trash, tell them the truth, whatever, if, whatever you want to say. I'm starting to almost feel like there may be a reason why he um has hair loss, yeah. but still to okay. I still wouldn't unfortunately accept well, it. Well, when I uh, passed by this picture, so one side, so I think it was this one right here. Let me see right here. Yeah, I said, Oh god, because now I'm gonna Wait feel 
bad. See, I knew oh, it. I, yeah. knew it. See, I knew something. Uh, yeah, I knew it. And then, and, you know, it's unfortunate that you go through those things. And I'm very happy that you're alive. And God yes. is definitely dope. God bless your life. Mm-hmm. But there you go. Just, Survivor. You know, I mean, it's just not my too. Yeah, girls. But you look really great. About that, just yeah. not for me. Okay. Okay. Uh, th- I mean, this, yeah. Man, okay, good. Continue. And I don't want to say my opinion. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I said pass because I don't know. He gives me dad vibes, and any man that I look at and he gives me dad vibes, I can't do it. Okay, fair enough. Um, I don't know. It's like just something about his page. Like it made me hot and cold. Like someone was like, okay, and the others I was like, nah. And it's like it wasn't beat. consistent for me. Like something I don't know. I guess it's the way he changes his look, or it just was enough. For me. Translation: Your profile is not congruent, my friend. Because there's, I get what she's saying. There's some pictures that put you in a very, uh, it makes you look like, you know, dominant and, and, and very masculine. And then you have some mm-hmm. other pictures that, for I'll give you an example right now. Go back, Chris. That one right there of you like dancing on TikTok, that makes you look stupid. I ain't gonna lie. Right? Like, I don't know what, the, what is this? Oh, no, baby. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Oh, like, God. Oh, that's no. a repost. Yeah. That's a repost. Yeah. It's a, is that I, him? I get that, yeah, but like, him. it's no. not, it's not congruent to like, it's not congruent to the other stuff. I mean, this is funny. Ha ha ha. You know what I'm saying? But like compared to the other pictures you had on, it, it, it's just not congruent to the profile. That's what she means when she says it's hot. Like, and cold. see, like, like that that's beach just one, one example. The beach one with the hat. I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, after that, I'm like, oh, never yeah. mind. So like, uh, <laughs> my critiques on this one, man, pretty simple. You got some really good pictures here. Uh, you need to condense it down. You need to just pick, you know, the top ones. Uh, and uh, and um, I would get rid of that TikTok dancing one because you you, you want to make your profile congruent to like one type of thing. You know what I'm saying? When you meet her in person, then you you know you want you want to take her out to a club and you dance and have some humor. That's one thing. But like, you know, I would just stand on one theme for the page. Keep it nice and simple. Don't confuse the girl. And uh, yeah, you you're a good shape. Showcase that. Put like maybe one or two shirtless pictures nothing too crazy or not nothing like where you're like doing a bathroom selfie like nah bro it should be you on the beach looking natural like that the one that she pointed out before why what is she you were able to show your physique and it won't, wasn't socially awkward because it makes sense that you want to be on a beach with your shirt off you know what i'm saying uh versus like this bathroom selfie here i get it fitness progress but you're not a trainer bro you're not trying to recruit people to to uh to train them he's a sports brand manager manager also bro the the post where you're not in the picture or just like a meme or like a a political topic get us out of your profile yeah. bro like that's gonna create like disparity right there and then real talk uh, wait, how many posts does he have in total a uh, lot Chris? i think like 80 there was See, one other thing i was gonna say i didn't get to less finish. is more man oh yeah, dang, sorry, he has yeah the la- last thing i was gonna say was even though it's cool uh, it's uh, yo power to you bro you beat cancer i wouldn't put it on my instagram uh, I, w- I wouldn't put it there uh, uh, if you want to yeah. create the most attractive uh profile and it goes to the rule that we tell you guys on this podcast all the time Women don't give a fuck about your struggles. They just hang out and fuck the guys at the finish line, bro. You can tell her that if when you meet or you talk mm-hmm. about, you know, a personal story of yours, but you don't want something like that out there for the for um for everybody to see because what I want you to see like when she um was critiquing you, she didn't want to go all the way because she felt bad, right? She felt bad for you. And mm-hmm. the thing is, guys, you never want to be in a position where a woman feels bad for you. I don't give Sympathy. a fuck if you were sick or you know, maybe a mother, your someone in your family passed away, whatever. You don't want a woman that doesn't know you to ever feel bad for you because she can't feel bad for you and have arousal for you. I'm going to say that one more time for y'all. A girl can't feel bad for you and also be aroused by you. OK, so you want to limit things that kill arousal. And unfortunately, putting yourself in a vulnerable state, you know, makes you less attractive to women. You know what I'm saying? I, like, like I said, it's awesome that you beat cancer. But save it for the date when you meet her in person and talk to her. Don't put it out there for everybody to see here and let you be able to control that narrative and tell it if the girl is worthy of hearing that kind of story from yes. you. Yes. A pity yes. party. So, but yeah, That's good nice. bio for 100% sure. Yeah. Uh, posts, way too many posts, 20 to 50 posts max. Less is always more. Five highlights to max, and then you should be good to go from there. Yeah. And the highlights, can I give a tip too? Uh, yeah. And then one last thing I was going to say you could, and like just, I just know this, guys, there's pros and cons. If you know, if you put a vulnerable photo of yourself out there, you could do it. It's fine, but just understand that you're gonna uh, girls are gonna lose attraction to you for it because women don't want a man that's that's vulnerable, bro. Especially like on a first date, whatever. That's something she's got to earn. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's, and in doses, women want to be with a guy that's strong, powerful, that seems impervious. You know what I'm saying? And that that's what you want to portray when you deal with women. Sorry, go ahead, Red. Yes. So how he mentioned the highlights, there were a lot of highlights. Five max. You should make it per topic so right now it's just straight travel you should make one big highlight for travel one big highlight for food one big highlight for gym whatever 
But anyways, yeah. Guys, guys, we dropped a lot of game for y'all, man. Lot, Please, man. free game. Like the, the video, man. Like, uh, it's trust me, guys. Like, you know, I know it's painful. Like, you know, I talked a lot of shit, whatever it is. But we just want y'all to win, bro. Because, um, you know, society likes to men. Uh, hey, man. Here's a real, real deal, holy feel. Yeah. Uh, you got one more. That's it. No, that's it. Cool. Uh, I think there's okay. no, two more. Super chats. Uh, we have the, the, the one left. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. One more. Last one here. Okay. Uh, bullying with G Maso. Uh, and then and thanks, for, uh, thanks, guys, for being super uh, good yeah. sports and uh, uh, you know putting the stuff up. We're we're, getting, we're yeah we're really getting it's better the to hear it now. Can, yeah, if it goes goes to diss you off, you don't know why they diss you off or left you on scene. But to understand now why this might be happening, improve your your page. That way you get better results. And over time, you work on your page, you get better with networking, girls, whatever business. To fix a problem, you got to know the problem, guys. Yep. You know right. what I'm saying? Let's mm. go. Okay. Uh, let's a see. underscore Jamasio. Okay. Huh? Cool. Okay. Just hold on. All right, we're done. Okay, scroll back up. Okay. All right, ladies. Uh, I'm gonna count to three. Uh, let's show them the top of the profile so you can see the bio and stuff. Okay. Um, ladies, we're gonna count to three, and I want you guys to give us either the one for smash or the two for pass. <laughs> Look at her putting on her glasses. I know. Can we scroll down one more can time? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, just yeah. not sure. <laughs> Can we open up that yeah. 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 With the <laughs> monkey and the bird. Let me stop. <laughs> okay. So, ladies, on three. Close the eyes. One, two, three. Throw them up, throw them up, throw them up, throw them up. Okay, we got... Uh, Three, Three smashes, smashes and two, and two passes. passes. All right, cool. Uh, let's start with the smashes on this one. This is the first time that we got uh, over uh, winning on uh, the smashing. Uh, <laughs> You're why smashable. Smash? Uh, I like, I like what he's doing. I mean, I, I get the kind of. Oh, I'm not gonna say vibe because you came at me last time when I said vibe, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. It's fine. You speak the womanese. It's fine. I get the vibe that he's like trying to, you know be the change i don't know i i'm reading too deeply into this but be the change no, in the world that, that we, he put that in his bio really? about change or something like that it was growing every day that's well, what i got yeah some yeah yeah but yeah and he's cute okay cool <laughs> who else give uh you gave a smash too right mm -hmm. yeah why a smash for you yeah Finally. he's I know, right? And then he likes skin, and that's right. Weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, but that um <laughs> no no really you are very cute um and you're not that skinny, but you are slim. Mm -hmm. Um, but like, you know, you can work with it. I yeah, do feel arms, like merch. yeah. And I, I like this type of, you know, vibe or energy that you are giving off from your page. It, it's nice. I I would, you know, I would answer your DM. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And you gave um, a smash as well. <laughs> yeah. His his page is just like it works for me. Like it shows me that he can dress up. Seems mm -hmm. like he's fun. Like, you know, he is cute. Um, you know, he got a little business suit on and the, the bottom. Right, very versatile. Like, he looks like, you know, he smiles. I just like him. Oh, like he's it. spiritual. Okay. That's what it means. <laughs> right. Yeah. That makes sense. Spiritual. That's why we that makes sense. Yo. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. But, okay, so now let's hear the, uh, the, the passes. Fails. Passes. Yeah. Car uh, Shardy, why'd you give him a pass? So, like, his current hairdo for me ain't it. Like uh, which one exactly? The most recent photo. It looks like he got. Oh, uh, the twisties. Yeah, the wigs. The, twist, the, the wigs the right now. Whatever. Oh, braids. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, they braided. Like, well, the first time I saw it wasn't as appreciative. But like, <laughs> I'm gonna be real. You're. I feel like the best hairstyle on you for me is where it's a small blowout. Which, if you go down, I think it's in black and white type of thing. Okay. No. 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 no, 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 no. 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 Right there. Right there. Right oh, there. Oh yeah. Where's winter vibes? Drake comeback season vibes? Like. <laughs> I'm fucking not with that. that. I actually like all his hairstyles. I think he's okay. Mm, I think yeah. that's okay. He has a face that he can pull it's off. It's a mid blowout off. for me. Okay. It's a pretty face. That's She's a like mid blowout. Like that nigga and he got nice hair. lips, but nice. Nah, <laughs> She's from New York. That's what they... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. taper. It's a taper. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and um, who's up? Uh, yeah. I don't find him attractive. And okay. the hairstyles, I don't like the braids on him. I don't like the twists on him. Okay, Chief Keef. And um, <laughs> I prefer like the cut with that blue top, like for hair. But I feel like it's just all over the place. Oh, I don't like his hair like that. I like it like that. I don't the like. The, I don't like the cornrows. I don't like the twists, and I just don't find them attractive. Man, so, I know. And, and we're gonna. I'll keep it all the way one thousand. Most women do not like yeah. cornrows and twisties and all that other stuff as well. They don't. You got. You got a good uh, page, bro. 
Mm-hmm. Hey, you can't please everybody. Yeah, that being yeah, said, though, can't. the bio is uh, kind of long. Uh, the picture of a profile is pretty dope, bro. I would just turn it so it's like at least on a, yeah, a slight like, the other way or straight. You want a good headshot, bro. Yeah. Your, your profile picture like that on Instagram should be a, 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 and, a good face shot. And zoom in as well. And then uh, the picture's here. Uh, what is that? Jelani what is Day. Yeah, I would, I would get Say his that. name. What oh. is it? The guy that, um, he's what missing. is that? Huh? Oh, he's missing? Yeah. Okay. That can go on your highlight. No, no, that, that no, can go on your story, no, bro. No, 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 no. Your story. Yeah. Uh, sorry to say, bro, unless that's family to you, I would really post it. And if you post it, delete it. After it's not, oh, look, I get it. If he's missing, he's, he's supported to you 100%. I understand why you did it. But appealing wise, eh, t- after he's phone, take it off, please. That's just um, awesome. Thank you for caring, though. Yeah, no, yeah. That, that's, that's actually really nice. cool, cool on your part. Uh, other than that, bro, good pictures that you travel. Uh, the the monkey, the pirate, awesome. Good job there. Yeah, I would just say uh, you got 20 posts, 50 max. Um, the bio's a little bit wordy. Could probably break it down a little bit more. And, you're, and for now, you're pretty much good. He's good like 19, that's oh, my age. And then so. no, no uh, punctuation in your actual name. So you oh. got A underscore. Try to get at least like a full name that's your name, bro. I know it may be kind of hard now because of Instagram everyone's on there, but try to have take out punctuations out of your name on this Instagram. Man, 17. Why? Um, 17? Why? Oh man. Oh my god, he's 17. Oh, hey, like, girl, go to jail. Face 17? <laughs> 17? <laughs> his face doesn't look 17. He graduated no in 21. She said his face. Uh, There's no No, way. that's college. Yeah. Oh, he started. I got yeah, he, he, Oh, it do say AMU 21. 21. Okay. Oh, no, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just, yeah, yeah, just like a fraternity too. Or yeah. He's yeah. in a fraternity. Yeah, he's he's he, he's young, man. So, all right, uh, bro. Uh, here's the thing, man. Pause. You're a very good looking guy. Use it to your advantage. Get professional pictures. Uh, mm-hmm. with uh, with, uh dressed uh, dress well. You know, cleaning up, and you'll be fine, dude. You know, th- this is uh, this th- 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 your biggest weakness here is that. Your pictures stu- suck, but you're a good-looking guy. Pause. That's so. That's what got you by. So, yeah. so if you take good professional pictures, uh, with with the uh, you know with your looks, you're gonna do really well. All right, and cool. get in the gym. Get in the gym. It never hurts you to get in the shape. You're a little thin. Richard Hart official. Oh, uh, is this the <laughs> hex guy? Yeah, I believe okay, so. Okay, this is the uh, this is the guy that uh yeah. you know. All right. He said that. Well, what is going on? What is going? Yeah, on? I said, what is going on? <laughs> I want to know. He's he paid y'all to do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Uh, let Chris, um, let, let's scroll through the profile. Oh, like, oh, so, oh that's, that's all those pictures. Yeah, okay, that's it. and then scroll up to the top so they can see the bio. Okay. Is he a designer? No, uh, he's in. Inve- inve- he's a hex coin. Uh, crypto, crypto, crypto investor. Charity. So, yeah, there's not much here to uh, go off of. Does well financially. Yeah. Uh, you put that in the thing. Okay. So, uh, all right. So, ladies, we're gonna go uh, on three. Close the eyes. Um. On three, we're going to, you know, same thing. Smash or pass. One, two, three. Throw them up, throw them up, throw them up. Okay, we got Universal 2s, a.k.a. <laughs> but there's no piece for you, my it's friend. It's the Willy Wonka hat for me. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> 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 you, you off, go ahead. Go ahead. No, but I'm, give, I'm, give, no, give it to him. Go ahead. I'm just trying here. to figure out, what was he doing this day? Like, honey. What is she and then the jacket. Oh, Lord. I just, it's, Guys, I like know. the video. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I just, it was just, everything was a now. Okay, real quick, guys. I'm looking right now, we got two. We got 2,700 of you guys watching us on YouTube. Uh, so, guys, I need you guys to like the video, man. Get us to at least 2,600 likes, man. Just 100 more likes. That just so that we can keep keep the engagement high. Like I said, we were off YouTube for about a week. Being in LA hurts us a little bit in the algo. So, uh, do us that. Two things I'm asking: like the video, comment below for the algo. Help us get back up. So at the top of that recommended feed, because you know we bring you guys a lot of value, man. Ain't nobody going at two thirty in the morning helping y'all get laid on Instagram, man. We doing it's, it, man. It's just a brand new Instagram page. Oh, and then like the worst part is like you got money, but you you don't got style. Like you can sh- you have enough money to get style. Figure that shit out. Please. Check the last. Okay. Shotty, what's your opinion? Order. Yeah, four days ago. Yeah, this is brand new, brother. Oh. That's why. Makes sense. Okay, makes sense. Um, okay, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Well, for me again, like that whole posting the brands repetitively like that shit is so cringe to me like it's cool in some ways like subtle ways but like where you literally want it to be the main focus of the post like almost gloating in a way i'm like eh. I, mean, that's his best I think the third picture is very um classy james mm-hmm. bond in a way that mm-hmm. first picture i'm looking like yo son you just left where you Willy going where you going <laughs> <Casting, laughs> like i don't know going like that. that's some fresh ass gucci like i fuck with it maybe i would have styled it a little different no, but this background i'm i'm not sure i don't know i don't know i'm just not sure your profile the congruency <laughs> isn't there like okay 
I don't know. Just confused vibes. You gonna nurse this man back to health? Mm, no, no. <laughs> but, um, so, no. what I will say, a few things. So, one, um, you give do, you, yeah. you give off sugar daddy vibes, Ooh, and if that's what oh, you're looking myself. for, I did put a pass. But if you are looking for a sugar baby, I will answer your DM. We can come to an arrangement. That's one. Two. Also, <laughs> keeping it raw. I love it. Go ahead. No, but going. also, also, I don't, for some reason, you don't seem very credible to me. I don't. I'm not sure if you're even a real person because you have right. you have um, 3,600 followers, five posts that are from five days ago, and you're talking about you know Bitcoin and all that stuff in your yeah. bio. And sometimes, yeah. like, oh, you, it's Sony real Baker's. scammy. Mm-hmm. Scammer. Like yeah. you know. You we that's not you. I'm starting to think you sold somebody. Pictures. I mean, he got a website. A girl. Did we it could be it? someone else. Yeah, did I don't know. It's just it's just a little suspect to me. But it might. No, be No, she true. keeping it all the way one thousand, bro. You guys got to remember, most women don't even know what the fuck Ooh. cryptocurrency is, bro. You like they they're going to think like is it? They, they're going to think you're a scammer off rip. You know what we didn't check? What the tag. Oh, oh, what they're tagged in? The tag that is always in. That is very yes. important. Yeah. What? Now, you guys see how you see you see That's how scam. the rabbit hole, far the rabbit hole goes, guys. When girls investigate, <laughs> that is very yeah. true. Mutual following. You guys are learning a lot, man. Take your notes, guys. Take your guys. You guys. All this is covered in the course, man. Yeah. You got deals on it, man. You should be a killer right now. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, red. Oh. Yeah, red. Um, go ahead. What's your take on this? Um, c- Caucasian. I don't do and. Okay. But still goes the same, she said, with the sugar daddy. You know, we will <laughs> come to an agreement. Just let me know. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you for being honest about that. Uh, um, get all the, the page pics. is all over the <laughs> exactly. place. Are you going to tell him whatever? <laughs> Sorry? Are you going to tell, tell him whatever? Tell him whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to get you real pissed when you send that money to my account. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you whatever 50 times, baby. Just send me the money. Um, No, just playing. Um, no, it's all over the place. Like, the third picture is the one. Like, if yeah. you're trying mm-hmm. to go for that, you need to make that? the yeah. whole page okay. about that. Since you have the little Bitcoin thing going on or whatever, you need to make it seem like you actually get money for real or whatever. But I can say that you're too old for me, baby. Okay. You're too old for me. So uh, this is a new profile. Um, if this is really you, really you, brother, or it's this scam. Is something yeah. that's real, I would say... You need some more posts, definitely. Uh, secondly, yeah. you do give off sugar daddy advice 100%. Like, if that's what you want, brother, you just give it to them right in their face. Yeah. And then, thirdly, uh, regarding your post, um, posting designer is cool, bro, but you got to match it, style it a certain way right. yeah. to yes, give off certain please. effects. Because, like, right. listen, you just bought the, the, the whole like tracksuit. You know, even thinking about like, okay, does it match with this shirt, this pants? So, it's, I would say it's too ostentatious, bro. Yeah. Way yeah. too ostentatious. And then, last thing though, uh, with this page, I don't, I don't know how to say this. Your bio, bro, is like a freaking autobiography. It's this like run-on sentences of billion crypto hex. What? It's a fake page. Like, 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 yeah, it's, it's too much. Like, you gotta break it down. Yeah, you losing kind of chunks. Like yeah. each layer of four, at least four layers. So it nice. is too much to handle, bro. If all your people, uh, that's cool and all, but like, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's just uh it's cheesy you need to improve your uh your your uh your personal um your personal <laughs> care you're not in shape you're fat you know what i'm saying you're fat i'm just gonna keep it all the way 1000 uh th- the way you styled yourself is very obvious that that's not normally how you, you just got into fashion or something like that because right. it's not styled correctly and then the fact that you put clothes randomly in your in your instagram is just it's just cheesy man it's just tacky like it, it's screams of a guy that just found out about gucci like a week ago and is like oh this is the shit all right i'm just gonna buy everything yeah. in it yeah. give me it all to do it yeah give me it all <laughs> no. you know walk in saxon avenue give me it all and then the other thing too that's more alarming my friend is that and i'm really happy that the girls admitted this is that you my friend are fucking prey okay <laughs> a lot of girls are gonna look at this profile or look at you and be there we talked about this earlier you know uh they're gonna look at you and say hey Take me shopping, motherfucker. And they have zero intention of smashing Take you. Me so so um, that's that's what you portray. And here's the thing. If you want to trick and pay for box, that's fine. But I'm assuming since you watch our podcast, you, you're not trying to pay for sex. So um, oh, see, so, yeah. I don't think that's really him. Because this, this guy's supposed to be a billionaire. Girl. And a yeah. billionaire on that level, that should be his page. Yeah. So I, that's I, that's you got to remember, bro. Like He might be older, not aware of social media. Like no. Somebody would have told him by now. A bro. billionaire yeah. would be having he more suit it, pictures. That can't be him. Um, it, 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 that's him. I'll be mm, no. shocked. We're we're, we're if it's you, 
I, I, I think you guys are underestimating how bad so many guys are like taking proper photos, bro. Okay. And and like and like styling their Instagram in a certain way. It's a, it's a very small percentage of men that actually know how to Dude, use Instagram. A billionaire doesn't give a shit about Instagram. So to me, they'll hire someone I, else to do it. I, that's I, what I think I was that's just not him because if I was a billionaire, bro, hey, made it call for me. Yeah, do do this for me. Exactly. I'm, not, I'm not doing that shit. Maintain so if he's a billionaire, I hire that's somebody that's, a, that's an idiot, bro. We probably hire somebody to do that shit. They nah, bro. Nah, no. you know what, bro? I'll the tell you that is the first picture. The Willy Wonka, bro. You got all that money. Hire first to do your shit for you, bro. Real talk. You got all that money. Look, everybody's trying to please. use you, bro. You better get it together. Yeah. <laughs> the niggas trying to use you. This, this shit right here. The girls are looking at you Yo. like, oh, snack time. Like, we gonna, we gonna clean but this no, but we help, out. We, we help a lot of celebrities behind the scenes with their page. Because, like, once you get done packed, you understand how Instagram works, then you can use it to your advantage. Yeah. But guys only really have that, like, knowledge. So, hey, you know what? These pictures, these it's videos. A, it's a very touchy. Like, 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 real talk, bro. Okay, you know what? Here's the equivalent. Your fo- profile is, like, a girl... That's like a porn star having like just nothing but like sexual photos of herself, and she can't get a guy to like send her a DM that's respectful. Mm. Your profile screams the same exact thing. Women aren't gonna respect you. They're gonna try to finesse you out of your money without giving you what they want. Same thing with the girl that has sexual pictures of herself on the internet. She she ain't gonna get a date or anyone to take her seriously for a, for a romance. They're gonna only want to smash and pass. That's the same exact thing on your side with the men. So uh yeah bro you, you definitely it needs some work i would man you got that kind of money hire first to, to run your shit for you bro because that shit is trash you need help um cool other cool. than that uh ladies, last thoughts on the show last thoughts on the show two um uh, chats oh okay uh J- greatly appreciate the upfront uh cc for sure going to grow from here okay thank you so much I, you 88 and then the plug recruiter i know niggas is doing last minute bio edits yeah. 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 what's up <laughs> y'all got free game from these uh super chats that came in so shout out to y'all man yeah okay last thoughts on the show um today was cool you know i hope you guys learned from the um instagram stuff so fix your stuff or whatever and uh check out my ig cool what's and it's below what's what is it instagram? uh it's nobody in my lane i have a movie coming out soon so you know check it out cool nice cool uh all, her uh, instagram is below guys feel free to check it out i loved this um interaction i thought it was a really dope episode and um i would love to see you guys um, judge girls' profile the same way we did for men Ooh. because I even saw people, you know, kind of like mention it, like almost like backfiring on us, like we, we were too harsh. So I, I, I don't mind. I want all this. No, I told like, them to be. You, I, t- no, no, I, I had to push them to be harsh, guys. I told them to do it. So if anything, just shit on me, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, but I loved it all the time. You got to have thick skin, me. man. Like, guys, like, I, I'd rather you guys hate me and get better than fucking continue to walk through the world, you know, blind and not knowing like what girls are looking for on Instagram. Instagram. And yeah, the guys curve. will still smash girls even though their profile is trash. Facts. So it's like Facts. it's it's no point of writing it's, it's, it's a girl's profile. Point, yeah. It's, it's no point, point, honestly. Oh, but she didn't mean by like smash a pass. Oh, like, like, like take her seriously guys... for a date. Maybe take her take her seriously, then yeah, we could do that for sure. Yeah, you I could look, look at a girl's Instagram and be like, no, she definitely uh she belongs to the streets. For sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, tonight was very fun. It was a very fun episode. I definitely hope y'all learned a lot because y'all needed to hear it. Um but yeah, it was really fun. Great conversations. And then Chinesa uh, Sugar Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> that part. <laughs> I need another one. Oh, oh man. Okay. Another one. Multiple streams. And another of one. Okay. And another <laughs> one. And another one. And another one. DJ Khaled. And another one. Okay. Um, thank you so much for having me back. It's good again. to have you back. Thank you for being honest. Yeah. You, actually, you're like, you've like uh, grown yes, up yes. Like, uh, from being on the show. That's exactly what I was going to say. The last time I was here, I was very shy and timid and I didn't know how to express myself as well. And I was not aware. Of- oh, you still suck at it, but. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, no, actually, you're correct. But better than anyways, last time. Better than last time. Definitely. You're but, growing every day. But yeah. And seeing the industry and how men act, I was a lot less surprised of what I was oh. hearing. And, you know, yeah, it makes as a sense. model, d- d- would you say that as, as a model, you know, you're dealing with men all the time and guys, you know, try to have ulterior right. motives when they fuck with you. Did it prepare, prepare you or like when you saw shit happen, you're like, you know what? Yeah, they're right. Like, it's this is reality. And you okay, need to like awesome. just twitch that little bit of your brain oh. that over is overruled by emotion that, that makes me ha- bro real talk like that that's awesome like when a girl comes on a panel like i didn't get finessed or like hey i was able it sucks for the guys kind of but like hey if girls listen to this podcast you are going to get a lot of free game because men are very rarely honest about this stuff so yeah you know hopefully we can help y'all ladies right. get married or get a boyfriend or whatever we've had a, helped a lot of relationships but uh real that's quick. good now you know how to maneuver better said for yeah. says it's not his real account i've watched his uh live stream he's a billionaire he created hex coin 
That's not his real. That's not his real IG. Oh, so someone so, so they paid fifty dollars for us to look at somebody else's page. Why did you do that? Yeah. Scamming because money. scamming. Okay. Oh new rock stars. We subscribe to new rock stars. Oh, uh, three point two million subs. God damn, y'all niggas popping. Is, is this a video game channel? What is it? I'm confused. Uh, they. I guess they do reviews of like uh, Marvel. Or oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I see the okay. So oh, yeah, man. Awesome, man. We've stumbled upon to outside of YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> this is the other. Welcome <laughs> to the <laughs> Nether Realm. Welcome to the fucking the Nether Dark Realm. Side of uh, this is the side where dating. no one comes over to the Shadow Band. Literally, you're in the Shadow Realm because we are Shadow Band. This. So yeah. uh, <laughs> we speak too much truth. Um, no, Red is happy. Uh, oh, great to, happy yes, to have you. and remember to follow me on Instagram at Divinely Red. Divine L Y Red. There and you go. Can, and, and also team. send your dick pics there or shoot your shot. Oh, yeah. right. actually, actually, I charge for dick pics and I'll let you know how pretty it is, too. So, oh, let me shit. know. All right, cool. I think <laughs> they're going to lose some wins. What about you, yeah. Miss uh, Bahamas? I want to thank you guys again for this opportunity. Um, it's very entertaining, you know, guys. I love this. Uh, get a little laugh. Mm-hmm. Um, guys, you know, don't just focus on, you know, level leveling up with your tax bracket and everything else. Don't forget to heal from what it is that you that hurt you. Yes. Some of the men in the comments, you can tell that they're, they're very hurt because mm-hmm. they try to. Who hurt you? Yeah. I guess you could say. We got a t-shirt merch. that says who hurt. Yeah. Can we, can yeah we pull that shirt up, actually? Oh, no. Yeah, pull it up now. To the hell, no. <laughs> it's okay. You know, a lot of you men don't really have a voice to speak. And I understand why you guys love this platform so much. And I just want to thank you personally, Myron, Fresh, and Aaron, for giving men this voice so that they can speak. Because you know, men are taught not to talk at all and to shut up and not express themselves mm-hmm. so i understand why you guys are want to give this power back to them but man don't forget to really ask yourself everything you do take accountability for it and ask yourself wow is this helping me or hurting me me spewing hate to send them 50 dollars mm-hmm. am i operating from a place of insecurity i need to fix that because i could level up and get all the money i want and i'm still gonna be shown as a hurt little boy so just check the space you're operating from to just heal. And I just want to thank you guys again for the opportunity. It's always entertaining. You guys are crazy. I love it. And don't forget to follow me, DanceDow242 on IG, D-A-N-Z-D-O-W-242 and stream my latest song. It's called More. Hit the link in my bio. I promise you're going to love it. Is it like rap or what is it? It is like a Afro beat slash mm. dance hall. Okay. Okay. It's okay. a song, a love song with me and a producer from Cameroon. Oh, wow. Ooh, Cameroon. Yeah. All right. Cool. And then, uh, guys, fsspiritbomb.com, man. Uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, all you got to do, two things. Fresh, can you tell them real quick what they got to do? Guys, so three easy steps. Number one, sub to our channel, Fresh and Fit. Number two, second channel, Fresh and Fit Clips. And then number three, if you want to <laughs> win, the, win the Rolex, oh. the grand prize, all you got to do is join our sponsor's website, Fresh and fit identity IQ, and you can get a chance to win the uh, Rolex 15k. And enter your name, your email, your phone number. Giveaway, so we can track your winnings, you guys you get a uh, get referral code, his enemies, a code you share with your friends. Have them subscribe to the channel, share with your friends. And when it's up the channel, you get points as well. So they're all listed here from top to bottom. But number one is the Rolex, of course. It's brand new 15k we spent on watch for you guys. You win it by once again following those three steps and then signing up for the IQ, which is sponsored to get the watch. But you can still get all the other prizes without signing up for Identity IQ, which is a trip, cash prize, everything else like that. I'm going to shout out uh, the guys that the top 10 guys uh, that um, are referring Uh, Darren Bryant, Ayo, Daniel Thomas, Sidney L. Johnson, Eric Marrero, Lorenzo Gutierrez, Mike, Michael Ferdinand, Kalen Adams, and uh, Andrew McMix, Andrew C. Maxwell, and then Javel Johnson. Thank you guys for all the support. Uh, with the sweepstakes ends in uh, not, what I think 80 more days, something like that. So, three month sweepstakes, we're going to award everything at the end, and uh, yeah, we're going to have our 500k party. And yep. uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much and for the support. My birthday party is going to be October 2nd, uh, next Saturday, Komodo, and then uh, Skippy is coming tomorrow, uh, Long Beach Griffey as well. Yeah, we'll hold the Skippy on Friday, 
and Long Beach Griffey uh, tomorrow yep. uh, for L- Lene Show as so well. So tune in for that, man. Shout out to Long Beach Griffey. If you guys haven't seen his videos already, I'm sure when you, search, funny. Like, if you search him on YouTube, you're going to see who he is, man. Like he's, uh, You're going to see him probably on Facebook, whatever. He has a bunch of viral videos, which are hilarious. Uh, shout out to Daquan as well, man. And shout out to our boy Daquan Wilshire, man. Uh, cool. And he's going to be back as well. We're going to bring him back because I know y'all love it when we bring him on. It's always a fucking hilarious. Grandma killer. Yeah, the grandma killer. Uh, not oh. literally, guys. Uh, well, but he smashes grandma in the bedroom. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Oh. Uh, he, yeah, it's a funny story. That's so he's funny. a sugar man. He's no, a, he's not. It, that's the crazy part. He fucks him for free. He supplies oh, wow. him for the free, free. Okay. Uh, uh, hey guys, we'll catch you tomorrow. What time are we gonna do? Go on with, with uh, probably seven, tomorrow's Thursday, seven eight. Okay. Uh, 7 or 8 p.m., guys, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we will make sure we put it out there as soon as we get a, a solid time. <laughs> Check all the ladies out. You know what I'm saying? Send your dick pics or your shot, whatever you want to do. I know some of y'all love them. Picks. And on, for all the guys it. that sent in your Instagrams, thank you so much for being good sports. Uh, we only give you guys you know? the truth because we love y'all and want y'all to win, man. If we didn't give a fuck, we wouldn't say anything. All right? Exactly. See you guys tomorrow night. Peace. Peace. Now, all the night.